empty hearts and neon lights The playing with my mind Gotta get out of here tonight Oh, I wanna run off, I am And I'll tell myself it's fine to be alone Just to find somewhere that finally feels like home Oh, oh, oh I hate all this overthinking Oh, 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 oh The more I swim, the more I'm singing Hello, 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 everybody. Welcome, 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 welcome. We survived. We officially survived the eclipse, (laughs) y'all. We're still here. We are still here. (laughs) Hello, everybody. Hello, Coupon Mama. Yanni. Yay. Want to talk about the defiler? Diddy, diddler, diddy, did it. Uh, Michelle Tucker, I hope you're doing okay, sweetheart. Misty Ray, Innocence, how are you? Gail, Grammy T, Stitches and Beaches, Always Late, Bojangles, Sammy, Diamonds Creations. Let's see, we got Mindy McGee. Um, I'm let's see. Tina Bobina, did everyone catch the eclipse today? I did not, could not find the glasses anywhere. I didn't see it, but Christine sent me videos of it. It's kind of spooky. Hey, Sleuth Fairy, Walk the Line, Alice, Mary Torres, Laura Jean, Smelly Story, a.k.a. Black Okay, Angel Marie, Unapproachable Light, 
Tree Tree, Daniel Berry Sports Highlights, Nora Woods. Come on in, everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Today we are going to talk about the P Diddler. The Anifilis, the Anifinus P Diddler. Hey Frankie! You thought it was amazing? It's kind of scary in a way. I was kind of freaking out a little bit on it. I ain't gonna lie. Yes, I watched the eclipse. I got folks. I got folked out with them glasses. Okay. You have some photos on your page too? Lock him up. I know. Well, they're saying that he may be an informant for uh, the uh, FBI. I don't know why they have not arrested P. Diddler yet. But I do want to say that this is for entertainment purposes only. And this is just speculating. And this is just our opinions and our opinions only. Um, and people are entitled to their opinions. I was upset that nothing happened. I know. I want, Nancy Grace is on him now. So, But y'all know the story. He got Usher when Usher was allegedly 13. And a reporter with DailyMail.com. A lot about that going on with it when it comes to Usher. Um, and Justice Justin Bieber. Uh, if if he did anything with Justin Bieber, it was definitely, in my opinion, getting him hooked on, you know, different medicines. Uh, it looks just like a cloudy day. I saw my neighbor out watching the eclipse. Hey, Don Defer! What's up, Don Defer? Rhonda Lynn! Come on in! Rhonda Lynn! Come on in! He got Usher and Bieber and probably a lot of other minors, too. Yeah, they say that they're saying that P. Diddy is is bigger than than the Epstein thing, and there's been more and more lawsuits coming out about him. I'm not allowed to pop in and say hello, coupon mama. What's wrong? There's innocence. I just watched some crazy dude bust into Bohemian Grove. I know you all that all that stuff's a hot mess, but Guess what? A lot of a lot of actresses and actors has come out about it. What do y'all think about hey DD? What do y'all think about Gypsy Rose getting uh leaving her husband and getting a nose job? How y'all feel about that? Gypsy Rose. Wait a minute. Okay, that was Yanni that sent me a message but uh here's nancy grace and what she has to say about uh the diddler y'all i was gonna cover sebastian's story but there's so much out there on sebastian that i just you know there's really not much more you can talk about daisy i just watched the channel and it showed on it that the proudfoots are the ones taking down the flyers and they was shot at trying to search for Sebastian. Unless I see the video, I don't know if I and uh, you think she needed a nose job? <laughs> I don't know. Um, I just talked to Candace a while ago. She was downstairs with Donnie. Um, I'm going while listening. Good night, Dom Defer. Have a good night's sleep, honey. Yes, copyright. This is Nancy Grace. And um, let's see what she has to say about the diddler. Have y'all seen all them damn memes they're putting out about him? It's so funny. People are putting out sk skits and memes on him. <laughs> and like people's like acting like they got they go to one of his parties. And like they go looking for the bathroom and they open these doors <laughs> and it's hilarious. I love it. They've put him on all kinds of memes. Let's see what old Nancy Grace has to say about P. Diddler. Here we go. Come on the story from the very beginning. Kiela, what's the latest? 
Thanks for having me, Nancy. Things have just gone from bad to worse for Diddy. And now not only is he being accused of misconduct, but his son is being accused. Now his son, Christian King, Combs, oh, yeah, he's 26 years old. Too. And he was named Black Father Like Daddy. Hello, Aya Williams. Coupon Mama's daughter-in-law is in the house. Welcome, Aya. Welcome, welcome. Look, there's King Ken too. See? I thought she was going to bed, but I guess not. Welcome, Aya. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Fly in Ryan, 1986. On other channels, I say they didn't say they were shot at. They said they shots were close. I don't know, but Sebastian's, Sebastian's case is getting too wild, and I'm stepping back from it, y'all. I want the little boy found, but I'm not getting in the middle of all that chaos. It's too crazy, and I'm not accusing anybody until we have evidence that somebody did something, and I'm not going to go on a witch hunt. Hey, Mindy McGee. Hello, EMT. Come on in. Come on in. Sammy. We're talking about the diddler on Nancy Grace. Okay, here we go. She's talking about the diddler and his son. His sons are involved, y'all. Both of his sons, allegedly. ...in a lawsuit by a young woman, 25-year-old named Grace, who was working on a yacht in December 2022 when she says that Christian Combs uh, assaulted her, that he's tried groping her, that... That he trapped her in a room and that it was it wasn't until another crew member came to stop it that she was finally released too, she said right. that she was forced to take a tequila shot and there's actual audio of that incident where she asks is this drugged and he says take the tequila shot oh yeah okay, they wait, said it was from? so uh, according to many of the lawsuits and and stuff hey angel loader they said Diddler was uh, spiking their champagne and, and alcohol bottles for the women and drugging the women allegedly and then taping them. They said that every every room in that house, in that mansion that he had party in had cameras in them. So they would spike their drinks, get them to do horrific things while they're under the influence. And then allegedly, according to the lawsuits, blackmail them and make them do horrific things. Now, the diddler, like the diddle and a lot of other things besides women, he was diddling into a lot of stuff. How is Duffy not behind bars? I have no idea. But we do think that maybe he's like a dog right now. <laughs> hey, Gigi, long time no see. So he's out and about right now. So I don't know if he's ratting other people out. They say Jay-Z and Beyonce is next. I don't know, but that's what they're saying. So it's an audio that was a transcript of the audio was included in the 31 page lawsuit. Um, so apparently i'm not sure who exactly was recording but there is a recording out there joining me very quickly and i want to circle back to you kiela about uh sean puffy combs aka diddy spinning 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 i mean this guy is a master hey, promoter hey, a that's what he has done hey, to become a media mogul with a net worth of around one billion dollars he spends he spends it right and that's what he's doing right now every move he makes in the public anyway is for a reason to and let me tell you another one that is uh into the ht human trafficking is um little wayne and i'll show you some clips from uh uh a man that goes into these other countries and saves little children he mentions little wayne a lot in his things celebrities um one of the lawsuits the man said that p diddler made him forced him to go to was it the dominican republic or one of those places and pick up s traffic or s workers and a lot of them s workers were underage girls 
But we know the diddler swung both ways, so I would assume that the diddler was getting boys too. Hey, Sun King, how are you? How are you, Sun King? Hey, Sun King, Jinky's got her a brand new pan. Make her give your pan back. Free the pan, free the pan. Somebody sent her a big old pan. Um, here we go, y'all. Bernarda Villa Lona. Uh, Bernarda Villa Lona, criminal defense attorney, uh, former prosecutor at Villa Lona Law.com. Bernarda, thank you for being with us. Uh, here's the reality. Sean Puffy Combs has been dragged into another lawsuit claiming sex attack um, on his son because it occurred on Diddy's, Sean Puffy Combs, yacht. Okay, and the allegation is that Combs aided and abetted yep. his son in this attack. But what I want to ask you about, Bernarda Villalona, is the audio tape that Kayla Brantley's talking about. Can I see, Bernarda, please? Bernarda, to get a <laughs> video or an audio tape, even if it's a 911 call from the police, for Pete's sake. I'm sorry, I don't the, mean to laugh about it, but diamond put snitches get snitches get stitches miss daisy no pan for you <laughs> and i was laughing last night i told jinkies about you uh telling me to get a donkey and name it matthew i think that's funny <laughs> oh my lord okay we're going back to the diddy thing y'all <laughs> that's funny <laughs> oh my lord we gotta free the pan she don't need that little pan now that she's got that big old one that somebody bought her. Somebody bought her a big old 15-inch cast iron uh, pan. <laughs> oh, my Lord. Yeah, the diddler's son's involved, too, y'all. He's involved, both of them. But allegedly, they went to this, he rented a lot yacht, and his son did one of his duties. You know what I'm saying? His son did one of his duties. Here we go prosecutor or whoever wants to bring it in has to go through a series of evidentiary hoops. In fact, it's laid out in black and white in the criminal code. You have to prove veracity. You've got to show who made the audio. Sometimes why did they make the audio in uh, as the circumstances surrounding the audio being made. Um, you have to show chain of custody on the audio to make sure it hasn't been tampered with in any way. So when I say who made it, where did it come from? That's got to be proven in court before it can be allowed before a jury. Yes, absolutely. So Nancy, what it seems like is that little Rod, who's one of the people that is also There's more Puff and more lawsuits coming out about Puff Daddy. The pan she showed looks small than mine. She's trying to fool me again. She's trying to keep that pan. I asked her, was she going to keep that pan, Sun King? And she said, I might. So, yep. Free the free the pan. I heard he wants to be called Skid, Skid, Skididdy now because he shat his britches. <laughs> Listen, y'all, I got some skits on him. Uh, he probably did shit his britches when they busted his house down that time. But, yeah, he, he's not only involved, but he's taught his sons to do the same exact thing he's done. Puffy was the one who actually Excuse made the me. recording. Excuse me, Bernarda. I, I don't know if you're expecting to go over to his house after the trial, but uh, I believe you're referring to Rodney Jones, a.k.a. Little Rod. Yeah, so supposedly it was Little Rod. Ronnie Jones was the one who made this recording, which calls calls into question is why he was making a recording and he knew what was going to happen. So he did it thinking that it was going to happen and he wanted evidence of it. Interestingly enough mm -hmm. that the attorney that's representing Ronnie Jones is the same attorney that's representing this complaint and this victim in this alleged sexual assault. But this is very damning evidence because usually in cases like this, Nancy, What's the number one defense? Credibility, believability. She's making it up. This is a. Oh, Lord. Here we go. Ada Cox said, This is all just 
pitiful, pitiful. <laughs> pitiful it's funny y'all ain't it people's making up all kinds of p diddy memes and stuff i don't think he's going to get any more than a slap on the hand you think he's a stitching snitching diddler i think he's a snatching snitching out on uh oh uh jay-z and beyonce is what i think i think so let's see but I don't know. He ain't going to have no money left by the time everybody gets through suing him. Money grab. But here you have an actual audio recording that the complaining, the victim, is going to be able to authenticate and say, that is me on the recording. That is actually what happened. There is nothing missing from that recording. And we'll be able to meet the burden to have that piece of evidence move into evidence if it's in a civil lawsuit in a civil case or even in a criminal one so that hurdle is going to be met but this is very damaging against his son also damaging against diddy because it can even possibly go in um, if the federal prosecutors are looking at a rico charge can go in as one of those acts yeah well i'll tell you this the p diddler he ain't playing no more because he people's on to him um the only billionaire that gets attacked is trump diddy will walk no fair well i think he's a snitching i think i think there's gonna be more rest and i i think that Did diddles always has been, had no talent yeah i i think he's been getting paid underhand well he's made his money he's made his money from uh um trafficking i want to show y'all some of these uh memes that people's put out here hang on i think that i thought this one was cute y'all it says see you later alligator at your trial pedophile <laughs> y'all we can laugh about this because this guy's not a good person jay-z's like hurry go start the plane bay we got to go exactly they're saying jennifer lopez that people's telling them granny t they're telling they're saying that people's telling jennifer lopez to uh to go leave the country until all this is over hey smelly story i love this i had to repost it because i thought it was funny hey fonda cheese man but um apparently um, his two sons were right in on it, Cuba Gooden Jr. Um, like T.D. Jakes is in on it. They said T.D. Jakes, the preacher T.D. Jakes. They said that he was always at uh, Diddy's par parties. Diddler has made millions by pimping. Yep. And they said Cassie, his girlfriend, turned in a bunch of like, evidence against td jakes diddler and a bunch of them diddle Did, diddlestein is telling and going down too much coming out exactly i can't complain i woke up today and my family as well that's awesome and um they're saying that it was a cover-up that he sh that that suing him had pictures of the bathroom that had you know the red stuff the b l o o d in it and everything and that the cops seen it and still said it it was an it was an unaliving outside hey Gigi, is he coming home now or still on the run i think he's still on the run diddle sticks Y'all are, that's funny, y'all, coming up with more stuff. If someone asked me to name one song of his, sadly, I couldn't. Um, well, the one about Biggie Smalls was a good one, but I heard that he had his hands on that one. Now, this is all speculation, y'all. This is just speculating. Let me see. I'm going to see if I can find some more uh, memes on him. I tried to share a bunch of them. These memes. <laughs> Here's one. <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> Y'all. <laughs> this one. <laughs> People are crazy. 
we as a people are going straight to hell for this right here. Little ditty boys bite. Oh, 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 that's bad. That one's not good. I just read that one. They are awful, y'all. Biggie was his friend. And they said that he was acting strange. And like they kept telling him to come on. His bodyguard was said he just kept telling uh, Diddler to come on, to come on. And Diddler wouldn't do it. Um, I ain't gonna go down that. Here's another one. Here's another one, you guys. You will like this one. Ain't that the truth, Jeffrey Diddler? <laughs> oh Lord, they kill me with this stuff. Oh my goodness, y'all. I believe this man's probably worse than Jeffrey Diddler. At least Jeffrey Diddler at least made. Well, this one might do it too. He probably has. It, they, they, they actually have clips of him, um, of people like he'd asking him, "Why don't you come around me anymore, man?" Like Justin Bieber and Usher, and they're like, "Uh, uh, 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 uh. they don't, they don't want fool with him because they know what he tries to do." Oh, here's another one, Kanye, Conway Diddy, Diddy. I don't know why people are making stuff like this. They're giving him hell. The games that diddlers play. Conway Diddy. That's so stupid. I do too. They messed that poor little thing up. He he won't tell on him. Bieber won't tell what he did to him. But <laughs> these people are dumb, y'all. He deserves it, though. If anybody deserves it, he deserves these damn memes that people's made on him. Oh, no, I just it, I just did my thing. Hang on, y'all. But I think he's going to rat a bunch of people out, and I think that that's what's going to happen. I don't think he's going to get charged. I'm, I think it, they're going to be watching him closely. But honestly, I don't think he's going to get charged. I think he's going to get away with a whole lot. And, um, like they said that he, they made him do awful things like, or that Cassie girl do all awful things. That's what they said. Anyway, hang on. I don't know if y'all seen this or not, but I caught jinkies at, I caught jinkies at the bar one day doing this right here. This is jinkies y'all. Right here. Mind your business. Coffee and eggs are expensive. That's Jinkies. Right there. <laughs> oh my lord. I aggravate the far out of her. She got that big old pan today, y'all. She there ain't it, Sun King. Let me take us down and we'll see what else we can find on the diddler. I'm just aggravating Big Mama. But there is a lot of stuff out there on him. And the problem is, the sad part of it is, oh, okay, this is uh, Black China. Black China's mom, this is Black China's mom, and she's a rapper, a famous rapper turned Christian. And she's, she's telling about Jada and Will Smith in this. Because they're all involved, y'all, not just the diddler. But Jada and Will Smith, here we go. Hollywood's greatest. But I remember not just that Oscar night. Hey, Rose. But I do recall them saying boycott the Oscars. Well, since then, they've had a lot of controversy from Tupac to questioning Will Smith's sexuality. Well, I have a video that might explain a little. It'll take you out of the teapot and put you in the cup. A light stir. Speaking of sex trafficking rings, these children are being abused every day. Their bodies 
are this small. To take the mental, physical, and spiritual abuse that these children have been given. Imagine the children, the little ones, has been snatched from their homes. These things happen in this world that we live in. Yes, they do blood rituals and sacrifices. Yes, they take virgin children, little children. They even have a calendar for this. This is Black China. This is absolutely ridiculous. Mother, this is so a rapper. satanic, so Luciferian. I'm a God child. I love Jesus Christ. I choose Jesus over everything and anything and anybody, any given day. But not everybody thinks that way. The children, they need us. The moment we take our eyes off these babies, Moms have their children on the internet. You show where you live. You show your address. This is that's Black China's mom. She's a rapper. Black China has since left the industry and turned Christian. Okay, here's another one, y'all. Okay, here's another one on the diddler. The diddler. And Paris Hilton is coming out against child abuse as well. She's coming out hard and heavy against child abuse. Um, Paris Hilton is. A lot of celebrities are coming out now that Diddler's has been arrested. Here we go. Most explosive thing that's came out on the Diddy case. And so you get these people in compromising situations. So Jesse Waters... Longtime notable Fox anchor is on the PBD podcast, which, by the way, shout out to Patrick Bet David for having Waters on in this type of environment, like a podcast type of feel. This was a great guest to have. And they start with talking about how P. Diddy's bodyguard was like, yep, there was musicians there. There was princes there. There was politicians there. He also had a couple of preachers. In there. Oh, damn. And then Pat kicks the story to Jesse Waters, and Jesse says what so many of us crazy tinfoil hat wearing conspiracy theorists have been saying for years. It wasn't just this guy that was saying it. Lil Rod, the former producer, filed the lawsuit, and he said every room in Diddy's mansions were wired with cameras. And he had some of the footage, he had some of the pictures, and he displayed those in the lawsuit that came out. And this was used for blackmail material. They bring in these people. A lot of these people were also aspiring young artists in the music industry. And then these parties were sponsored by Motown Records CEO, Universal Records CEO. This goes all the way to the top. And so you get these people in compromising situations. The drinks were laced, the videotapes were hot. And then at the end of the day, you wake up the next morning, oh, what did I do? And then they have compromising material on you. And then they can guide your career. They could kill your career, but they got you. And it wasn't just people in the music business. As you said, there were athletes, there were celebrities, there were politicians, people from the royal family. And we were also told by the former bodyguard that Diddy was an FBI informant. Whoa. So he was a snitch and was feeding information to the feds and we don't know what that means. We haven't been able to confirm it, but even Little Rod said it's not just like Epstein. It could be worse. Remember that whole term that we're not allowed to say online? You're going to have to figure this one out. But aluminum Bugatti, obviously incredibly explosive. But what's interesting to me is that he said allegedly Diddy could be an FBI informant. And if that's the case, that whole thing that happened was staged. There's a lot of interesting things going on right now with him. I mean, here he is in Florida randomly after all that happened. He's just like smiling and shit. Down here at, at Pira Vida by my pad, uh, run into the man right here. Uh, what's up? Miami's like that. Yeah. It's a movie. Almost like he made some type of deal. He's insulated, but everybody else, we're going to find out. The year of exposure and justice. God bless you and have a good day. First, my tenfold hat. <laughs> I mean, the Illumina, Illumina Bugatti, you know what the Illumina Bugatti is. <laughs>
Listen, why is the diddler still out? That's what I'd like to know. Why is the diddler still out? Hang on, let's see what this is. That's something else. Um, hang on. I think I have some more on the aluminum Bugatti. This is the guy that talks about little Wayne. And he was in his involvement in the the child trafficking. Hey, WR. Hello, hello. Let me pull this up, y'all. Trigger warning now. Trigger warning. This guy here that's getting ready to talk actually went in and he goes into other countries and saves children from the trafficking. So here we go. Trigger warning. This child was taken when she was seven. Her parents were killed in the earthquake in Haiti. Nobody knew she was alive. She didn't speak for two weeks after we rescued her. Her very first words that she said were, I didn't think anybody would come because she gave up hope. She gave up hope seven years ago. Now, from what I hear, that child is in a healthy home, learning to dance back in school. So this trafficker went down and went down this hallway. There was multiple cell doors, kids in them. And at the end, there was a, a larger room, a queen size mattress on the floor where the unthinkable would happen condoms laying around horrific sight and i i was able to get video footage of this red door of the hallway of these cell doors in which these kids were being held of this mattress at the end of the hallway with the condoms around it where the unthinkable would happen and so we said to her yep yep this is what our boss wants absolutely yeah and we exchanged contact information with her and left that was a big win why because that's what i call the level three these are the ones who are physically holding the children in captivity we've geotagged the location okay and and this guy he he's got several stories that he tells about going in and rescuing children um like little wayne he mentions little wayne a whole lot a whole lot um and so yeah he yeah but the diddler is just one diddle in the whole the whole world of the hollywood elites i hate hearing about children i know I know. Let's see. Yep, they're all tied to Tavin Stock and other s social engineering programs. It's had to keep up with them all, honestly. Like, the way this guy talks is that they actually are going into these devastating places like Haiti when they have floods and all these other places and taking children out. and using them for the you know as trafficking i hear something and i don't know what it is sounds like somebody's using a saw outside what in the world is going on why am i hearing saws but y'all i do want to say let's see I think Maddie Soto was trafficked, in my opinion. I think that she was trafficked. And, oh, what's up? Did you hear, Matthew, about Jinky's getting that big new pan today? Jinky's got a new pan. She sure did. She needs to give up Sun King's pan. But, um dead in the middle of a little italy little we did know that riddle two middlemen who didn't do diddle <laughs> what <laughs> what's up but yeah y'all it's it's sad that you know that they're letting them away with this stuff they're letting like i have a feeling that diddle is going to get away with a lot here's another thing i think this is another one about p diddy hang up no this isn't it hang on just a second i got other stuff coming about p diddler um who is that 
Maybe she's talking about it. Hang on. Okay. That's not it. That's about Maddie Soto's case. Um, hang on. Because I know I shared a lot about the P. Diddler. Um, and I deep dive in there, too. Um, let's see. Hang on. Let's see. Somebody's outside. Uh-oh, look here what's come up. Hey, what's, up? what's up, Matthew? Hey, Matthew, things... I've done figured out. <laughs> Diamond's done told me what kind of animal I'm gonna get named after you. Oh yeah. Guess what, what it is? What? A donkey. <laughs> I did hear her say that actually. Yeah, I did hear her say that. <laughs> anyway, she said it's um from... two things. Yeah. Two things. I forgot what one of them is already. Okay, one Did you thing. see the big pan big, big mama guy F today? That pan. The Did Genghis you see guy. it? Oh no, I know what the other thing was. F that damn pan. That Jinky's got her. And the other oh, thing is oh, we're no. gonna get that pan back. I don't care how many Look, pictures she shows. Jinky's sneaky when it comes to that pan. Just because she got that pan doesn't mean she's gonna give it back. She is this Taylor? It. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Jinkies, we're coming for that pan, Jinkies. Jinkies is going to have to give that pan up. So pan, I'm going to pull that pan up. Look what a nice pan she got today. What's up, uh, Taylor? I, I just I wanted to pick on uh, Matthew up here. Oh, he told there. me yesterday he'd be back in a couple of minutes. He had to go oh, to his kids. Okay, can and I explain? he never came back. Can I explain? My sure neighbor needs. needed help. And then yes, gave him a neighbors. donkey. I made it. I, made, I had to help my neighbor um, take care of something. Fancy pan. <laughs> Hang on yeah, oh, wow. So. We take us down so everybody can see that big fancy pan. Now, the one in the middle. That that's little one's uh, way better. Way Sun King's better. in the middle. Hey, uh, hey, Jinkies, you got enough knives? Jeez. She Weirdo. don't know. Look how many damn knives she's got. <laughs> Dang. And she was bumming some knives off of me the other day when she was here. Don't oh, you give me a knife? Busted. I said, no, I'm giving you them knives. You don't so, need them. Oh, she's so busted. <laughs> busted. Yeah, I'm going to try to put my headset on. Free the pan. Free the pan. Screw that pan. That pan looks like crap. That little one, though. Now that looks like a pan. See, she's not even going to give it up because I asked her if she was going to yep. give it up. See, I know. She see. said she didn't think she's going to give it up. Just because she's showing that pan means nothing. Exactly. Okay, she's gotta, why she got to try to embarrass Sun King? And this isn't That's embarrassing. What... <laughs> Are you kidding me? This ain't embarrassing. <laughs> she done that for meanness, didn't she? Hey, first of all, why I want to know why you. Name? I want to know why you spelled her name wrong up top when you were searching. Who? Who are you talking to? What? The what now? Huh? What name? What are you talking about? Taylor, how you doing? <laughs> I don't uh -huh. know. Uh-huh. <laughs> Let's try not to get in trouble, huh? <laughs> <laughs> so said I like the turquoise. I think that's finding a woman. No. Oh. Thanks, Sun King. <laughs> Use a Let's measure see, scapegoat, and yet you still ran off on me. See? Matthew's neighbors yeah. needed a plumber, no. so he called Matthew. He played no. the message from her after on this live, no. Miss Daisy. No, no that, was, <laughs> no, no, that was. I had a stalker, and I had to expose her. You had a stalker. Who's I your stalker? Stalk it's not important. Are you playing? Are you calling me a stalker now? I am not calling you a stalker. Who at all. Stalking, Matthew? We're talking about the diddler. <laughs> which you, you would, which you would text more often. <laughs> have you seen all the freaking skits they're doing about P. Diddy now? Yeah, every other skit. Yeah, now, I heard that um, not only P. Diddy was in trouble, I heard that, um, what's his name? Pitbull got in trouble, too. Mm. Uh, there's a bunch of them going to get in trouble. 
You survived the, the eclipse. We did, Christine. You want to come up? Yeah. Uh, there's a lot of them. They say Jay-Z and Beyonce's next. Nothing happened. Not yet. No, see, my, my mom friend, okay, I, we were talking, her her brother asked her if she stocked up on stuff, you know, because of the eclipse and stuff. And she's like, why would I stock up? And he goes, because it's the end of the world. He goes, <laughs> oh, it's like, well, oh, my yeah. God. True, true. There's and then he that. told her, then he told her, she's like, well, I didn't stock up. She goes, is there, she calls him, she goes, is there any way I can get some ramen at least from you? And he goes, now you're asking my damn ramen. You didn't stock up. Now you want my ramen? <laughs> I'm like, uh-huh. That's how that works. You give your, your big sister your ramen. That's your payment for living. <laughs> you know, give it up. Jinkies at. So he did leave. That Jinkies is sleeping. That's where Jinkies is at. Who? Jenkins? She's sleeping. I guarantee it. Who, Jenkins? Oh, yeah, my... my Computer's about to go dead, and I can't find the cord. Shoot. Hang on just a second. I gotta find the cord. Here it is. Cra crazy part is, like, the um, the eye's not even close to that N. Neither is the S, so she couldn't have accidentally hit it. Like, she went out of her way to put Jenkins. Who did? Big Mama? Who? What? Yeah. Big Mama? Mm hmm. Oh. <laughs> what the hell? Okay. Now I finally got it fixed where you can see it. Daisy, did you find the Sasquatch Miss Christine wants to know? Well, I didn't go looking for one. I was afraid to go out there and look. Today it was dark. It got dark. <laughs> Oh, I know. I actually, me and my son and my mother in law were all sitting outside watching it during all of it. And I was uh, sitting here, I was watching how dark it got. I was like, oh my God, it's extremely dark outside. Mm -mm. No. All of a sudden, she was jinkies longer than she was jinkies. Huh? She was mm -hmm. jinkies longer than she was. What? Jinkies. What does that even mean? Jin what? <laughs> Who spells it like that? That's so um, weird. Mostly Did Diddler had. Wow. Did have a hundred of cameras in his home. Oh yeah, <laughs> Puffy knows how to make the money. He's gonna oh, get out yeah. of it. Okay, people that. out. You well, know, it's what? like my boyfriend made that argument. You know. Oh, sorry. It's possible. It's okay. She stinkies. <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> Taylor's in the middle of a train. <laughs> <laughs> see. Let me tell you something weird that happened to me yesterday. I'm sick I of looking at that pan. Sleep. I was, <laughs> I was in a deep, dark sleep, sleeping good. <laughs> and I heard my husband say, hey, Amy. And I woke up and I said, what? What? And there was nobody there. Whoa, and whoa, so whoa, whoa, there. whoa, whoa. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. You married? Hey, my three sons. Well, yeah. What? You've been lying to me all this time. Come on, Matthew. Uh, I'm anyways, hurt. I can't. Said, I'm out of here. <laughs> Matthew. Anyways, so I called my husband and I was like, where are you at? And he's like, me and Bub's down the road. I said, you ain't in the house? And he said, no. And I was like, oh, shit. <laughs> I heard it plain as day. And when he answered the phone, he said, Hey, Amy, just like what he said in my dream that woke me up. Is that not weird? Uh, I mean, I, I believe in things happening for a reason. I'm, my older sister had a car wreck, and I knew it was going to happen before it happened. Really? What What did you get? Like it was a, a weird vibe. It was a vibe. That's all I can tell you is whenever I something bad is going to happen to a family member. Yeah. Yes. Anxiety comes praying. over me. I start praying. When I start feeling like that, I, I start praying. It is creepy. It's creepy. You, normally, when I hear my voice, it's from a female, uh, and I feel like it was my angel, but uh, that, that's my angel, but it was my husband's voice that I heard. I'd be casting that stuff out in the name of Jesus. Well, I wonder if I, I didn't have my, 
my sleep apnea mask on, my CPAP on, and I wonder if I was like gasping for breath or something, and that I was woke up. Hey, Tracy, because I I've had that happen to me before, but it was always like a female voice, not my husband's voice. So, I watched the Apple River stabbing trial today. Anyone else? I've never heard of that before. Never heard that one. I've never heard it. I have a question. I, mm -hmm. uh, someone told me today that uh -huh. there may be a serial killer in the Kingsport area. Mm, I don't know. They found their body today. I, I heard it was Mel, though. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Where's my phone? Hang on. I got to find out. What did I do with my phone? Hang on. I did say it's my phone's in there. Thank you. Christine, thank you, thank you for gifting those memberships. I can't see who she gifted it to, but thank you, Christine. God bless you. Come up. Come Have up, you been Christine. using your memberships that you get huh? to give out? So Have you been using your memberships that you get to I, give out? I have. I, I've given them out like a month ago, but I've not tried to do it anymore. Thank you so much, Christine. Christine for gifting those memberships. Woohoo! Woohoo! Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. So, Angel P, Yo Baby, Rebecca, and Baby Girl got one. Thank you so much, Christine. That's creepy. I heard a child say, Mama, one morning when I was making breakfast and and outside and smoked a cigarette. I went outside and smoked a cigarette, scared the crap out of me. It will scare you. Love you too, Christine. You can come up if you want to. I know she probably don't feel very well. Um, I was going to ask, how is she feeling? Have you heard since her last email? She, she's she been having a hard time. Uh, here's her address if anybody wants to send her a card or anything. Just that it's not been doing so good since uh, she's had that red devil georgia sky it's because you were talking about the skinwalkers daisy you better watch out <laughs> i'm telling y'all i've been i was listening to uh scary walmart stories last night about people real life experiences with people that like work night shift at walmart and target and things creepy people listen they don't even care anymore they will come up to you in the middle of a damn store and try to take your child. That's how bad it's getting, y'all. There's been a lot of uh, random people that's been, like, elbowed in the face and punched by random people. They just started coming up and punching people. The world is getting more and more evil. -er. The red devil it's is getting hard. crazy out here. It is. It is. We love you, Christine. Oh! Thank you, Diamonds. Thank you for gifting a membership. My phone's in there in the bedroom where I would look and see who got the membership. I had a balloon follow me through Walmart. I remember that, Christine. Thank you so much, Diamonds, for gifting that membership. Y'all, I don't even know where my damn phone is. She did. She, she did a video. A balloon following her through Walmart? There's people coming out, and one girl had her whole face bruised up where this guy just come up to her and randomly elbowed her in the face. Now, people are getting mean. Meaner. Was well, listening. Miss Daisy, I'm hearing more crazier stuff coming out of this area that I hadn't heard before because of the Molly well, Miller case. Do what now? There's stuff coming out on the Molly Miller case that I had never heard before. It's like the guy she went missing with, what, she wasn't dating, but it was about they were me? dating. She's hey, a missing Ryan. girl, missing indigenous girl. I can't say woman because she was 17 uh, years she went missing here in Oklahoma. Hey, I want her to touch the video. You want a case you can go down rabbit holes with? That one's a case you can go down rabbit holes with. Wow. There's so many out here. I was watching Layla Santanelli's mom today and Layla's little baby girl is uh, having a birthday and I think the grandmother don't have a whole lot of funds to give her a good birthday party. So I shared yeah. her thing on my, on my community post. I will, my three sons. 
Yeah, they came oh, out and said that was male or female, but they found it, eh? They said it was a male, I think. Okay. I was wondering myself about it because, you know, Layla's still missing and that other girl is still missing too. So I was mm -hmm. really, really wondering if, I mean, they need closure, both of them, but I think it's a trafficking ring. That's my opinion. Well, that they either have a trafficking to be ring or a serial killer's there in the area, and they've grabbed three, well, one young child and two young women. Story. Okay. Hey, Christine. Hey, hey. What's hey up? Daisy. Hi, Taylor. How are you? Pretty good. How are you, my love? Good. We survived. Yeah. We survived the eclipse. We did. Mm. I think everybody, mm. there was people saying that, that mm. uh, if you went out into the eclipse sun, mm. you're, you're, you're going to get blisters mm. and blah, blah. I thought, oh my God. <laughs> there was a lot of speculation. Oh my gosh. The, Taylor, somebody's mm. calling you. You're a VIP. Somebody's calling what? Was that somebody yeah, calling you? Yeah, I muted it or ended it. That's because she's a VIP, girls. She's a VIP. <laughs> well, I have so many people who, like, you know, every day check in to me to see how Candace is doing or how, you know, whatever. Oh, uh, how's Candace doing? She's doing okay. She was just doing What's wrong though. with Candace? No, then just people check with me that know that I have contact with her personally. Check with me over it. Oh, okay. I thought maybe something was wrong with her. Or no. Something. no, no, no. It's like they called me today whenever they found the bones. Someone called me immediately. I was like, hey, have you checked on Candace? I was like, not yet. I'm just giving her time, you know. Uh -huh. Yeah, well, it's good that Candace has a good friend like you. I love my king. Y'all look at this wild turkey. Your king, king. Candace was in what, here. Daisy? Was she? Uh, no, What'd she think of the eclipse? In, I, I don't know. She never did say nothing about it when I talked to her. I thought it was neat so, as heck. I couldn't help it. I'm, I'm just a geek. Well, it was kind of creepy. The pictures, it was creeping me out a little bit. Um, I was tech, Me and Daisy were texting each other and I said, the illumination from the Eclipse is going to let us see Sasquatch. <laughs> I told her to go out and start looking. <laughs> oh. <laughs> she called in the last live and told me. She wouldn't do it. She was too chicken. <laughs> she was too chicken. She wouldn't do it. Fuck, 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 chicken. Oh. I know. Well, I'd have went back warm today, but it was kind of cold to get out on the four-wheeler. So you were scared to go look for Sasquatch. <laughs> you were afraid you're gonna see him. Huh? Look, we could have made millions of dollars if you would have been out there finding him. Gail said she slipped through the eclipse. Yeah, what? Gail! You slipped through the eclipse? Oh my gosh. Uh, we was talking about the diddler. Who's the diddler? P. Diddy. Oh, the diddler. Because <laughs> people are oh my goodness, everything about him. So I said, "Well, we'll just do the diddler." The do the diddler. Just it's not the Riddler. It's the diddler. <laughs> Holy diddler, Batman! Yeah. <laughs> Is that P. Diddy has been into the H trafficking room and he's been well they said that he he at his parties he's been exposed for a lot of things. He's got a lot of losses. Who? His, poor Patty, Ron Combs. Mm. A rapper. Patty. Didn't he have that group that group called uh what was it? Sanity King? I don't know if he had them or not. I think he had a he like he had a TV show or something at one time, and it, and the group was called Vanity Kane. Um, I think that was him, right? He may have. He may have. 
And they did. I mean, I think they had a, a couple good hits, hit songs. They did. They did. Uh, he also produced. He he got his Usher's mom let Usher go and stay with him when he was like thirteen, and they said that mm. he exposed Usher to a lot of things, and they they're speculating that he, you know, introduced Usher to a lot of adult things and Justin Bieber. Because they said that, like, in his parties that they would walk around and every mm -hmm. one of the workers had to have a packet of drugs on them. Certain types of what? drugs on them all the time. I'm going to unmute her for a second. Yeah, like Molly. That's crazy. All that stuff. Yeah. All different kinds of drugs. See, they have all this money and they've got all of this, all of this, you know. Fame and fortune. It's not. Good yeah, it's not. No, it's like, you know, the, you know, they just TD Jakes. They said he would go to their parties and that he was involved in the men having relations with men at these parties. Uh, these um, orgies with men. They said the diddler was diddling into everything. The diddle diddled everything. Huh? The diddle diddled everything. Diddle of everything, like that man. Was I just place. this is just blowing my mind that all these famous this people are involving themselves in this kind of stuff. Well, this woman actually came in to do a massage on him, and and uh, and Cassie, his girlfriend, because she's the one that turned it all into the FBI, all of the footage and everything. And they yeah. said, "Where did go?" Uh, they said that. Uh, that um, when she went in there, that in the bathroom, there were like, um, what is that gel you used during the XCX? What gel? They were bottles of KY jelly in the in the bathtub with dirty bath water in the sink. Ew. It with KY jelly and clothes and sex toys. And she said that it reaped of hang on. Because this gets worse. She said that it reaped of, you know, freshly when somebody had, you know, SEX. She said it that, Ew. that it reaped of SEX. And she said that um that she went in there and Diddy was there and walked out the door. And left, and then Cassie came in in a bad mood, and she was rude, and lay down and got a massage. And that girl said that she had to go in that bathroom and get like towels and stuff out for the massage. And she said that it was horrible. And she said she went home and got sick and throwed up from it. It was so gross. Oh my gosh! Because you know they what is wrong with people? That is disgusting. He he was pimping out Cassie, his girlfriend. He was pimping her out. Oh. Pimping her Oh yeah. my gosh! And then he was paying That's one of terrible. his. Yeah, you should read the lawsuit. I did. He, one of his um, employees. You remember Cuban Gooden Jr.? You remember? Yeah, I like right? Cuban Gooden. Yeah, I like him. That way. Don't tell me he's involved. Oh yeah, he's part of that lawsuit. So did he's he a like, diddler too. He's a diddler, yes. And so hey. did he. Diddy locked himself. Um, you kicked yourself. Why? Come back, up. Taylor. Get your butt back up here. Come on, Taylor. Yeah. Come up here. Come on, girl. Uh, Diddy. This is what Diddy did. He locked that guy up with Cuba Gooding Jr. in the bathroom, and Cuba Gooding Jr. proceeded and tried to molest this guy and have you know. A grown man? Yeah, he was. Yeah, it was a grown man. He didn't want to have that. He didn't want to have relations with Diddy and them. And he said that he resisted him, and he got out the door. And Diddy got mad at him and asked him why he didn't stay in there with with him. But eventually, Diddy forced him into having you know relations with men and women. And then he said that. Diddy, uh, now this is all alleged according to the lawsuit. He said that Diddy would uh, 
make him wear a hat when he would go to like the Dominican Republic ordinary places and they yeah. would know by his hat that he wanted women. So they would go and get women and girls underage and bring them to Diddy's house for sale for you know prostitution. How could they how could anybody let this kind of crap go on? Because he's a celebrity. He pays off a lot Who of cares? People. He's that you know, nobody he's, is untouchable from God and the law. Oh yeah, what's in the darkness will come to light. Uh, P. Diddy, he said he witnessed P. Diddy shoot some man in the bathroom and that they called the law and everything and they drugged the guy out of the bathroom and out outside, but where Diddy allegedly has so much influence in that area where he's a billionaire and everything, the law treated it like it was it was done outside, even though they brought law in allegedly and showed him the blood all in the bathroom and everything. And he's even got of the bathroom where that did P. Diddy killed that man. And they wow. didn't do nothing about it. Yeah. Wow. Diddy, Diddy diddles and bros and hoes. <laughs> <laughs> what would you say uh, bros and hoes oh my does. gosh he does he likes it both ways but yeah, I mean these people are fortunate enough to be you know have right. everything that they could possibly want and then here oh there's Taylor hi Taylor I'm glad it's you came back up they, the rich make them evil they get a lot of power from it and they're evil. Like, well, we've all seen that even from YouTubers. I mean, if you stop and think about it, you said they're evil. Look at some of these YouTubers out here. You know, they've got a little bit too. of fame. There's actually a famous YouTuber that came out before they arrested Diddy and said that he was invited to a, uh, a Hollywood elite party because he was a top YouTuber, him and his friend was. And they went into this, like, mansion they had, he's even still got the invite from it. And he said that um, there was many celebrities there and they were all in there to, like they were the new people, but the celebrities were the older people. And he said that, that they start out like really weird, acting really weird. And he said they started out in different rooms, going from different rooms and they would do like different things in different rooms and each each room had an aesthetic in it and he said like one room they went into and it was like a big buffet of all the most expensive seafood food you could have and he said that all these celebrities were just stuffing it in their mouth and then spitting it out on the floor and throwing it up and just getting it all over their what? face and it into their hands like they were gluttoning and he said he got sick and he couldn't eat. And, and he, he was like standoffish because of it. But he said his friend that was with him was like participating. He thought it was cool. But he said he got a bad vibe from it uh, from the beginning. Hey, Zigzag. And then he said they went into another room where they just whispered in each other's ear and told each other how horrible, how ugly, how fat, how despicable. What? Now venom at each other. Yeah. That sounds and like they, possession. It's it's a part of the, their cult. They're a cult. Then he said he went into another room where it was just that they were all just really silent and really weird because they got all their venom out. And then he said they come into another room where they wouldn't let them take their mask off. They had masks on at these parties. And then they were standing in line and, and then they would take the mask off and they had like Bibles, like a Bible, a Quran and something else there. And he said once he got up there in line, he he started seeing them take take the mask off. And then they picked up a book and said something. And then that person would go into the room. And he said when he got up there, he could hear what they were saying. And they were asking him what their beliefs was. And either if they believed in the Bible, the Quran, and something else, he said. And if they if they said whatever it was, they picked up that Bible, and he said they, they would make them denounce that they were the, denounce their faith and say that they were their own gods. 
and then they would take off their mask and go into a separate room. And when he got up there to the front, he was like, man, I don't feel comfortable about this. And they said that he immediately, a man in the back that invited him came and got him and they shouted something. And he said that the people, all these celebrities around were like chanting, like he was a traitor or something. And the whole time they were escorting him out of the, out of the mansion, they throwed him out the back door. But his friend went in because he he took the oath, right? And he said he was trying, he said he was trying to get out of there because they they made him give their cell phones up for one. And his friend was the one who drove in there. And so he said that he didn't know what to do. He thought about just walking back from this ma mansion party. He was actually terrified. And then, I would be too. He was wondering what's in that next room. And he said he peeked in the window because it was all stained glass. And he said that they were a bunch of celebrities standing around all the new like YouTubers and stuff that were invited. And they were making do horrific things to each other. He wouldn't tell what it was or who they were, but he was they were making them do the most god awful, horrible things in the circle with each uh -uh. other. Uh huh. And he said he got scared and went around the front. And he said when he went around the front, he didn't think they thought that they, he had seen that where they kicked him out. And there was a man standing there with his phone that was dead. And they took him home. And then after that, he the man was dead, dead or the phone was dead. The phone was dead. He said he got oh, okay. home the next day. He was worried about his friend because his friend was at that party. And then he said that he told his friend, he said, are you okay? I seen what happened and said his friend went crazy and picked up the phone and uh, started cussing him out and, and called somebody. And then after that, people started messing with him, like picking up his phone, like undoing his locks. Like one night he was talking to his other friend about not having half and half milk. When he got up the next morning, there was a whole fresh new gallon of half and half milk. Uh -uh. They were in his house messing with him. And then there at the end, he uh, he finally come back to his friend and said, dude, what's going on? This stuff has been happening to me. His friend didn't say nothing, but handed him a cup of coffee. And in the coffee napkin was a note. And he said, you have to get out of here. If you don't, they're going to kill us both. And so he packed up immediately and left California and went back home. He's a YouTuber. <laughs> Friend. Did they follow him home? They never messed with him after that, but his friend got famous. Tell who his friend is, but his friend blew up because he did that. He sold his soul for fame and fortune, and they even do it to well, him. Well, who's his friend? He wouldn't know. He wouldn't give it up. None of it. He won't give it up? Huh? He wouldn't give up who the friend was? He wouldn't give up anybody who the celebrities was or the friends, but according to what he said, YouTubers are invited ones, the big fancy Nancy's. Well, so, Daisy, you know what? I don't think I don't think you and I are gonna have to worry about it. No, I would never do that sheet. Heck to the I way. ain't going to, I would never go. Uh uh. Taylor, would you go? No. Uh uh, no ma'am. I like right now, I could be riding the Sebastian's uh, st story just like the rest of them YouTubers are. Um, but I ain't doing it because I'm not going to attack the parents. I'm not going to go down that that road. If I don't get views, okay, I don't get right. I'm not doing it. But I had a couple of days ago that the, you know, the subs are just as bad as the YouTubers that are going out about the Sebastian story, you know. And I agree, I think there are some stuff that are just as bad as the creators. Well, I heard today that people brought guns to the the search parties. Like they were bringing Why? weapons. They're 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 crazy. They're freaking crazy. What is I'm wrong? Not... If you're searching for a missing child, you don't need a gun, you just need to Find look for the kid. <laughs> it ain't it's not about finding him anymore. It's about it's a mob mortality against the parents basically or the stepdad. Oh. They have got they have got uh, signs with the stepdad's face on it that says Rep repent Chris Proudfoot. We don't know. Oh. 
Okay, that's so true. We don't know who took uh, Sebastian. He could have ran away and something happened to him. Now, yeah, we can't, uh, you know, now, like with in the case of Madeline Soto, we know what that dude did to her, you know, right? And, and also, he has been arrested and charged, so there's a big difference there. Yeah, right. That's true. That's true. Let's see. Laura P said, Laura P, love my Laura P. Motivating people to stop searching. Who who's doing that, Laura P? Allegedly, they're saying that the Proudfoots are taking down flyers and stuff like that. Yeah, uh, yeah, but how do they know? Everything. How do they know it's the Proudfoots taking it down? It could be exactly. anybody. Exactly. It could be it even could like be if you're if, if you're in a store and you have a store owner, they'll only leave the missing flyer up for a little while. Then they have to take it down. If they didn't, they would have their whole windows full of stuff. I've seen exactly. it happen in this country, this country town, and like for missing pets and stuff. That yeah. those flyers only stay up for like a couple days, and then somebody takes them down. Well, the thing is, is I agree people being upset because they're not searching for Sebastian, for one. And, you know, basically... But they did they pay for... Uh, Miss Daisy, they did pay for those billboards. They put $2,000 towards those billboards. Oh, they did? Yes, they did. I don't know. So they're not searching... I, I the, yeah, they weren't out there... Been. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. I was going to say, yeah, they aren't out there pounding the pavement, but, you know, they're still, you know, they're putting an effort mm -hmm. forward. Yeah, I think, um, I think everybody just, in my, just, just in my opinion, oh goodness, I'm probably going to get attacked now, but <laughs> I'm going to say it anyway. Um, just in my opinion, I just think that the focus needs to be on finding Sebastian. Everything else on who did it, how it happened, who who's guilty, who's blah, blah, blah. That is the police work's job. That's the police's job. I think that, like, the public and anybody else who wants to help, if they want to be helpful, the main goal is to find the missing child. That should be the number one goal, not argue, you know what I mean, or accuse or any of that stuff, because that doesn't help. We found that out in lots of other missing children cases. So if anybody wants to be helpful, don't fight over it. Just look. Just look. Somebody paintballed our house last night. What? Somebody paintballed or paintballed shot our house and our neighbor's house last night. Uh uh. Yeah. And then there's somebody pounding wow. on your back door. Somebody was pounding on your back door. Just now. I ain't hearing it no more. Let me tell you what, somebody comes to my house, uh, we don't play at my house at all. You come pounding at my back door, first off, you're going to have to trudge through uh, woods. Second off, we have cameras that will take every picture and every film of who you are. Oh, yeah. yeah. We, we don't play over here. Well, they shot. And they also, shot. also, my neighbor is the, is the sheriff, so... They went down here and shot my house, my neighbor up the road's house, and the neighbor up from the road's house with pink paint balls. Well, they got a lot of nerve to even come on your property and bang on your back door. They better be glad you didn't go back there and jerk that door open. Huh? I said, is she there by herself? No. I think Bubby's there and her husband's there. There's, a, uh, there's, there's people there. Huh? See? Now, if you had Baby Jacks there, you could let him loose. Baby Jacks will hoard him right in the fanny. Baby Jacks don't play. He'll, he'll horn you. Somebody still in the back, Daisy? Just a second, y'all. Hang on just a second. You're scaring me. That creeps me out. 
That is scaring me. See, at my house, uh, we know how to use firearm, and we are licensed to use firearms. And not scared you, right? <laughs> uh uh. No, I've taken many years of self defense too, so I don't even need a firearm if I don't need if I don't have to have it. Yeah. So I can yeah. I can take down at least two grown men by myself. That's freaking me out. You guys scared? I can't see the chat. Can you, Taylor, can you see what the chat's saying? No, give me a second. I can't see it either. I'm on my phone. Uh, what, do you, what do you all think? What do you think Daisy should do? You know what? Somebody's banging on my back door. You know what I do? I go back there and jerk that door right open as soon as they hit that first knock. Right open. Oh, yeah. You ain't even playing. You want to scare me? Fine. I'm going to scare you back. I've got chat okay. open now. Allegedly, it's Raiden has shoes in the dryer. <laughs> it sounded like the day. Oh. <laughs> Here we are getting ready to send the squad over. <laughs> Bob. We're getting ready to send the squad over to rescue you, Daisy. Huh? We had our feathers all tuffered up. You want too? I was getting worried because my daughter called and it sounded like somebody was pounding on our door. But Well, now we know it was just shoes in the dryer. Man. If that don't help you take a big deep breath, I don't know what would. But still, somebody paintballed your house. I know. That's bull baloney. Somebody paintballed your house. You know what? There was a, a guy who came up to our driveway one day. This was last year. And he thought he was going to turn around in our driveway. You know what my husband did? Mr. Christine got in his car and chased him all the way to the to the uh, gas station. Property, and I wouldn't know. If they're coming up there on your driveway, they're coming up there to look around or something, ain't they? Oh, yes, they are. And guess what? He didn't get away with it, neither, because my my husband chased him all the way to the gas station. He would have chased him longer too, and asked him what what was his problem, why he came up on our property. We don't play over here. I know. I don't blame me. I live. We're back in the back country. This is my. GG, I miss living by myself. Really? I, I'm yes. Daisy. You need. Daisy, you need a ring camera for the front door and back door. We got a camera. Yeah, she sure does. Needs to, needs to put it back together and turn it on. I don't know what's wrong. With yeah, Miss Christine, uh, Virgo Angel said hello, Miss Christine. I'm glad. I'm so glad to see you. Oh, I'm glad to see you too. Are you? Is That's right. Daisy freaking yeah. you out? Because she was freaking me out. <laughs> I thought someone was gonna come in there and get her. I mean, I stop. I'm gonna have to turn this somber after at night, y'all. Freaking run off these paintball fuckers. You don't <laughs> think it's none of Bubby's friends, do you? I don't think so. I think like, it might be my like a high school prank. Well, my neighbor called me and she said that she ran people out of a yard last night or not before last. Yeah, I think that might be. I don't know because they were parked and passed out in her yards. What she said, she ran yeah, but why are they paintball in your house? You didn't do it. I don't know. They may have involved the other ones. I don't know. Uh, we ain't asked the other ones. I didn't see the other ones had paintballs, but I don't know. See, that's so disrespectful. I mean, people. People work hard for what they got, and then you got people who just totally disrespect other people's property. Now they they'd get mad if you did that to their property. By golly, I know. Problem is, they probably won't never have nothing because people like that never do get nothing. They don't. Well, achieve. if they were passed out in her driveway or his driveway, then that means yeah. they were probably drinking her own drugs. Yeah, probably. Substance, but so what yeah, do you got to do to get paint? How do you get paintball off your house? He just washed it off, so and it comes off pretty easily. Yeah, 
Randy and Chops okay. is out there. Usually lets me know, but I was out last night like a lot. So that might have been why Randy and Chunks didn't wake me up. But that night, Benny got out. Randy and Chunks uh, was going crazy. And, and something said, don't go back to bed. Benny's out. And I looked because you could just hear things rattling out there. And I Benny out there bed. wreaking havoc. Oh, if I would have went to bed and, and it would have been untelling what he would have got into that instead of waking up and going and checking, he would have probably killed somebody. Somebody would have come out of their house and he would have rammed them. I'd say he was going that crazy. Yeah, he was out to hurt something. He, he was. Yeah, that's why we got rid of her baby because her baby was starting to act like him. And he was trying um, to mount too, so we we had yeah. to get rid of the baby because of that. But uh, yeah. but yeah, people in the afraid. spring that's what they do. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they start a mating in the spring. Ryan said, "Taylor, hi." <laughs> Ryan, Taylor, hi. Uh, 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 read back chat. Who, me or Daisy? Both of us. Both of us. I can't remember how to get back there. Hmm. Maybe there. Just click on the chat. Oh, gotcha. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Um, Hi, Ryan. But, uh, hey, Zigzag. But, yeah, I'm not. Hi, oh, Zigzag. If something poor what are you doing? out in this case, I'm going to. I will cover Sebastian's case, but when there's nothing else new on the case, I'm not going to make up random sheet just to have clicks and views like some of these are doing or push the skate train on the parents. You know, I'm just not doing it. Like, Has anyone heard about Caleb Rogers? Who? Caleb Ro or is it Rogers? No, Caleb Harris out of Texas. I've heard a little bit about it. I've shared a few things, but I've not really got into the. Well, the I, I noticed that Justice for All and uh, who else was it earlier that I noticed had something up? I want to say uh, Dolly has something up about him or is doing a live about him. And I had to ask, has anything actually came out? I've not really covered him. I've shared his thing a little bit, but I've not really covered him a whole bunch. Like, if it's a case that I really get into, like Madeline Soto, like, I think she needs justice, and I don't know why they have not arrested anyone in her on a living. But when, when it comes to Sebastian's case, right now, there is just nothing. They have searched and searched for that child. Like, they well, have... My only just, thing with that is is that if there is no scent coming out of the house, then to me, I'm, it makes me say, why? If he if he left yeah. out of that house, then why did the scent dog not pick that up? Well, see, they said that it was a fear scent or a death scent that the scent dog was looking for. Well, if you're going to climb out your window as a teenager, you aren't going to be scared. You know what I mean? Right. Exactly. Well, so that's so right. why anything period what do you think is what do you what do you guys think foul play not foul play i don't know foul i go play. back and forth i'm wondering if what do you taylor do you go back and forth you know what? This is where I stand with it. I have stood, kind of like I have with Summer's case, I don't think the parents did anything. Either side did anything to him. I think he went missing on his own accord. You think he, he went out the window and left? Mm -hmm. I think that's what the thud was she heard, was he accidentally kicked the window. And when she hollered, what was that noise? He's standing there at the window. He goes, oh, nothing, Mom. You know, but he's autistic and he doesn't like a lot of germs and stuff. What What do you think would make him? Because autistic like, what kids. Do you? Hello, Angel. We see you. 
What would That's be so it. awful for him to want to leave? Do you, like, what do you think? They get, well, they get urges. I mean, it's hard to explain, but if you talk to any parent who has an autistic child, they get urges to run. And whatever that urge yeah. is, it doesn't matter if they've got shoes on or not. You know, him saying he didn't like shoes. Well, it's not going to matter. His thoughts are, you know what? I want to go do such such, and no one's going to stop me. That's great. You know? So why do you think? So why do you think they haven't found him though? I that's mean, that's he couldn't have ran too far. Well, if he's living in homeless encampments, they could help hide him out. Jump on a truck with a truck driver, they'll help hide him. I was a truck driver, uh, so. Oh. What? I, I see huh? a crazy that's show. Awesome. Oh, hi, God of Love. How are you? Love you, girl. God of Love. I snuck out the window when I was a teenager. So stupid, but it doesn't. But it does happen. That is. True. Yeah. I did too when I was younger too. But you know where I went? I went right across the street. I didn't go far. But I was being I was being physically abused. So I had a reason to do it. Grandpa was in Texas. What if he decided to jump out the window to go see Grandma and Grandpa? If he got that urge, you know, we don't know. With no, with the not no get, clothes or shoes or anything. The only thing that gets me is I have seen lies. Chris, Chris, and the both tell fibs. Two different, three different stories. But we also know They've that told Dad's told a lie too. Miss Daisy, Daisy mm -hmm. Dad has lied too. Daddy, the Chris, dad? or Sebastian, or what? yeah, Daddy. We'll call him Bio Daddy. Bio Daddy has lied as well. Bio Daddy. What did he and lie about? I didn't, I didn't hear that. He said that Sebastian had autism whenever, he, whenever they separated. Now, according to everyone else, and I don't know if this is us, and according to law enforcement, he was just diagnosed with autism. Yeah. Hmm. Well, so he is, the dad, Seth, has a 20 some thousand dollar GoFundMe already. Now, yeah. I understand he needs help since he's not working, but, I mean, I don't know how I feel about that. Heck, I've tried running a GoFundMe and a PayPal thing just so I can go see my sister with cancer, and that's not paid off very well. <laughs> no, people Aww. don't like GoFundMe's because there's so much corruption behind it. Plus, well, why they don't PayPal like PayPal Huh? You know, PayPal has a way that you can do donations too. And so I was like, well, I'll make a thing up for it that way. Well, they've been also putting Seth's cash app out too. Uh huh. And, and I wonder how much he's gotten on that cash app. Huh? I said, and I wonder how much he's gotten off cash app for it. I don't know, but I just, I don't feel comfortable about all that because I understand he's looking for a son and he's not working and stuff, but. I don't know how I feel about that. I don't know. I mean, I think money is the root of all evil. It is. It is the root of all evil. And mm -hmm. I mean, I do feel his pain. I feel like he is hurting and stuff, but I don't know. I it's don't very, know. very easy to fall into certain criteria when you start doing cash apps and uh, GoFundMe's and all that stuff. Yeah. It's easy. It kind of opens yourself up to be, you know, attacked. Really. Yeah, that is true. It could be innocent. It could be innocent, and and you know, you can't really control who donates what. You know what I mean? So you can't get can't get upset with people, but it also leaves the door wide open for you to. I mean, I can understand unfortunately get attacked. I don't know about like what's he doesn't have much of a a reward fund, does he? What's his reward I fund? I haven't seen it. I know it was like give me a second, I'll go look. Yeah, I've been out of it for the last couple of days. But how are you feeling? Um, I've been I'm doing good. I hanging in there, but that red devil, my gosh, that is horrible, horrible. Plus I've been taking that that I had to take that shot for to boost your white blood cells, and that makes like the actual your bone marrow hurt. It makes you sick to your stomach. There's been times, oh, it's been hard. Just 
really hard. Oh, that's the thought bad. of having to take it, the thought of having to take it again in a couple of weeks is makes me want to, it, it makes me gag. Yeah. Well, that's how bad it is. I don't, and I don't want to, I don't want to scare anybody who might be getting ready to take it, but you just need to prepare yourself. It is, it's really, really super hard. Well, I know the baby in Wisconsin, his is up to 40 K as of, I don't know when, uh, March 12th. That's when I went pulled up. Christine, do you, have you got as sick as you did that one time with the fever and all? Have you got that nope. sick? No, nope, I haven't gotten a fever or anything, but I've just been really nauseated and sick to my stomach and I'm starting to lose my taste buds again. Um, Oh, Which is, I, I would lose my taste buds anytime. Feeling sick the way I feel now, I would not wish that on anybody. Oh, no. It's horrible. Yeah. I hate you. I mean, it is straight up horrible. You only have two more to go, and then you get your. Two more to go. Yeah. Then I get my surgery, and then I get six more weeks of, of chemo. But you won't have to do Red Devil no more, right? No. No more Red Devil. Good. Just well, the keep just the other yeah. stuff. Yeah. Well, let's pray. Well, we know it ain't going on war. We're gonna <coughs> rebuke that and plead the blood over you. And we know that it ain't going any further. We just need it to get out of there. They need to get it out. It makes get it me out. Uneasy. That's exactly it. I think I'll feel Me better too. once they get that. Get that well, they're out. trying to shrink it so that they can make sure that they do get it all out. The only bad thing is it's in the, my lymph nodes. And because it's in the lymph nodes, it can travel and pop up at any time, anywhere. Well, we rebuked that. We're stopping that devil right off the bat. That's and right. And see, the red, the red devil is supposed to kill any cancerous cells at any stage. So that's why I'm taking four rounds of it. Wow. Okay, guys, I'm not finding any reward fund for Sebastian. Now, I know I saw earlier there was one. Uh -huh. Really? Wow, you'd think yeah. that would be public, wouldn't you think, Taylor? I think that would be more important I would think than so, anything. too. I think hmm. that would be more important than anything. But I did find the Sebastian Rogers family support thing, and it's at twenty three thousand three hundred and fifty nine dollars. Yeah, that's the like GoFundMe thing, I think. Yeah, that he was telling me. Yeah, that about. was the GoFundMe. But it's twenty three hundred thousand. Mm -hmm. That's not very much. Thousand twenty three hundred. That's three thousand two hundred. No, I, if it, if twenty three hundred is is it, then that's not a lot. I thought someone told me twenty three thousand. I think it's thousand because it's two three comma three five nine. So oh, okay, so the comma is after the two, then it's yeah, yeah, that's thirty two thousand right there. Twenty two, yeah. Now that right there is a lot of money, y'all. Yes, and it is. Debbie said it's That's a brand new car right there. No shit. Some of that could go towards a brand new car. We could be building that reward fund. I'll see. And then but they have true. the what goal is, is 25. Huh? The goal is 25. 25,000? Mm. Yes, ma'am. That's exactly what UK Hospital did to my sister in law, Christine. They shrunk her tumor and did a mastectomy, and she has been cancer free for five years. And she also had six Yeehaw! Good MC. Praise the Lord. That's, Praise the Lord. Absolutely. That's why, you know, because a lot of technology has been way advanced than before, and usually triple negative breast cancer was pretty much a death sentence. But now that technology is, um, has came a long way, we have a really high chance of survival. 
That's good. So, um, yeah. I understand that. I can't lose my friend. I love my friend. And Who's going to go look for a Sasquatch with you? I know. We're going to have to go Sasquatch. <laughs> <with you. laughs> uh, well, I was looking at a Sasquatch map, and it's pretty heavy in this area. <laughs> a Sasquatch map? <laughs> oh, yeah. man. Where they had sightings of Sasquatch, and they're like everywhere in the Appalachian Mountains. I told her as soon as I get cancer free, we're gonna go look for Sasquatch. We're gonna find him and make millions. <laughs> Don't forget the friends. That's Don't right. We're all gonna be on an island somewhere on the in the Bahamas. That's fine. That's fine. As long as it's nice and sunny year round and it's got clear, crystal clear water, I'm good. That's right. We're gonna be <laughs> sipping out of a coconut. Yep, getting us a pan. Gosh, the thing is, is I I don't know what people see. I think a lot of times people see bears, and they they mistake them as Sasquatch. Well, Daisy, I don't know if I told you about my Sasquatch story. I'll make it quick because I need to hop off here. But one morning, early morning hours, I had to go pick up my well. The boyfriend was with me. My middle son's daddy. Mm -hmm. You he call him the boyfriend. <laughs> You're so funny. <laughs> you called him well, the I boyfriend. Call, I would call him the sperm donor if I could get by with it, but that's not the point. Me <laughs> <laughs> oh. um, anyway, and him and his cut was going to get his cousin. And mind you, you have to drive through some country roads to get there. Well, we take back roads. And this mm -hmm. thing stepped out in front of the car. And walked in front of us, and it was huge. No. I told my dad about it, what were you smoking? And I was like, nothing. I wasn't smoking anything. And where I got what to where he worked, we were all sitting outside talking about it. It was big. It had long brown hair, and it had big eyes like a cow to me. It reminded me of cow eyes. Looking at. Was it on two legs or four? Two. I mean, it walked across the fence. I mean, just stepped over it. It just stepped over the fence. That's all I can tell you. I mean, it was tall. Because it stepped over the fence, stepped in front of the car, and then stepped over the other fence. On two legs? Yes, ma'am. On two legs. Well, that ain't no bear for sure. A bear ain't going to step over no no fence. Like, where were you mm -mm. at? Like, spill the tea. <laughs> like, yeah. <laughs> we got to put, put this on the Sasquatch map. Well, anyway, I went back to his job, and we were all sitting outside talking about some of the cigarettes and talking about, and I'm, you know, laughing and joking about it. I was like, yeah, I'm the crazy one. I just seen Sasquatch or something just stepped in front of our car. I don't know what, what it is, but something stepped in front of my car on two legs and walked across the fence. And one of the guys goes, yeah, it followed me home one time. And three rocks at my door. Mm -hmm. And I'm sitting going, it, oh, don't follow me home. <laughs> and, uh, mm -hmm. Oh yeah, my God, that would scare me to death. Location, but what region was that? Was that in? I'm well. I can tell you, I was in Ardmore, Oklahoma at the time. Oklahoma. Yep. We're we got to put that the on the river. Sasquatch map. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna do a Sasquatch There's finding so tour. Swears they see them. Makes you believe that maybe they are some mountain men out here. There has to be. Well, you know, my uncle, now I'm going to tell you, my uncle was Native American, and he used to tell about a woman that was tall and hairy. They had, like, a family of kids. A who? A out. woman? Did you say yes. a woman? A woman. Extremely oh. hairy woman wow. who had several kids. And this was down in the uh, Antlers, Atoka area of Oklahoma. If you look it up, you'll Hugo, that area. Anyway, he would talk about this lady, and he would sit there, and he'd tell stories about her, and she was hairy, and she had all these children and stuff, and I'm just looking at him going, you're crazy. I believe it. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. Go ahead. You know, so he, you know, he told about these stories, and this is a Native man, and, you know, he had very, very big faith in him, and he told me, he goes, you'll never mm -hmm. see one if you're looking for it. He goes, but they will have a smell. Here's the thing. They stink. Where you see That's what one. they say. They stink. Mm -hmm. They stink. I wonder why they so. stink. 
They saw water revival. Because they don't take a bath, Daisy. They don't take a bath. They don't bathe. Sasquatch has the ability to turn invisible. That's what. Yes, I was trying to tell you. Anyway, he used to say, if you're looking for one, you will not see it because they go invisible. Supposedly. That's weird. That's like a demon. Almost like a demon. That's like an demon. alien. Terrible here. I That's like know. an alien. I can tell you Indian stories, like the little people. Have you guys ever heard of the little people? No. Do tell. <laughs> they are creatures. Like playing play pranks on people. You know, they're, like, they're known to be. Like, like a like leprechaun? Oh, you could think of like a leprechaun. I mean, the way that the natives were, they're little people. And I'm saying, okay, so my uncle used to say they're about three foot tall. And he goes, mm -hmm. they're evil. He goes, they will move things on you. They will do crazy shit to you. I'm just looking at my uncle is going, that uh -huh. Is that where the story of the leprechaun comes from? Maybe. So. Well, you got to think a lot of these stories all alienate from their tribes or where they're from. And you got leprechauns, which is from um, Ireland. See, Ireland, Irish people believe in leprechauns. Well, so leprechaun. it's like Chicago. Did you ever see a little did you ever see a little person? I've never seen one. Now my uncle used to think it was hilarious because when I was a kid things would come up missing or be moved from where you know. Are they I in the I United go, States? Well, you know, I'm Native American, so of course they're in the United States. Honey. Trick, oh. Yeah. So the tricksters. Huh. The trolls. What oh, she know. said trolls? In they're the trolls? Bible. In the Bible, it talks about the the great man of men of value. They're ma they're hairy men, and they're big uh -huh. men. And they're great. So, who's to say that there's not like still out there somewhere big men? Like they could. Even well, you remember the Andre the Giant, the wrestler, don't you? He was huge. He was huge. Could you imagine him being like, out in the woods and not taking a shower and not shaving? He'd be a hairy mess. They smell like baby jack, like pee pee. Like baby <laughs> oh, man. Baby jacks. I know. We have well, let me tell you what. I was in uh, Gatlinburg one time, and this was when my boys were oh, little, little. A squash area. <laughs> and I know, right? But this guy, I we had started. We started on the trail hiking. We liked to hike, and we, you know, we gave our kids the love of hiking, so we would hike with them. Well, this mm -hmm. particular time, we start hiking, and we we got at the mouth of where we were going to start hiking, and I looked up a, a distance, and I seen something jumping from tree to tree, and I thought, what in the world is doing that? So I right. walk faster than everybody else. So I, you know, I sped up. I wanted to go see what the heck was going from tree to tree. So I get up there a little ways. It is a man, a a mountain man or something. What? I could see him clearly. He looked at me. I looked at him and he was hiding behind trees and he would run and go hide behind a tree and wait until we came a little bit closer. And then he'd go run a little bit further back up and go hide uh, behind another tree. I told my husband, I was like, uh-uh, uh-uh, we ain't That's taking crazy. this trail. We're going to turn around right now. Take the kids back. <laughs> this What's guy is acting weird. That's a part of the Appalachian Trail. In yeah, Denver. well. I, they we decided we weren't trees. taking that trail anymore. This guy was acting like some weirdo. Mm -hmm. And he, he had a backpack. He had long, long beard, long hair, dirty as can be. You could tell he'd been sleeping out in the w wilderness for a pretty long time. He from tree to tree? He was jumping from, he was hiding from tree to tree, like on the ground. Like he would go from one tree and then put his back behind it to where we couldn't see him and then we'd get a little closer and then he'd run from that tree to another tree like a further up and go hide behind that tree it was weird wow did y'all have bear spray or anything to protect yourself my husband never goes anywhere without some kind of protection oh, but yeah. but i was still like uh 
nah, I don't think I want to put my kids through this kind of trauma if something pops off. But no. my husband started laughing. He said, you would rather me wrestle a bear than to take on some human being. <laughs> I was like, yes, that's true. That was weird, though. That That, that is weird. weird. It was like it was like he was stalking us, kind of. He probably was. Yes. Mm -hmm. He's probably used to people going down there in Gatlinburg, and probably likes to get a kick out of scaring people. I don't know, but he was—he'd scare the wrong family because I lay him on the—I'd lay him on the ground quicker than he could blink. <laughs> no, <laughs> but we but decided. We decided, nah, we ain't gonna, we ain't gonna entertain this. This is just too crazy. I wonder if he done anybody else that way. I don't know, but we were the only, we were the only ones on that trail. Ooh, that's scary. That is. Scary. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. That's why I was like, mm, I, I'd rather not have to tango with some somebody. Who knows if there wasn't somebody up above, like further up. I know. I mean, if he's that crazy to be in the trees like that, that, that and he acted like, like we couldn't even see him when he was hiding. He would he would run to the next tree, and we're like, we're looking. We just looked at each other like, does this guy think that we can't see him? Was he jumping from branch to branch? No, he wasn't. He wasn't jumping from branch. He was on the ground. Oh, he was running from tree to tree, like he had his back towards the tree, like he was on the ground. But wow. he was, I know, and, but he would go and hide where you couldn't see him. Like, but we seen him run over there. You know what I mean? It's not yeah. like he was, you know, lightning fast yeah. where we couldn't see him. We could see him clearly. That was so weird. That's weird. I've, got the hell out of <laughs> no. I've never seen anything like it. I thought, does this guy think that we can't see him go from tree to tree? We can see him run from tree to tree. They're probably a crazy man. Yeah, he was. That's why I was like, mm -mm. I'd rather well, there, I'd rather find a bear than a crazy man. There was a man and a woman walking on the Appalachian Trail a few years back, and they come up with up on a guy that had a machete, and he chopped that man's wife all to pieces. Or was it the man? Two of them got chopped up. Another one survived and ran and got help. But yeah, he was crazy. See, that's what I was afraid. Maybe it was that man. Well, maybe it was. <laughs> There's no way I would go alone on a trail like that. Hey, Crippy, that guy. Crazy. Well, it was me, my husband, and my three kids. But my kids were little at that time. Mm. But it was the no weird, way. and he was so he was real dirty, and he just he just looked like he looked like a mountain man, like a Appalachian mountain man right. that came out of the woods and mm -hmm. he had his beard was real long and his hair was real long and stringy and he had a hat on and he had a backpack mm -hmm. on and he was he was acting very strange it wasn't safe was that's for sure huh he was something oh yeah he was he was acting he was definitely and that was the only time we ever had an incident like that in gatlinburg the only time or because y'all walk trails a lot, so you've not had no experiences with any squash. <laughs> no squash. Now we've had bears. I've we've ran into um up there in Cades Cove, we've ran into um a mama bear with three cubs. We have oh. ran into a a boar. I thought it was a baby bear running at like running towards me, but once it got closer, I realized it was a boar. Oh, they say they're we, mean. Well, this one was a little one. They're still but mean. it looked like a cub. I thought, to myself, I thought, oh my gosh, here comes a baby cub running. You know the mom is going to be coming after it. Oh, but yeah. once it got closer, I realized it was just a boar, a baby boar. This one I wasn't scared of it. Huh? This woman caught a baby boar out in the wilderness and he picked it up. And then when he put it down, it turned around and come after him, try to eat him up. Oh yeah, they will. They're they're mean. they're aggressive. Oh yeah, they're definitely. But if yeah. you just stand out of their way, they won't they won't do anything to you. Now, if you pick them up or you corner them, well, yeah, any animal's gonna come at you. Diamond but said, if you ever see a boar out in Gatlinburg, just step to the side. They'll just keep uh, running. 
I seen a video where oh, a my bear dad picked up a baby female pig on the side of the road. Huh? What? What'd you say? Taylor. What, Taylor? Oh, she kicked herself. I, I seen a boar on the side of the road. Oh, Diamond said, I know who you're talking about, Miss Christine. Ronald the the monkey man. He's running for office this year. <laughs> <laughs> Ronald Trump for president. <laughs> She's going to conquer him up. Come, conquer Ronald Trump up in here. Conjure, conjure Ronald Trump up. Where are you at, Ronald Trump? <laughs> so he can argue with Marita about politics. Maybe it's Ronald Rump. Instead of Ronald Trump, it's probably Ronald Rump. There we go. <laughs> yeah, it's something else, I'll tell you. But uh Hey Pam, how are you? But now you know, I have seen I have seen a uh, a black bear walk on two legs before, have you? I've never seen one. I've seen it in like videos, but I've never seen them do it like in real person. I have. I've seen a black bear walk on two legs just like a person. And see, that would make somebody think it was a Sasquatch. Oh, yeah. I would think now, black you... bears are kind of smaller, though. I mean, uh -huh. they're, they're, they're taller than me, of course, when they're on their hind legs. But black bears can walk on their hind legs. Or any, any bear can walk on their hind legs, for sure. Yeah, they can. They can. But I don't think they can step over a daggone fence. Uh, no. Uh -uh. That, They'd have to climb over a fence. They ain't going to be able to step over it. Mm -mm. There was a lot of people that, uh, there was a whole lot of people that said that they, um, there's a lot of stories out here that is similar to what people say about Sasquatch. They say the same thing. Some and it's them, all over the world, too. I know it's weird, because I think... I just wonder if some of my entities, like demonic entities, or maybe there is a wild something out there that's maybe half it's, human, half. Maybe the spaceships are dropping them off and then picking them up. I don't know. <laughs> did you see that? Did you see that like black line that was going through the sky? They said today. Oh, I got a picture of it. The black line. So that yeah. is real. Oh, it's real. Like, yeah. Send that to me. What was that? I, I I think it was just the illumination from the 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 moon and the sun coming together. It it just caused like a like a little flare. It looked like a flare to me, but I got it. it. Was, I got it a picture good. of it. It was a black line going through. Yeah. Hang on. Let me see if I can send you a picture of it. Hang okay. On. We want to see. I've seen the video with it in there. It looks almost like a demon or something. Or it could be a rocket ship because they said, remember, they was going to shoot rocket ships or something. They, they was going to do something today during the eclipse. They was going to put equipment up there. Me too, Debbie. Okay, there it is. Hey, okay, you know what I, I got a picture of? It was so neat. Yeah. I got a picture of a plane that went right into the eclipse. Like it, it, would, it was heading right into the eclipse. You can they see it. They said they were going to do that. They did can it. I, I got a picture of it. Can you send it? Yeah. Th there's the picture of the black line. Let me see. Were this? See it? Yep. Well, have you seen the videos with the, it looks like the videos of the black line that, uh, shoot. Let me see if I can find it. S send me that picture while you're at it. It's really creepy looking. Hang on. It what does it look like? That's the black line I got. See it? Okay. Well, it's not really black. It yeah. looks red in the picture, but this let one me send sure you can plainly see it in this one. It's like a black line. Let me bring it up. And it, it looks like a damn dragon or something going through the thing. Hang on, let me take this down and I'll pull that one up. It's quite scary. Hang on. Um, but lo that looks like you caught a glimpse of it. Maybe. Okay, let me go. I just shared that devil. Where's it at? 
Darn it. Why ain't it letting me? Up, All right, Daisy, there's the plane that's going into the eclipse. Okay. You can see the the engine the engine lines. Uh-huh. And that the sky, the clouds just covered up the eclipse, but it's there. Okay, I'm gonna show you this one first and then we'll look at yours. Okay. I'm okay. gonna show you. I'm not going to play the music on it because I don't want to get... Uh, I was like a kid in a candy store today. I know. You was enjoying it. Here we go. I think I know what CERN was doing Look, while yeah. this eclipse was happening. Do you see this? There is so many different videos and footage of demons flying by the sun. Can you by see the way, to all you... Yeah, yeah I see you that, but stop. I had stuff like that in mind, too. Uh-huh. I'm about to show you another but one in a yeah. minute. I'm I feel like it was here. because of it was just the rays from the eclipse and how the clouds were moving. It caused yeah, that effect. Down. Huh? Yeah, black lines going straight down into the clouds. Yeah, I have video of that too. And then the Let me bring yours up. Hang on. It's got music, so you might want to turn the music off. Hang on. And I've got I Sasquatch on there too. <laughs> Wait a minute. You got a video of it? Where's it at? Yeah, I've got a video of it. You sent this. It to me, it just looks like, you know, um, lens like glare from like. Uh, there definitely were flying aircraft up there around it. Which, oh, for sure. See, see that line. See the line right there, Daisy. Uh huh. That's the that's the jet line right there, the jet stream line, and it went right into the eclipse. Okay. Okay, okay. For all of you non-believers out there, if the sun and the moon is in outer space like they claim, why is there aircraft up there flying around it? I wouldn't have. Because I'll tell you what, I I did look right at it, and, and it caused me to have spots in my eyes. I'm telling you right now, the earth, oh. the sun, and the moon is all under the firmament. Oh my gosh, Daisy, <laughs> you're killing me. If the earth is round, like they say, why does the Cumberland River flow up and back down? I don't know. I have to research that. It goes from Harlan up all the way up through Williamsburg up north, and then it comes back down to Nashville. So look at I don't know, but why do salmon swim upstream? It wasn't NASA, y'all. I'm telling you, the the firmament, they can't penetrate the firmament. They've been trying to. There's water <laughs> above. The sun and the moon is inside the firmament. That's why they were flying airplanes up there around it. They, it that so, one definitely was. It was headed right for it. Know, the moon and the sun, there's no such thing as outer space. We live well, flat earth surrounded by a firmament with waters above and waters below. And there is water above because that's how come it rains, though. The clouds, the, it evaporates and goes up into the clouds and then it comes back down. So there is water above us. There's no outer space. <laughs> Baby. <laughs> Lord, here comes Marita to, to debunk that. Get up here, Marita. Get There's, up here, girl. What are you doing? I need some help. Oh, I'm gonna I, tag you. I have to I have to get up there for poor Christine. <laughs> Marita, oh, I'm please. tagging you in. I'm tagging you in. Thank you, girl. <laughs> Look, now how does the Mississippi flow up then? If we're it's on called, a... um no. <laughs> um, oh my god, why is the word on my tip of my tongue? Um, <laughs> it, it's the gravity. Gravity. <laughs> Gravity's going to pull it up. Gravity pulls lots of shit up. <laughs> it's that right there. Up. I live near Willow Grove. Oh, I have to, I'm going to have to pause myself. I'm laughing so hard. <laughs> I, I live about five miles from Willow Grove Air Force Base. They fly over my house all the time. Uh -huh. There were no planes <laughs> out today. There was nothing out. Well, there was for dinner. She's got a picture of it. I see a line. That's all. 
Yeah, there. That was a plane that was that was going yeah, towards. Planes fly. I yeah, mean, it was going. It was going towards the eclipse. How was it flying into the eclipse if it's in outer space? It's not. If it's not flying, it just looks it's that flying. way because of <laughs> the size of things. Do you think a plane is that small in real life? Yeah, not well, when it yeah. lands, it's massively big. It's How all in how to believe. Crazy, <laughs> I told you before, when a cat knocks a glass off the end of the earth, then I'll believe it's flat. <laughs> Maria's going to be pulling her hair out in a minute. I'm going to start drinking, and I don't drink. <laughs> no, not everything is a conspiracy. This is oh my this, God. a lot of these conspiracies. The Mayans, oh. the Mayans oh. knew about this <laughs> long before we did about this eclipse coming. Mm. Thousands of years they knew there was going to be eclipse are known thousands of years ahead of time. Like you guys, I'm gonna go bathroom. I'll be right back. Okay, Christine. It's see you, Christine. Uh, what it's not a conspiracy. Me? There's nothing behind it. It's just science. And for a nurse, I'm really surprised you, you don't believe, believe in science. science. I have a degree in science, actually, but I don't believe everything science says. But that is science. It's just the Earth covering the moon. But what or the moon covering the sun? I'm not saying that it don't. I'm just saying it's inside the firmament. It's not in outer space. I don't believe in no firmament. Firmament. The Bible firmament. talks about the firmament. The Bible talks about a lot of things, like we discussed her like yesterday when I wrote on your about confession. So do you believe? Do you believe in CERN? The where they uh, have a place where they. Uh, a government official place where they're trying to open up portals. No, there is a real place called CERN. That that's what they're no, doing. Might be, but it doesn't mean doing this eclipse. Sciences <laughs> does that. Where did right. you see that on the talk? Yeah, it's all over the talk. Yeah, the talk is not gospel. CERN is very real. Well, I'm gonna have to look that one up. Well, okay, Daisy. They actually have a Hindu god in front of their their facility. Yeah. I'm gonna have to well there they they believe in it's a whole different number six 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 engraved in it. Well, that's the devil. But um, I used to date a guy whose oh. phone number was seven two two six 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 zero, and his mother wanted him to have his number changed because it was the devil. There's no other planets but the Earth. We've been lied to for years. <laughs> oh, Daisy, come on. You. You're really not serious now. All joking Here's aside. I asked God to show you. Do you believe Look that? Look at that sky right there. Look at that sky. Do you really think there's black behind that sky? No. Yes. Yes, I do. Heaven above. I believe. No. no. Outer space. There's no such thing as outer space. There has been scientists that has proved that NASA is full of poop soup. Oh, uh, Daisy, truthfully, do you believe that? Truthfully, they have. Oh, scientists say a lot of bullshit. Okay, so the, so you can say that because I don't believe in NASA, practically it's NASA that is saying that there's an outer space. I Yet, see Waldo. The first man on the moon said it never happened. That it happened in a. I in know a what he studio. said. I know what he said. I remember oh, you weren't. Even, I remember when they walked on the moon. Daisy. Okay, so you so weren't even born yet. All their technology now, and also now they've got Elon Musk with his type technology. Why haven't they ever been back on the moon again? I don't know. I don't run the space program, <laughs> but there was a space program in my old high school. That was there when I went to school. It's called Spark. That's what they want us all to believe. No, there, there's, there's planets. Oh, you can see it. You see the stars. You see the planets. I go out my window, right? Look at my door right now. I'm going to see the Milky Way. I'm going to see. No. 
I do. You see stars. I, I, I actually they're saying that that's actual angels because angels in the Bible are round, and they are not every. Unfortunately, angels. Daisy, and this is a sad to me too. Not everybody mm -hmm. believes in the Bible. There's probably more people that don't, and it's always been that way. I believe in the Bible on hundred and thousand fifty percent. I do too. That's what I said. I said sadly. Yeah. Because Marita was there on the moon. She's the original Alice. <laughs> That's right. To the moon, Alice. My dad knocked me there a few times, Diamonds, believe me. Dino, <laughs> to, the moon, to the moon, Marita. To the now, moon. No, I, I believe in science. I'm sorry. I'm a very firm believer in science. And I, there I is plenty of proof. Now, I can't rattle off a bunch of crap right now because my mind isn't thinking it's a lot. Okay, well, Sorry. why did Jacob see the angels descending on a ladder up and down a ladder to heaven and back, down from up and down from earth to heaven? Because heaven's up there. Exactly. You don't know how big the ladder is, how long it was. Maybe somebody grabbed them. After earth is his footstool. But... People, again, interpretation. I, I believe, I yes, in Jacob's ladder. I, I mean, the majority of people believe that the earth is round and all that, but I believe that it's not. And logic, if do you, you really logic, believe it, Daisy, or are you just logic? Logic, I honestly, I have seen proof that there is a lot of people out there with video and footage of the earth from airplanes high. I'm going to have my camera blocked because and I'm shaking my wall. head. Why are they blocking the wall in Antarctica? What is beyond that wall in Antarctica? How do you know the wall is being blocked in Antarctica? Because there's been, I've seen videos where there's been footage of the wall. The airplanes can't get past that wall because they have government officials up there ready to arrest you. At any given time, if you go past that wall, maybe there's something that's science. Maybe there's something governmental up there. I think it is. I think there's more Earth than what we think. I, 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 I can't. I, I can't go with you on this one. A lot of time, I'll give you a lot of leeway. This one, I, I, can't. I don't expect people to believe the Earth is round. That's I. Hey, if you want to believe it's round, you go right on ahead. I'm oh, saying. I do, I do, and I believe in Newton's law of relativity and all I that. We've been fooled for a long time. They've been brainwashing us. They don't want us to believe there's a real God, and that's well, one of the reasons. Who doesn't want us to believe there's a real God? The world, the uh, the UN. I don't know where the UN says it. Are you really shaking your head? Yes, diamonds, I am. I'm doing my an alien in actually. Antarctica where no one is allowed. Google it. That is true. That is true. My uh, uncle just retired from NASA. I'm going to call and ask him tomorrow if it's flat around. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Saltwater. I wonder what he'll say. Now there what could be something in Antarctica that they, they don't that they're working on. They don't want people. Oh, to I understand that y'all don't believe it, but no, it's not that I don't, I don't believe, believe it. you. I mean, you have the right to your belief, but I just find yeah. it uh, that you're so well educated in science that. Mm -hmm. But I'm educated in the science of the body, not the science well, of the world. But, yeah, but. Some signs came along with that. Do I believe in the Bermuda Triangle? I think it's a weird thing. Yeah, that, that's a weird... When I, when I went to nursing school, I had to take anatomy, physiology, one and two, psychology, one and two, microbiology. Um, yeah, see, there you go. You took a lot of biology courses. and Now, yeah. I know you don't believe in dinosaurs. No, I do believe in dinosaurs. I believe the Nephilim was the dinosaurs were part of the Nephilim. I believe dinosaurs existed before us, and then God decided to make humans. He tried other things; he didn't like it. Uh, 
I believe in the Nephilim for sure on that one. Uh, I, I'm a believer of that that God just decided. He, the and of course, we could get the scopes trial and 12 angry men and whether we mm -hmm. came from apes, but I am not going there with you. <laughs> I, I don't believe we came from apes. I believe dinosaurs came from the Nephilim. Dinosaurs came from a time when the earth was just ice and cold. and uh, I, The earth was never ice. The earth was never nothing until God spoke er, on the earth. But there was something here there that God had made before there. us, I no. feel. No. I mean, there's too much proof to say there wasn't. There's, when they're finding bones that are a million years old. Back to science again, according to scientists. Uh, well, I, I, I mean, I, I got to go with them on this, Daisy. I got to. And I'm shaking, shaking my head again. That the fallen angels came to earth and shaking and my head. The angel fell in love with the women of the earth and, and made it and had Nephilim. In the original Old Testament, it says that. And then yeah. you go into the book of Enoch and it talks about how the Nephilim came here. They taught corruptions. They, they cast spells. They messed with the DNA of human beings. They messed with the DNA of animals. They well, how could they mess with the DNA if God made us? How can you what believe they're messing mess with the DNA now? Yeah, but that's science. That's messing with the DNA if you want to but call there, it. If you're saying there was no science oh, back then. Thank you. Thank you. I love you well, all. Right. Nice. This earth is flat around. It's free squash. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Kristen, for supporting my channel. Thank you. 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 No, yeah, unicorns. Believe. You know what happened to the unicorns? They the missed the boat. <laughs> and the unicorns is in the Bible. I love the unicorns. Okay. Song. Did you know that unicorns is in the Bible? Thank you. Yeah. I, 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 I read the Bible. I know the Bible. That membership. Let me see who got that membership. You did not know that unicorns is in the Bible? I said yes. I said I know the Bible. I just can't quote it like you can. I quote my favorite passages. See but I'm, I I know the Bible right. very well. Yeah. But sometimes I I can't tell you, oh, Psalm 15, 1 through 12 was this, yeah. this, this, and this. Because yeah. I just I Wait, didn't listen that well. Not be flat, but the nipple one did exist. The oh, earth right. is not flat. Membership. Thank you. Thank you, Bo Jangles. Thank you, Christine. Do your daughters listen to this? Wash before I believe the earth is flat. <laughs> and that's okay. Do your you daughters know. listen to this? Huh? Do your daughters listen to this? You know what? Because I know they get on you about the flat earth stuff. My daughter says, oh, no, mom, you're not a flat earther. <laughs> yeah. Well, tell your daughter, Babette. Listen, my daughter name. actually went to SpaceX with her husband and where... Um, Elon Musk has his space station in Texas. They oh, okay, yeah. To go to SpaceX. So, yeah. Oh, no, Mom, you're not a flat earther. <laughs> but it's okay because I can believe, and it's not a big deal. We all believe. Yeah, it. It, we're, we're on this earth no matter what. Flat, round, it's not a big triangle. Deal it's flat or not. But it makes but more sense. I got to go with science. I'm sorry. I just, it, maybe it's my education. And some things I won't. I mean, from the science I took in college and high school and grammar school. I mean, I the first, you, you got to admit, everybody in the chat, what was your first science project as a kid? Doing the planets. Remember, you always had to do the planets and line up and the earth and how they all lined up from the earth and like a diorama type thing. That was always, always the first science project I could ever remember. Well, I'm curious because Soul Water's got family in NASA, so she can ask them and find out for us. I don't have any family in NASA, uh, but I, I do have family I in the, the Air Force. The brain and, and hide 
a lot of things. Now, I'm not saying 100% sure I believe that the earth is flat, but I have a big su suspicion that it may be. What makes you think it is? Can I ask? And I don't mean There's if you don't want to talk about it. Out there. A lot of video, a lot of people has measured like for, from distances where they are supposed to not be in seeing things on the ocean. And instead of it being off down farther or disappear, it's up higher. They have done measurements and stuff from distances and measured where it is supposed to be downward and it's not. It's it's flat. Well, it, it's, it's well, all, there's well, so much well, evidence well, out there. These in, or is this on TikTok? This is actually people that has flew out and measured the distance between a certain thing and another certain thing. And you can actually see from airplanes mountain tops that you shouldn't be able to see. No, it's the so, there's a lot of flying. There's a what lot of islands that we don't even know Why exist. Why are they so hot to shut TikTok down? Answer me that. What's so bad about the TikTok? I think TikTok's other social teenagers media. Because it's, it's... And what's the difference between TikTok or Facebook or I think YouTube? it's all bad for children. I think it's all hard. But why are they trying to shut TikTok down? I'll because tell you. That, uh, you can do more because on that than you can do on Instagram. American and that you could do on they um can't censor, they cannot censor TikTok. So people around the world can speak their mind on TikTok. They can't censor it. Well, but there are two. I'm not gonna agree with that either. How do we know China? Well, I can agree with some of it. I'm gonna agree with some of it. We know that that's what they're telling us that China's bad, but how yeah, do we know? But, but how do we know China's really as bad as what they're saying? They say Russia's bad, yet Tucker Carlson talked to the Russian. Oh president, my God, Tucker Carlson! Don't call and him the as Russian possible. president. Actually, sounded more sane than what our our government sounded. No, don't talk C Tucker Carlson. Make that gospel, please. I, I really he's think he's, he's an know. ignorant man. He fights for America. You're uh, there. We'll leave that. We're going to leave him. I'm going to walk away from him. Okay. Tucker Carlson interviewed the president. I know. I know. Yeah. He, he shouldn't have even been over there. Like the Mikey Mount to be. He shouldn't have been over there. But that's just me. Uh, yeah, you know, he makes him out to be a god. And it, 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 it was sickening what he did. <laughs> I'm just saying, they try to make it make it look like Russia is a bad country. I think they are. I'm going to put it out here to the world. Our country has went downhill. We have a horrible country anymore. By the people that's running our country at this moment is destroying America, and their main goal is to destroy our country, America. Do you know that there is food in other countries that we get that is banned from other countries because it's toxic to their bodies, to our bodies, but yet they, they okay it over here in America? And other countries ban this certain foods. What food? Chemicals and foods. What There's food? all kinds of foods out there that they ban in other yeah, countries. Yeah, because they, it's probably because they can't afford to pay for it. No, because it has all of the freaking poverty. Food. Do, do your research on it. I know do some research. things. Believe me, Daisy. I do know some things. Our country is in a bed of shit. We are glorifying these pedophilia, elite, blood sucking, blood drinking, satanic worshiping celebrities, and we are forgetting about the real heroes in our country, which is the American soldiers. And the people that fight for I don't our know anybody spitting on an American soldier. My brother-in-law got spat on in 1972 when he came home what from did Vietnam. They do to, what did they do to the American soldiers when they went to the, the, the I ain't going to go down that road. Because what did they do to I'll them when they it. came home from Vietnam? See, you're I'll, too young I'll to I'll remember. Remain. I was in eighth grade when Vietnam ended. I the saw. The thing is, that. 
Democratic Vietnam Party, soldiers, not, not one of them was treated properly. Obama, they, you know, Biden, Clintons, they're all out. To well, they, all you know, it's funny. They weren't president during Vietnam. It was Nixon. It, it was, don't matter. Our country wasn't in the shape it is right now. Uh, uh, it wasn't great. Believe me, ask my mother, who was well, ready to send her son had, off to Vietnam. They had, at when, least they had dignity. Nowadays, our they country didn't have dignity, Daisy. They the, didn't. Soldiers came home and they were spat upon. They were called baby killers, rapists. They were my brother-in-law. We'll never get over the way he was treated when he came home elites, from serving his country. Save our and that children. went on for eighteen years, Save even longer. Our, people glorify these singers, these rappers. Oh well, that's always been and actors. That's He's, always been, though, and I think it's a bunch of bullshit. I don't glorify anybody but God. Exactly. I mean, the, there, I believe, I'm, I'm with you on that one, but don't, don't make it sound better. like every soldier's been treated great, because from 1956 to 1975, our soldiers were treated like shit. They were treated like shit. And I have family members. What other country in this whole world brings illegal aliens in here and gives them five and six thousand dollars welfare benefits and everything, while our American citizens are they're starving? They're not getting welfare. They are not getting welfare. welfare. They don't have. They are. They're security. paying them thousands of dollars. Even in New York, they're paying people to take them into their houses. They're bringing them in by the truckload. Yes, Bill Buster, I do remember the lines of the 70s. Even one day, you. odd the next day to get your gas. Believe what me. other country does that? Yeah. You've got people barely making it from paycheck to paycheck. Oh, Daisy, I, I'm all for closing that freaking door. I, know. I don't know why it's even, it wasn't done years to. ago. Long Let's before we even this administration. Should have been done in now, 2016. When he said he was going to do it. Do what now? Come up, Auntie Sherry, if you want to. I've missed Auntie Sherry. I know. I, I mean, I remember the gas lines of the 70s. The 70s were a horrible time to grow up in. I don't know why you're glorifying that this is the worst time. The 70s were the horrible. I was a child. You never knew when somebody was going to get that knock on the door. That they, and I grew up we in have three family members get that knock. There was no gas. I mean, we I'm were, not saying there hasn't been rough times before all this. I'm not saying it. But it comes it's in a cycle. They come in cycles. Horrible. They, it comes in cycles. Okay. In the 70s, were they inviting satanic groups into school and having an after-school Satan club? Schools were, I don't know what they were doing. I didn't, I went to a Catholic no, school. No, never before they've ever done anything. I went to Catholic school. I don't know. I, I didn't go to public they school. They didn't do that in public days. schools. When I went to the, when I went to public schools in the seventies, we sang the, the pledge allegiance and everything. They don't do but that. I, and I, I said prayers, but I went to Catholic yeah. school. Now, when I went to public school, we did not say prayers because there Did were you very good the Christians, school, you know, shooting. And who's that on? Where are these kids getting the guns? They're getting the guns because they're getting From the their guns parents. Yeah, that's why I don't people. believe that everybody should be allowed to have a gun. I don't believe that criminals should have them. No, no, I don't believe some parents should have them. Why? We just had a little girl die today, three years old. She picked up a gun yesterday. Her father's gun and shot herself in the eye. What is it? Ask them if they know what a preamble is. What's a preamble? I don't know. No. Pre preamble? preamble? Do you mean preamble like the yeah, that's preamble. I know what a preamble is. It's something written before like the preamble to the constitution or our country is becoming more and more satanic, more and more. Oh, well, that's because people have freedom of religion. Before you weren't allowed to show anything different. You know, gay has been around forever. Gay was the Sodom and Gomorrah. Gay was the Caliglia. 
and you know calligula it was in the bond all that gay has been forever and sexual things it's just more accepted now because it's not hidden in the closet gay has been or i knew do you know a minute illegal crossing the border they get 25 thousand is that twenty five thousand or twenty five hundred dollar gift card cell phone a bus or plane ticket to another state yeah that's so texas don't have to keep them that's all and i don't blame texas at some point but i don't like texas governor he's he's a sneaky bastard <laughs> it has nothing to do with his political <laughs> party on my he's just sneaky on how he got those people out of there because he sent them to philadelphia that's fair, LA Connections. I live in original Mayflower Pilgrim land and a democratic state, and it is beautiful area. Uh, it is. I live in Philadelphia, LA Connections, so I know the history and all that. So you must be right up above me there. And um, I believe in a into the U.S. Oh, with a legal, way. yeah, legal way. I agree. But but gay has always been. We had yeah, gay people in my family that, that just lived in a closet. I prefer not to bring that subject up, if you don't what? mind, Marita, because that just causes a lot of controversy. All it's, this is causing controversy. No, but that's a sense of well, very I'm just simple. saying, you're saying about the people yeah. reading books and stuff. I'm just saying it's always been. It's always um, been. Yeah, yeah, yes, it has. Hollywood, back in the 30s and 40s, they were all of $5,000 gift cards, she said. Very few of them were straight. We'll just put it that way. A lot of actors who everybody loved, Earl Flynn and all them. They were, they had boyfriends. Well, I know you don't agree with the border, the border stuff either. No, well, I, I hate what's happening at the border. Right. I because, live in an area with a lot of Hispanic people i love those it's, people. Philadelphia. People. it's mostly hispanic <laughs> right and and i love them don't get me yeah, wrong but they're doing the jobs that not a white person wants to do well they're they doing love. they do hard hard labor they're just absolutely beautiful and i want them to be able to come and have a better life yeah. but they're letting the bad people in along with the good people. You know what I'm saying? Yes, they are. That's the big problem. They're not weeding it. Uh, the original pilgrims were Quakers and Puritans. Yes, they were. Most of my city, well, you know my city's built on Quakers. Condemned uh, Philadelphia, Philadelphia is, they want to be is, Quaker, is Quaker City. was originally a Quaker city. There's a million um, friend schools around here. And I live up the street from a friend's meeting house, which are so beautiful, the old buildings. But the Puritans were the ones that were the, they were hard to be. And they were the ones that that thought everybody was a witch or everybody was a, you know, I'm glad the Puritans are, they weren't so pure. But yeah, Quaker is LA. That's really big. Yeah, I went down that history road. Dirty jobs Americans don't want to do. Us, you know, diamonds. That's so true. It, it is, and it's a fame. You're right, the famous statement. But look at it. Nobody wants to. I don't. I know my nephews and nieces. They don't want to go out and pick peaches. And I live near tomatoes and mushrooms. Nobody wants to go out and do that because you can pay like crap. And it's sad. It's sad. What? But. Yeah. White people don't want to do that work. Yeah. It's always the immigrant, whether they be from Mexico, Guatemala, anywhere down there in South America. And they're That's hardworking true. people. But then you get like, it's That's like anything problem. where you get a kid. That's free, another problem. They're letting their children come across the border with people. And they're abandoning their children in the desert. And these children are becoming victims of the human trafficking. That's and the sad part, yeah. Or yeah. they're just throwing their children over the wall and going back to Mexico. Yeah. They're they're leaving their children here alone. And guess what happens? These animals get a hold of their children. And these children fall 
victim of the the, everything. These beautiful, yeah, that, that's, beautiful children. And they think they're sending them here for a better life. They're you not. Know, I just don't get how somebody can look at such a beautiful, precious child and want to hurt them. I don't get that. I don't get it on any level wanting to hurt somebody, but a child, a defenseless person is beyond my scope. Have you ever looked at some of the little Hispanic children? They're just so beautiful and they're just so precious. And I don't Yeah, I have a great niece who's uh, half, what is she? Peruvian and Guatemalan. She's got the big brown eyes, the tan yeah. skin. All year round, yeah. tans even more in the summer. Oh. Half Irish and, and Polish, and half Peruvian and Guatemalan. My sweet daughter is half, or she's white, as white as can be. She's pale as a ghost. Bub's dad must have been really dark because Bub looks like a full-blooded Mexican. He looks like he's full-blooded Hispanic. Like there, you can't tell, he's very dark skinned like standing by his mom, you could not tell if he didn't have her face that that was his <laughs> mom. Yeah, it, it's 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 weird how genetics work. Ain't it, it? it really is because even voice wise, like there's five girls in my family, and if you call on the phone and any one of us pick it up, you might say, Marita, no, it's I mean, Marita, no, it's Madeline. You know, it's we all sound alike too. Yeah. And my brother oh, sounds you, you do sound a lot. It, it's it's a it's a weird thing. Like, really people. Oh. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I was bragging on y'all today. I was like, my most of my people from upstate New York, Philadelphia, Boston, they're my peeps. Yes, I, we are. We love our Daisy. We can so, disagree. We can well, I told him, I was like. They just flat out tell you how they feel about things, and that's yeah. okay. Yeah, we don't really hold back much. No. And I'm used to it because my mom's family was like that. They're from Michigan, but they're still very straightforward to the point. People. Yeah, we, we it's, it's, it, you don't want to dance around something too long. No, I'd rather somebody be straightforward with me than to be. Oh, well, I like you. And then right in your back. You know what I mean? Yeah, when your back's turned and you're yeah. pulling the knife out of your spinal cord. Exactly. And I think you all are very kind, good hearted people. And I love my upstairs. I, I try to be. And I, I you know who I blame that on? Family. My mom and my dad. They raised us right. Everybody in my community here is good that supports me and. And, and I mean, we might not agree on everything, but yeah, but if you surround good. yourself in life with all like minded people, yeah, you learn nothing exactly. You learn bull crap, and sometimes we have to look over the flat earthers, <laughs> yeah, even that, even you're and not the only I one I know who's a flat earther. Let me just tell you. Well, that. the thing is, I'm not a hundred percent flat earther yet. But I'm about 87%. Now, my sister, I mean, was on here. She's 76 years old. She um, would, like, fry you. What do you mean that the earth is flat? What are you? <laughs> she's, uh, she's like that. She's a right to the cutthroat. Simon and said. She doesn't feel bad doing it. <laughs> Miss Daisy is the hottest with the the hostess with the mostest. We love our flat earther sister. <laughs> yes, we do. And oh, that's it. And you, you can't surround I'm yourself with everybody who thinks like you. Then you get nothing accomplished, A. Oh. And B, you don't learn what other people feel. I know. And and C, and I just, and is always right. <laughs> what? I am a, like I'm a conspiracy theorist. I guess you are. You're really sense. where sometimes I think your sister just shakes her head when you start on her channel and she like no people. She got that pan. She don't want to give up that other pan. <laughs> <laughs> Is she still holding somebody on to that frying pan? Somebody went and bought her a big new frying pan. It like it's seventy some dollars. Oh, thank you. 
29. Thank you for gifting a membership. Who who like a for me, Laurie P. Let's see who got it. Thank you, Hillbilly 29. Somebody went out and bought her a 15 inch uh, expensive cast iron skimmer. To get Sun King it. back his? Yeah, she ain't going to give it up. I oh, think she God. feels like she wanted in the divorce. Thank you so much, Hillbilly. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, she. I said, are you going to give it up? That give Sun King his back? I don't know yet. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, but his is probably already seasoned and it's I got know. a love in it. Right to the end of time. Yeah, I mean, that's hard to do from what I heard. I don't have one. And, Wander. But I hear about people... I mean, God forbid you even put that in a dishwasher, you know. Oh, I wouldn't put it. Oh, never. That Jinky put up about the big pan. She took it and put peanuts, little pan in the middle of it. Do you know how to make biscuits and gravy? If so, you're my new BFF. Yes, I love me some biscuits and gravy, LA Connections. Do you put yes. sausage in your gravy? Sausage, egg, biscuits, gravy, yum. Oh, L.A. Connection. Let's talk her into making some for us and sending oh, it Oh, my goodness. Us. And the fresh eggs I'm getting, I'm getting every color of fresh eggs. Green, brown, and white. Daisy, someone wants Jinkies to cook them a good hot meal. They must do. She don't know who bought the pan for her. She don't know. But it Brown eggs cost more food. here. They do. See, I can only share from that one. Cooking. My grandmother was from North Carolina. You should try biscuits and gravy in your in your restaurant. A lot of people in the north don't get it at McDonald's. No, we don't. We don't. We get um what we call shit on a shingle. It's so uh, good. Chip beef, chip beef better, on toast. Better. I don't eat it. I don't like that. I eat I scrapple. Big ace. I always eat scrapple. I've never tried scrapple, but I'm going uh, to have to. Oh, Daisy, you got to try it. And don't cook I'm it too thick. To. Don't cook it too thin. Cook it about mm. an inch to I two inch, an inch and a half. Yes. And, oh, it's so good. <gasps> um, now I want some, but I ate dinner already. Like fresh eggs taste so much better than store bought eggs. Yeah, unapproachable. Well, the shingle is the piece of toast. Yeah, they call that twenty nine. We love you, honey. Gravy, call... biscuit, sausage, and eggs. O M G. There's breakfast, something about breakfast, breakfast and... for dinner that is so oh, soothing. <laughs> Grabble. Sorry, I don't eat wood. <laughs> I mean, oh, Simon, seafood. you had to have scrap. Capital of the U.S. We sell seafood. Ooh, look here. She says we sell seafood, pizza, subs. Ooh, that sounds good. Ugh. We don't call anything a sub. It's a hoagie. Hoagie. Oh, Let's see. Here. I'm in see the seafood that. capital of the U.S. So you're up in, like, Vermont yeah. area. Up, uh, You're on the... You're all the way up, like towards uh, New Hampshire and that area. Hillbilly twenty nine uh, said, "My husband eats scramble, scrabble, scrabby, scrabble, scrapple, scrapple." It is, it is nasty it. to me. He is from Pennsylvania. Hillbilly twenty nine. I love your husband. Just so <laughs> you know, I love him. Hash brown in with it. Hash oh brown. yeah. Yeah, hash browns near Cape Cod. What, where's where is Cape Cod at? Cape Cod's up, uh, all the way up the coast, all the way up towards uh, um, Vermont. Yeah, towards that way up the Cape is beautiful, it's just gorgeous. Oh, and I bet that seafood is delicious. Oh, that's that you could go to the dock and just pull it out of your hand up there. Oh my it's goodness! So fresh. The lobster, oh my god, it's it's all fresh. It's you don't get bad crap up there. Wow, 
Uh, I'm approachable said, I don't think I've ever eaten fresh eggs and I'd love to eat eggs. Fresh eggs is better. My eggs, my fresh eggs are good because they're free ranged, no roosters, and they're collected fresh every day. As soon as the hen lays it, we pick it up and put it in the fridge. So they're all, they're fresh, happy, singing hens every day. They sing, sing, sing. Mine are from Giant and they come in a carton and they have a sell by date on them. <laughs> Actually, you can keep fresh eggs for months, but I don't do that because I'm just, I just hard boil the ones that like a few weeks old and I'll give them to the dog. You ever do the water test? With, I've done that before, that but I don't, yeah, I've done that. Take that long. But if you don't wash them, you can actually keep them out on a counter. I wouldn't do that. I would never do that. But other people has done that before. Diamonds, I've only been to Manhattan. I've never been to the Bronx. Though I have friends, uh, my friend, Harry that's in the Bronx. He He's oh, that's right. so good, Mama Four. Mama Four said, "No, a ham and cheese omelet with hash browns in it and sausage gravy on top. So good. That now sounds damn good." Forge, there's a place. It's a pancake house that sells skillets, and you can get a skillet with that in it, with gravy and biscuits on top. Mm. Oh my goodness. Why they am I hungry again? It. Huh? Why am I hungry again? I ate dinner. Because we're talking about food. I know, <laughs> but mm, it sounds so good. I got green eggs, brown eggs, and white eggs fresh every day. As soon as they're still warm when we put them in the fridge. Without a rooster. Those dang so, roosters. Because see, if you get if you have roosters. Then you're gonna get a blood spot in there. Oh, I've seen that. I know, and I I couldn't eat it if I got a blood spot. No. <laughs> yeah, I couldn't either. Uh, yeah. Because there's no sherry. Sure, I couldn't eat gray, crayfish either. I'm really not a big fish man. I could eat when I was a kid and you know, had to eat it. If I could get it, oh, I'd love to go to the coast up there where they have. Fresh seafood. That I'm telling be- you, the whole coast, the whole East Coast, like from Virginia up, I mean, even the Carolinas, but I mean, Virginia up, you're going to get some, you're going to get great fish in Virginia and Maryland. Then you come towards Jersey, you get the tomatoes, Philly, you get just great food. And then you keep going up. There's something great in every state. It's just fabulous. Sammy said, store egg yolk is so pale compared to my incredibly bright fresh eggs. Yes, the yolk is darker in fresh eggs. That's because there's nutrition in it. That's why there's so much more nutrition in a free-range chicken than there is in a... Oh, I bet you sold 600 pounds of seafood on Good Friday. I would love to go on the coast and eat seafood. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah, it, yeah, and yeah. it's just beautiful up on the Cape. It's beautiful. Oh, I bet it I is. I mean, that's it's where amazing. Kennedy's lived. They yeah. have their vacation homes up there. Wow. I mean, you've seen you've seen that on TV. It's gorgeous, yeah. right on the water. It's just beautiful. Here we said he eats. Broskis, Brasky Wiggers in it. What does that say? Brock, Brockwurst. Wieners. Uh, Brockwurst. They make that around the corner for me. They were smoking it today, actually. You could smell the smoke house. Uh, carries. Well, they don't have to incubate five days. They can get egg spots in them from the first day. Well, maybe two days. If you don't collect them in two days. But I prefer not to eat chicken eggs fertilized by a rooster. I, I want the the fertilized eggs to be fertilized for hatching, not to collect to eat. Y'all hear them baby ducks? 
Quack, yeah. Quack, 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 quack. I like liverwurst, oh, not sausage. Oh, man. Right. Lauren, oh. you, you, do you ever get, get over to the Philly Beautiful. side of the bridge? Beautiful. You got to go to this place called Rikers. It's around the corner from me. They make everything homemade right there in the place. Oh, and today dear. the smokehouse was smelling so good. They make their own oh, scrapbook, all awesome. their own worst, all different German stuff. They're from oh, Germany. Goodness. I bet it's it was so smelling. good. So and I don't, I don't even like this stuff. I, I like love the anything stuff, but the smell is divine. Divine. That's exactly. I recommend that you, if you ever come over this side of the bridge, you go there. Even God enjoys the smell of, of, of meat burning. He does in the Bible. That when they did their sacrifices, they burnt the, they burnt the meat. Yeah. To, when they, the they, yeah, they took the meat and God enjoyed the flavor. It said he, he enjoyed the sweet smell of it. Well, and the zigzag, insect. everything there is made homemade. Their potato salad, the German potato salad, everything. They make this head cheese stuff them. and this weird ham stuff. Uh, this loaf of it looks like we'll go on vacation. Veal loaf. I don't know. It's uh, everything there is homemade, and it is. Yeah, they've had TV shows, cooking shows, come there to do interviews and stuff. Oh, cricket because, arrow, you put them in an incubator and hatched them. <laughs> do what now? Sorry. No, I no. I was telling uh, somebody who like. No, y'all ain't right. Y'all ain't right. So, Daisy, did you hear Fred's proposal to Z with a possum, not a rain? No, he did not. Did he? I I don't know. Mm, a possum. I think, friends. I think they're just friends, y'all. I don't think there's anything going on between them. I hope not, anyway. You never know. Hey. Hey, the business. Huh? Yeah. Somebody's happy. She's a she's a single woman. He's a single man. Yeah, exactly. A single my son. Taylor's work role, Ryan. So mm. there you go, Daisy. On on go. on a bagel with oh, cheese, okay. or some people like English muffin. I don't really care for them. But I'm putting on a bagel. Oh, Taylor. I like sausage egg McMuffins from McDonald's. Oh, yeah. now I want one of them too. It's McDonald's. <laughs> well, Listen, food is enjoyment. God made food for enjoyment. Junkies wants a link. Oh, here she comes up here trying to defend them. Yeah, the we want to hear about the frying pan. Rhode Island is beautiful. I heard it was beautiful. I've oh, never all that up there is just gorgeous. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's not mama, box big, mama, ho, big mama, ho, big mama. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> He's awake. How I about on you your bagels? Like the I don't like on your bagels. For the duck. Oh, thank you for that. Hi, Jenkins. Hey, Marika. How are you, Doc? What was that word you just called? A dingle schmuck? Huh? <laughs> dingle schmuck. What was it? Anyway. You called something the dingle schmuck or something. What? Um, um the liverwurst? Anyway. What do you call it? Liverwurst? Yeah. Ugh. I don't no, like it, something it a smock. good when they're making it. You call something a smock. Smock. I don't know. Are you Jewish? No. Oh, Jewish. Roman Catholic, baby. Hey, Diamond Baby Cakes. Big Mama. Oh, hey, hey, you're all being Jewish. Did I call somebody a schmuck? Hey, everybody. Hey, I didn't everybody. realize I did. That's not a nice word. I didn't hear you or, say it. No, you call somebody a dingle. You said I call something a, something a smock. He was referring to meat. No, she's talking about that sausage brought. Uh, sausage brought. Oh, I thought she said a dingle smock. 
I'm no, like, I don't even know what that is. Why are you worried about it? We can make it up. We can make it a new word. A dangle smock. Yeah, we'll make it a word. Leave it to Jinky's big mama to go up on panel and talk about dangles. Like <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. Really? Snitches? We used to call big something mama, dangle Big mama, we want to know right now, are you going to give that pan back to pan? You know, I'm thinking that's mom's pan. I don't think that's his mama's pan. Big I say mama. it's already seasoned. You might as well keep it. Did you figure out who bought you that big pan? No, nobody's told me who bought it. Hang Probably on. him. So you get this back. Where did that come from? That's Where trouble. There's trouble in the room. Auntie Sherry wants her Are you mad, Sherry? <laughs> Dinkies, I have been so sick. Hey, Frankie. Oh, you sound horrible. I have been so sick. And I'm just about 70% now. What happened to you, Auntie Sherry? Yeah, it's been pretty rough. Oh, I had to go to the doctor, get, get antibiotics, and uh, use the nebulizer, and take uh, cough syrup. And, but it's always wanting a diamond. You know, the whole oh, stuff. You and you do. stop smoking, right? I think it's me? Did you stop smoking? No, I haven't stopped smoking. Well, you'd feel better. But I don't, but I don't uh, smoke as much. Good. And uh, that's, that's a start. And I have not had, I have, I have, have not had the taste for beer at all. Uh, oh, my well, goodness. Uh, really, that's you're a sick, good sign, Nancy. I mean, not saying not I'll never drink another when beer, you don't have but, a taste for uh, beer. It just, I lost my taste for it. What you doing, Queen Jinx? Sherry, somebody what bought me a frying pan. Thing? I'm trying to figure out who bought me. You a got a frying pan? 15-inch cast iron pan. Show a picture of it, Daisy. It's greased. Uh, Did you, have you greased it and put it in the oven? And no, it's it pre-seasoned already. It's oh, okay. it's already seasoned. Okay. I, they want me to give Sun King back that frying pan because he claims it's his grandma's. Oh. Yeah, no, she really didn't go. It is his but I think it's my mama's, but I'll give it to him. Uh -huh. But you gonna hold it? Know. Hang on, let me see if I can bring it up. <laughs> look how big his pan is they bought me. I don't, look at that. That's Sun King's little one there in the middle. That's his hit little one. That's Where actually a full that? size pan. There she is. It's not really little. It's full size. Wow, then, that's a nice one. Who brought that, Big Mom? I have no idea. That thing's big enough to make a pizza in. Why Why was you bumming uh, knives off me when you got three sets of knives? I need some KitchenAid ones. You don't need no KitchenAid ones. You've got three sets. I got a Pioneer <laughs> Woman. <laughs> 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 Somebody put in the comments. Why so many knives? I love knives. Yeah, really. I'm I starting to love better. Thanks. My hey, grandfather are no knives. Jakes. You see my my grandfather's whiskey decanter in the back. There by the teapot. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Look. Yes. It's it it plays a uh, music. It plays. It's a music box too, and it plays. Well, how cool how dry I am. It's Nobody perfect. knows. Good night, Alex. Huh? Chickies, what are you going to bring me by Easter basket? Sorry, it's sitting right here in a box, getting ready to ship it <laughs> out. I'll be right back. I got to go pay. <laughs> what did you do? Do you want to see it, Sherry? Do you want to see it? I don't believe there is one. Oh, my god! I, I believe you ate all of the goodies out of it. I did not. It's sitting right and then here. Waited, then waited till after Easter when everything's 75% off and then we stocked it. <laughs> Mary, do you really think I did that? I'm too lazy to go to the store a day after Easter to restock it, okay? <laughs> I love you, James. <laughs> about to show uh, it I don't know. I say I can do <clears throat> one too. Look at that can, how humongous it is, y'all. That yeah, thing I mean, is it, massive. I mean, oh, I, I bet mean, you can make a good 
turn over apple pie in that. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I could make a giant apple pie in that. Well, let's get moving, Jenks. Yeah, yeah let's, go, let's go. Let's go. I'll buy the, the apples. The size of a regular size. I'll buy the apples. I'm still waiting on chicken and dumplings. You still ain't got my chicken and dumplings, have you, baby? Nope. Nope. I don't know, but, but every don't... time she posts the roast beef, I want it so bad. I know. Why am I it's hungry? It's good. It's good. Why am I hungry at this time of night? That's what I'm saying too. I've, do, I've, I've been dozing and then I woke up and I turned on this on and there you guys were. And I thought, well, I'm going back on my word. Because I said at one time I would never come back on Daisy's panel. That's what I said. But you know what? I just can't live like that. I can't live like that. It exactly. bothers me too much. Like it's I said, too many like minded people and nothing gets done in the world. I could make a pizza with that pan. Yeah. Uh, I'm not taking to the restaurant and use it. I'm going to show you I got big Biscuits. Hang on, show you what I got. I'll make some good cornbread and biscuits. You got a fidget? What is that? I got a little fidget. It's a lizard. It's a lizard one. Lizard fidget. Well. <laughs> I'm getting as weird as Jinkies. If it don't look like a penis, it don't matter. Oh, you're so nasty. There's a little boy I see at church every Saturday <laughs> night. Plays oh, that pop it thing. There's Fancy. Fidget. Oh, wait. Hold on. There she is. Huh? It does relieve anxiety. It well, does. This little it boy. Does. He must have I'm, autism or something. And he plays with that thing the whole time and he's as happy as can be. Diamond. <laughs> he likes the music too. Diamond. Miss Daisy. Was up here. Yeah. Erica. I don't know if I told you. Erica and her, her husband, KJ, are adopting a 10 month old little boy. And he's they are. Awesome. and he gives me such joy. What? And, what uh, his what? niece, his niece was know. fifteen. Yeah, his niece was fifteen when she had him, and uh -huh. so they want to adopt him. And, Are they uh, going to let her adopt him? So it's like I've got a baby now. You got a baby. I baby. got a baby. Got a baby. Uh, He's going to run a ragged. Bless his heart. He's in a cast. He was born Why? with two uh, thumbs on his left hand, and they went really? ahead and did the surgery. And that kid crawls around with that cast. I have like a baby nothing. sign that diamond. <laughs> uh, well, that's good, Auntie Sherry. Uh, He's precious. Have you, have you have you seen him? Have you met him yet? Have I met him? Yeah. Oh yeah, he comes with Erica every day. That's awesome. Has she yeah. had him since he was a newborn? When she or? does, when she needs to do her work, I just put him up here in the bed with me, and he likes to bounce, and he likes. What to... made the mommy give him away? She's fifteen. What? He's yeah, just but, 10 months old. But what made the mommy give him away? She's 15. Did she do it by choice or did somebody force her to do it? Uh, by choice. Wow. She's, she's too young to have a baby and take care of it. Yeah. Well, that'll be good, Auntie Sherry. So keep your fingers crossed that this adoption goes through. Because yeah. I just love that kid. Yeah. Because she could change her mind. His At name's any Cash. Time. His name's Cash. K-A-S-H. Uh, the so little girl named him Cash. How long have they had him? Uh, they've been keeping him for about a month. Wow. That's awesome. And, uh, so they're going through the process. But I'm you know, really excited about it. I just love him. He's got... Oh, yeah. Curly, curly, curly blonde ringlets all over his head. Oh, oh, I bet he's beautiful. And he's such a happy baby, too. Yeah. Good baby. Good. Sherry, I love mama babies. Or a Mima. What do you mean? I love babies. So I am another Auntie Sherry. There you go. Uh, when I got Bub, he was just four weeks old when she brought him to me. He didn't even have a car seat really she bought a car seat. they get they that johnson city when they let him go they they let him have a brand new car seat she sold the car seat and went and bought a two dollar one at the 
at a yard sale and he wasn't even buckled in. He had nothing when she brought him to me. And I went out that very day and bought everything for him. <laughs> and he's had everything ever since. Right. So you've had Bub since he's four weeks old? Yes. So he knows no other then? He knows no other. He knows no, me. Him. I was his other for the first. No, you know what I mean. Wow. Yeah, he was. You know what I mean. she, she, she was in a bad shape. She was with this old man. And she brought him and dropped him off at four weeks. And it, and it was in May, because um, he was born in April. It was the first part of May, and she didn't come back till like, August and September to even see him. So I had him all through his whole life. She's only had him, like, maybe she will take would take him for, like, two or three days, and then she'd bring him right back. So, and we got full custody of him when he was three, Big Mama? No, he was younger. No. Yeah, he was like two and a half, three. He was born in 2007, and we got full custody of him in 2009. So he was still really little. But we had him since he was newborn. He's yours. He's always been. He's yours. Yeah, I used to rock him on the porch, and he'd sleep on my chest at night. And Yeah, he Evelyn would keep him in Peanut, and he just... Been our bubby. Yeah, he was our bub. He was our bub. I remember oh, I lost my first it, baby. Though. And I he remember I had a real hard time. And he'd fall asleep in my arms. Stuff like that. He was my baby, too. Yeah. I got pictures of him and Logan in the shopping cart together playing. And yeah, him and Logan. Logan up. hands. And Frankie, you got that right. He is lucky. He, he, he was, doesn't act like it, though. He act like... Oh, I don't get nothing. I'm like, uh, okay. <laughs> you know how they are, teenagers. Yes. But he's also a 17-year-old that works a full-time job and goes to school and owns a brand new car and everything. So he's a hard-working kid. Yeah. That's good. Good work ethic. He yes, works that's his ass off. Plus, he's and in football and other sports. He's in... Um, He's in, uh, what is that? Where the student Rockland. council? He's Accelerated. Of, yeah, he's part of the student council. And, and uh, ah, yeah, he's hot. He's a beta club stuff. Yeah. Oh, he's yeah. A, he's an accelerated he, student. He gets A's and B's. He gets, he gets high scores on school. Like he gets A's and B's and then a math app. Beta club, beta <laughs> club, and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, he's very smart. His test is really high in uh, school. Like, on is he looking into college yet, or? Yeah, yeah, he is. He's looking at different options. He's actually getting scholarships letters already, and he's a sophomore. He's so. a good football player too. Yeah. Wait, That's he's great. only a sophomore? Huh? He's only a sophomore. Well, he's getting ready to become a junior this I year. I don't know what made me think he was a senior. No, I wish he was a senior. No. No, he's he's a sophomore getting ready to be oh, a junior. Oh, you got to pick those grades. That's, yeah. Then he could be evolved. Tennessee I evolved. told him, like, not everybody's born smart. Like, I had to struggle to get through nursing school because I don't have the smarts. And he can just do it. He glides through school because he's extremely smart. So, uh, yeah, he's a good kid. No he's black. Okay, he grades is A and B and then one big A. And that's math. He has the hardest time in math ever. Yeah. Well, Bob's you know Logan, so do I. And I'm 62 years old. I don't but like it's math either. Multiplication, division, addition, or subtraction, I'm screwed. Bub told me he wants to go to the University of Kentucky. I said, why would you want to go there when you got UT down here? He said he didn't want to go to UT. Is it that in Lexington? Yeah, Lexington, Lexington Kentucky. Kentucky. I said, you're crazy, boy. You Tell don't him to come up here. here. Tell him to apply at Penn. In Penn State? At Penn. I bet he could get in Penn. Drexel. We have great colleges here. St. Joe's. Even mm -hmm. Temple is the biggest. Yeah, he needs to figure out. Villanova. 
because, you know, a lot of kids will jump into college and not know what they want, and then they end up with a big... And he's just right down the road from Tusculum University. See, that's why I think boys... Uh, I also girls should take a year off before they go into college because they take their so parents' too. money away and they end up leaving. Ryan said Queen Jeans. <laughs> Hi, Ryan. Diamond said York College is good, too. If I knock myself off, will you let me back up? I will, Auntie Sherry. Okay, because I need to change something on my tablet. I'll let you up. The thing okay, is, thank is you. you're welcome, Auntie. The thing is, is I think that you need to be set before you start college. Set. Yeah, um, it's, it's, it's especially when you're 18, you're leaving home for the first yeah, time. And maybe even need a break, a year or two break. That's why I say you're off. Mm -hmm. Take a gap year. But yeah. see, scholarships don't allow for that. Mm -mm. Yes, That's the so. sad part. Scholarship should allow for that. I, I don't believe in gap years because I think once you take a gap year, life happens and it's not that easy to go back to it. I I know, I've known a lot of kids that take school. a gap year and do much better. Boys. I went back to school when I was like 20, 27, 27. I uh, also think boys should be held back a year from first grade. Yeah. yeah. You know, here in Kentucky, they they hold kids back for sports, and I think that's the most horrible thing you could do for you know kids. why? And why? it's nothing against Kentucky, but the poverty level is one of the highest, and that's mm -hmm. the only way these kids are going to get into college. Well, the thing is, they want to win games, and yeah, so exactly. they hold and kids. it brings more money to the school. I could see one year, but when you got seniors playing freshmen. That yeah, ridiculous. Ridiculous. yeah, and I mean, more than one year, they hold them back several years. Smart really? kids, yeah, kids that get straight A's, even teachers' kids, they held back for sports so they could play and become big shots in sports. And then My they up school held back almost a whole kindergarten one year just because yeah. they take them tests. They make a higher grade so they can get the money off of the kids. I, I, I think testing is a bunch of bullshit. Back to college. Because a lot of kids, I don't test well. I'm very, I, I'm not going to say I'm brilliant. I'm pretty damn intelligent. I'm not bad. But I don't test well. I didn't test well till I went back to college a second time when I was paying for it with my own money. When I went, when I was 18, and even in high school, I did not test well at all. I panicked. I and yeah. I got yeah, great. I don't test well either, Marina. Because I started testing in grade school, where I went to Catholic school, and the nuns scared the crap out of me. Yeah, so I was always Marita, I got all F's in math when I was in school. I'm oh, horrible I, at math. I, 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 guess I, what my I, job has I, been. My job has been. My former job before I bought my restaurant, I was I worked for the largest payment processing company in the world, one of the largest. And then I own a restaurant now where it's all accounting work. That's good. Answer. And but I don't test well. I don't test well. But I know my math because I have to do it, right? Yeah. Uh, and spread, an intricate spreadsheet. That I do all my accounting work for my accountants. See, in, that, in, that, in math that. in high school, I did great because I had all business math. I was a business yeah. student. I wasn't geared towards college. I never had a language or any of that. Yeah. Didn't have to take uh, algebra or geometry. I had all business bookkeeping and like spreadsheets, all that business management. Uh, there used to be a class called uh, Business Machines where you'd learned how to work. It's before computers, key punch machines, and you'll remember IBM. that. I, yeah, I, I, all IBM that stuff. stuff. Yeah, uh, Sherry would remember all that. But, you know. Yes, I remember and, too I was much. I towards college. Do you know what my college counselor said to me when I went to her? My high school counselor? We all had to go. I had no intention of going to college anyway. She looked at my grades and said, 
you're a nice Catholic girl. She said, go get a job in an office, be a secretary, then go get married and have babies. <laughs> she wanted to have babies, didn't she? Yeah, oh, uh, she was this little old Jewish woman. And uh -huh. they were her, Cora, what was her last name? Cora, Miss, Miss, she looked like a dog, like a, like her eyes sagged and shit. And she was just like, you're a nice <laughs> Catholic girl. <laughs> Like, I've never been around a nun before. I heard they were mean. I don't know. Uh, you know what? I put it in my head that they were mean because I listened to other people, like all yeah. my brothers and sisters, because yeah. they used to like to get me scared because I was the baby and, you know, they're oh, yeah. seven older than me. Oh, I went to Catholic school and, oh, the nuns. Is, and you know what? I would say three quarters of the nuns that I had out of, I think I had Canada, I had 14 nuns in eight years because wow. we had three I, classes per grade. I started kids in a class, 160 I, kids in a grade. Wow. Too many you, kids. Have you been to I started college at night at the age of 15. You went to put me. My counselor, my counselor met with my parents and, and said that I needed to speed up. And so I would go to high school during the day, go to college for like six to 10 at night. And by the time I finished high school, my parents tricked me. I really didn't have to graduate from high school. I only had one class my senior year and the rest of the time I worked in the library and got paid. But uh, so when I went to college, uh, my first year of, it, of college, I only stayed at that college one year. Then I went to the other college another year, and I'm finished. That's Except good. I went back and got my uh, uh, master's. I, I was very determined to go to college because my mother only had her associate's degree, and I wanted her to go with me, and I wanted her to, uh, you know, fulfill her dream. And so we went together. We were study buddies. Oh, that's we were good. very, we were very close. Yes. Oh. So now, as, I was happy. Easy, come on. I and was nuns, so happy. I was had graduated. The nuns I had, I would say nine of them were far from nice. Three of them were God. One was a godsend, my seventh grade nun. She, to this day, is still one of our very dear close family friends. And two were okay. Didn't bother me. But the rest, no, they treated the boys horribly. I seen them put boys through the blackboard head first. What? They didn't take any shit. Didn't take any shit. And I guess when you got fifty five okay. kids in a classroom and you got a bunch of twelve year olds that smell like body odor and depression. Oh yeah, boys. You know, they they just weren't they just weren't putting up your crap. And Even in fifth grade, I've had to have that little discussion before. Boys uh, just think that's just their nature. I well, was not. And, and some was, girls too, but they were, it was, they, they really just wanted to control you. Now I had some lay teachers and I never had a problem with any of my lay teachers. No, mm -hmm. I had the first male teacher in the school in seventh grade in one of my, my English class. He was the best teacher we read. Now you'll know this play probably, mm -hmm. um, Sherry, um, um, the Devil's Disciple, George Byron Shaw. Yes. George we read Bernard that in seventh yes. grade. We did all kinds of um, Pygmalion. Uh, uh, Catcher of the Rye. Now, that was a little, that was high school. This, we didn't read any. He, we read plays in his room. But okay. he just, and he played music. And he just did like some cool stuff that I don't think the nuns were too hip on. But it was his classroom. They couldn't say anything. But yeah. uh, not, just were not the nicest people. And I think because they really didn't want to be nuns. They teaching were raised. They came teaching. from the era of the de post-depression when they came from big families. And parents couldn't afford to put them to college. So they went to the non-college here, Immaculata. And... They became nuns. Well, they're St. Joe's nun too. And teaching is ministry. 
in my opinion. Yeah, I mean, it, there, it is now a I go over to the school I worked at that I There's went the to greatest, the greatest school. the greatest teacher of all? And the nuns were the nuns are awesome there now. Jesus. Well, yeah, and that's what we they taught us. But and they you know, also taught us. I didn't to, go. I didn't go to my college graduation, Marita, and uh, I went to mine. I went to my mother's, mine and too. I was I was so excited for her to graduate. And I didn't go to my master's graduation either. Oh, I was I already tired. Well, I was I was t teaching at twenty, and I thought, well, that's stupid to go back over there and graduate. Oh, I, was like, I, I thought was nice was, I, I was already done in December and didn't graduate till May. I went back for my graduation because I had accomplished something that not one person in my immediate family had done. My so, father. Yeah. My See, father I was. I came Mine came from a long, long line of education. I, I went to my baccalaureate mass. Mm -hmm. I did it all. And I, I, I'll i never regret it. Never yeah. regret it. Can't teach anymore, but. But you had good, a good many of years of teaching, like Auntie Sherry. No, she has more than me. I, oh, I, I loved it. I loved it, loved it, loved it, loved it. I, I stopped whole, teaching in 2000. the whole month of December when I had to quit. Did yeah, my, I couldn't walk up a flood of steps anymore. So, and I lost, uh, my, I a, I lost I my identity. Permanent sub. So, I lost my identity. Your identity was teaching, wasn't it, Auntie Sherry? It was my whole life. And, and it's the greatest thing, though, because I still walk out my door and see my former students who are now walking their children to school. Hey, Miss McNichol, and they'll say to their kid, you know who that is? She taught me in fourth grade or third grade or whatever oh, grade yes. I was in that that's year. Because I was a sub. And that's why, that's why I was never on Facebook. And then the kids also say, no, that's Mr. Bryan's sister. My brother's been the custodian there for 38 years. Oh, and they love oh, my wow. brother. He retired last year. And wow. The if video could, of his retirement right is now. awesome. If I could, I'll go back you, right now. I'll go back right now if I could. It, they don't care that I taught their parents, they care that I'm Mr. Brian's sister. <laughs> he teaches, he teaches us all the Beatles songs. You lost your identity too, did you? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I never had one ever at school. It was always, oh, that's Mr. Brian's sister. Mr. Brian's sister. <laughs> and then he told all the kids, no, she's adopted. <laughs> These so kids wonder. believe that's adopted. He said, come on. My family all has Irish names and she's got a Spanish name. She's adopted. <laughs> Miss McNichol, are you uh, adopted? Uh, no, I'm not adopted. <laughs> no, Marita, you little Mary. That's what you are, a little That's Mary. exactly, little Mary. That's what I tell them. It means little Mary. Do you think Sister Marita Sean is adopted? I don't know. Well, she's got the same name as me, and she's as Irish as can be. Go talk to her. Can't understand her. <laughs> <laughs> but it's just, it was like a big family joke. It's good. We... He, he and I would bust on each other, and the kids got a kick out of it. Oh, but, yeah. Oh, to this day, when they see me and they say, you're Mr. Bryant's sister? <gasps> oh, my God, you're so lucky. And I went, oh, yeah, I'm I'm winning the lottery on this one. <laughs> I'm better off being Mr. Michael or Mr. Kevin's sister. <laughs> now, the, is that the brother that passed away, or is that a No, brother? his name was Michael. Now, Brian... He's a basketball coach. Oh, okay. He just retired from over there, and but he's a basketball coach, and he's a AAU coach for basketball. Oh. You know, we're short. We coach. We don't play. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The Irish don't play. They coach. I have a I picture have of my guy right there on the wall. He was I 20 years old with his team around him coaching. Uh, <laughs> that you know the eclipse was so much hype it, money 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 yeah it is <laughs> that's all that was well, I I mean, it with my glasses on and I'm everybody not everybody freaking out over a shadow it was cool though i mean because oh, we had a good. pretty much almost Whoops. total eclipse so last and it got very dark but it was because the clouds all moved in but Did the weird the, uh, thing did the temperature your come on? 
like Marina, 15 did temperature freeze? did drop. It did. Did y'all notice? I that? was freezing. Yeah. We're all standing on the porch. All of a sudden, I'm like, why am I freezing? And we all realized the temperature went down 15 degrees. Yeah. And it the birds eight. were freaking out. And they the were dogs were all barking. And they were roosting. They, well, they, got, they get confused. They were ready to go to bed. Yeah. And then as soon as it went was over and the sun popped back out, the clouds were gone. It was all the birds again and the hawks and the, the sun come out bright. Yeah, it kept very bright. Yeah. Jake's it's house logo. Cool though. I mean, it's something I could say I experienced. And what I liked is a lot of schools around here gave the kids a half day. They did. The public school system did. did the schools kept them in school. And if they wanted to stay after school till it was all over, they could. And a lot mm -hmm. of kids did because of the learning experience. And there were all kinds of like eclipse parties around here. Yeah. Like in the big parks and stuff. And people who don't know each other sitting and talking and so it brought people together i like that and it was a it's a good learning lesson for children you know oh, yes the, you know the, you know, the earth, easiest way earth and all that <laughs> <laughs> the easiest the easiest way to watch an eclipse without those ios glasses is uh just to fill a bucket with water set it in the sunlight Throwing and just look at the bucket and well, in the water you can see the eclipse you just punch a hole in the middle of a piece of paper yeah and, that's a pinhole yeah pin yeah hole. or i remember when there was one when i was in grade school we made them out of cereal boxes it was a science project oh. with a little piece of mirror mm -hmm. oh yeah and, but i used we didn't have any glasses but my buddy Billy had a bunch of uh, 3D glasses, and we're wearing them, and it looked cool in 3D. <laughs> I bet. Oh well, yeah. Why yeah. Will it, why does it hurt the eyes when you look at it directly? Does anybody know why you? It so burns. It burns the your retina. Brightest. It burns it your burns retina. retina. Is it? Sherry would know probably more. It it causes retinal. Is it the sun's retinal. at its brightest? It has. It has uh, retinal da damage. Retinal it has, damage. Uh, it will burn it. You don't feel nuclear, it. Nuclear. Wow. Um, was it, is it not nuclear? It's a uh, solar it has, fusion. It has a bunch of different rays that the sun has on it, and normally you wouldn't be able to look at the sun anyway, straight on, but. Because it's kind of tricking your eyes, it makes it worse. Me and Logan uh, looked it up today. Did you watch uh, it, Jakes? We tried to, but the, the clouds kept going in front of it. Okay. Yeah, that real cloudy all the sun. It was beautiful out earlier. Then all of a sudden it got cloudy, but what? then you could still yeah. see it. Like I took pictures of it. It's on my Facebook, but my camera sucks. Remember, I have a government phone. Oh. Frankie, you had rain. Some uh, king, you saying that ain't your that ain't your pan. That that's mom's pan. <laughs> Actually, it's mine. I lent it to her. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was mine. Pan now. See now we're all it. owning it. <laughs> it's a community pan. Yes, we all get it for a week. So that picture, but I see that picture. Huh? So that picture. I showed him that picture of it. You I know don't, what? you know. I, I kept telling Jake. Cool. I said, Jake, just throw that pan out the you? yard. Throw that pan out the yard and let him have his pan. Throw it out the Jake. yard. If you don't want to talk to him, just say, here, I'm going to put you right over here and you come get it. Like she could give it to Logan to give to him. Yeah. Right. I think you ought to go on um right. <laughs> not night court. What's that Judge Judy the fight over the pan? <laughs> funny. Oh, come on. Peanut can send May up there to get it. Um, <laughs> I think you should Puke. Judge Judy. <laughs> Puke. 
<laughs> there you go, Sun King. <laughs> Y'all don't get it. I, only me and Jinkies know. Well, that. that's something between the family there. I'm not no, that's, that's May I'm is his girl. nickname for his girlfriend. I figured it had to do with it. <laughs> I wasn't even going to go in there. <laughs> oh, Lord. I might I come up I soon. You never some... come up, Sun King. Never. I, I wish I could have found some small eclipse glasses like this to put on my critters. I would have I really them wish on that stalker. Sun King like and Jinkies would go <laughs> on Judge Judy and fight for the pan. Yeah. <laughs> That would be great. Please stay tuned. Stay I'll be your roll. lawyer. She'd, she'd throw both of them out. Oh, she'd say, she'd she'd say this is this Don't is ridiculous. Don't feel my leg and tell me it's raining. Case dismissed. The moon, I got to know who you are before you come up. I got to see your face, the moon. It's Nellie. I'm not getting porn bombed. <laughs> I think I know who the moon is anyway. Matthew. The moon. The moon? The moon, the moon. I know a Luna moon. There's the moon. I just oh, want to apologize for. I was getting right. In the way. It was him. <laughs> hey, Matthew. I got in the way of the sun today, guys. Every so often, I get in the way. Everybody freaks out. I'm sorry. I still love you. Marvelous night for a moon dance. I still love you, Matthew. <laughs> Matthew, why you got the jinx up here? Tell her to do the duty. What are you doing? Right, Matthew. Moon's a little hungry. That's the moon. Burger. <laughs> so um, I just want to apologize. Everybody's freaking out. But I brought a lot of people together today. So You did. What'd you do? I did. I uh, had people having parties just to see me get lost and get in the way of the sun. Sorry again. My fault. Oh, you did, didn't you? Well, sorry about it. I don't plan on doing that for quite a while. He so. was just so excited. I see so 20 years. About his 20 years oh, yeah. to Moon, I see that you're in the firmament. Now, maybe you guys don't don't recognize me. A lot of you guys didn't even look at me until today, and what you saw was this. I look like this today. That's not. I look at you every night. It's not what I normally look like. I, I always look like this. This is what I. No, I think you go. <laughs> Exactly. I don't think you're that white moon. The other one's a little racist, a little bit. I don't know. <laughs> but moon? I just want to say uh, I'm sorry, everyone. For and, what? Um, I do appreciate when everybody stares at me. So For what, Frankie? <laughs> Daisy, when are you going to get a donkey and name it Matthew? <laughs> hmm. <laughs> um, this Matthew guy must be a must be a problem. I see you're not in outer space. He's a yes, flat I, moon. Yes, yes, I am. <laughs> no, you're not. Clearly don't see where I'm at right now. You're He's not. A flat moon. Let me see. I clearly don't see. It is so well moved. Do I? I mean. Now there he is. Hold on. Let me look around. Yeah, I don't see nothing. Okay. <laughs> 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 You're so nasty. Right, go back to Earth. Bacon cheeseburger. Mm. See, the moon is not in outer space. I'm, uh, I'm not on Earth right now. What are you talking about? Oh, and <laughs> Earth isn't in space. Okay. No. Uh, don't go there, Matthew. You, you don't want to do it. <laughs> don't do it, Matthew. Don't want to do it. Trust me. I look at you guys every day. I, I see everything. <laughs> what are you guys talking about? <laughs> You guys look pretty round from up here. We could get yeah, we could get Sun King up here, and we'd fall so far down in that rabbit hole, we would never. Oh be no, I, I'd be. In bed <laughs> I know he's a conspiracy dude. Somebody just sent me. No, nah, he believes the Earth's round too. No, he don't. Oh, thank God. He, he don't believe in flat Earth. Oh my bubble lips! What? <laughs> Diamonds? What? <laughs> I love this chicken behind us. I think he's cool. Even though he's Matthew's. Okay. 
Matthews the moon. There we go. Did you guys know that um, I made out of Swiss cheese? Why did he did just leave? <laughs> well, he does that all the time. Oh, Earth gang gang. <laughs> I want Daisy to get a cute little pot belly pig. Name it Matthew. Maddie for short. Cute, huh? That would be yeah. cute. It will nip at your ankles and your feet it it all day. Be. Yeah, but I it know, makes but, some good bacon. Have oh, you ever wow. been around one? I've not been around one before. Well, they'll follow you around like a dog. And then if they want something to eat, they'll nip you on the back of your ankles or on your heels or whatever. Because they want something, Love and that yeah, they're they're really needy. They got they need right a lot of attention. Is a flat earther when he says dome earth, that's flat earth. No. <laughs> I'm shaking my head again, Daisy. <laughs> Daisy just shaking my head. head. Daisy, I think you just do some things just to uh, just to be controversial. You think, can't you, Sherry? I think yeah. so. I think so. <laughs> no, I promise. I promise, Auntie Sherry. I promise I think the world is flat. I'm not 100% sure, but I have No matter truth. what the satellites say. The satellites or the ISS station. It doesn't matter. It's still the, the Earth is round. Firmament, no firmament, whatever. The Earth is round. Are the other planets flat too? Know. There are no okay. other planets. That's what you okay. told me. There are no other planets? No. Really? No. Gonna get see Daisy on the Electric Universe kick. Electric Universe? What the I heck? Know, I got a wicked headache. What the heck is that? Hey, was it because I got shocked two times? Man, what do you I mean, mean shut your mouth, shut your mouth, heartbeat. shut your mouth, Diamonds? What do you mean, shut your mouth, shut your mouth, shut your mouth? She doesn't want us to start that up again. Oh. Oh, okay. Oh, I the thing. Uh, we will. I, I'm pretty sure. I don't care if she wants to think it's uh, flat. Well, the thing is, is that I got shot two times from electric fence the other day, and I swear I thought my heart was going to stop. Oh. Because it's wired up to electricity. Yeah. My husband has a lot of power on it because of the cows and where Benny was a big bull. Man. Maybe, maybe you turn it down now a little bit. So it's yeah. It's not raging. He needs to, because I thought I was going to die. Miss Daisy, I just found you. Oh. It won't let you go, Miss Daisy. It won't let you go. It wasn't. My, it was bad. Oh, my sure sister, is. my sister got stuck on one, and I had to get a stick so that I would be grounded to pull her off. Not, we were just—I was about six years a old. Cow, a cow thing. Electric fence. She got. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And I had to get her off with a stick because if I touched her, I got shocked. She said, so, I didn't uh, say shut your mouth. I put your crazy chicken up. I put the crazy chicken up. Put your crazy what? chicken up, Kay. Uh, 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 oh, uh, yeah. I got amazing. a new meme that it's a crazy chicken. I, I can't only the people that... Uh, hey, girl. Only the people that's members can do it. Oh. Oh, no. This is worse than flat earth. <laughs> An egg. It's not <laughs> ovate. It's a little. It's a little bowl so, uh, part of it, but it's not, it's not ovate. It's of a chicken. It's my crazy chicken. Shut your mouth! 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 It's really a picture. Shut your mouth! Shut your mouth! Shut your mouth! It's really a picture of the of the chicken, the crazy chicken. That's what its name is. Put the okay. big Yamaha up. <laughs> I mean, my little piggies. Uh, uh, Remember, put the big mama hoe up. Expected. Here it is, Miss Daisy. I will show you something from Sam's. See, what is you it? Might, you might want to. You might want to get buy some of these. Are great. Erica picked them up for me today. What are they? Strawberry slices. 
Are they just slices of strawberries? Are they good? I think they're freeze dried. Ooh, sorry, sorry, are they frozen? Big Mama Ho. <laughs> That's the name. I had to put it in some way. And then there's Daisy loves you, Daisy loves you, Daisy loves you. They're emojis. Are they good? Andy? Can't hear her. Are they good? Yes. I love I love fruit of any kind. I'm fruit bat. Are they good freeze dried like that though? Oh yeah. Uh let's see. This whole pack. I heard they had more flavor when they're freeze dried. This has 340 calories in it for the whole pack. Uh sugars, let me look. They do look good. Uh, for the whole pack, 50 grams of sugar. That's for the whole package. Got some fruits. High in vitamin C, high, really high in potassium. That's yeah, they're, good. They're good for you. Make you so, some smoothies with that. They don't just taste good. They're good I don't for you. To make, I don't yeah. have anything to make I smoothies love strawberries. with. I love strawberries. I have so all this I. stuff to make fruit smoothies, but I'm the only fruit I have is I put in the Wait, freezer. I don't think Jinkies is fresh eating. strawberries I put in the freezer. Jinkies, can you eat strawberries? I might try to get me some when I go Wednesday. Yeah, I gotta I love go strawberries. Sam's or Costco one and get me some. Erica gets me those berry bowls that have blackberries in them and they have raspberries and they have blueberries and they have oh, strawberries. They still in the Wawa. Yeah, and you know what I do? Whipped cream has nothing in it as far as caloric count and uh i just squirt yeah, whipped cream oh, all yeah. on the top of it and, oh, that's good it's delicious, mm. delicious. Oh, why are we doing food again like they're they're mm. really good i'm not big on cakes and cookies and stuff i'm really it. big i'm big on pies and cobblers food is nice. i could do some pie right food now nice. yeah I, I like pies and cobbler yeah, I mm. sat one time and ate a whole Peach. pumpkin pie in one sitting. Oh, that's easy. <laughs> With a fork. <laughs> Just... Oh, man. Pumpkin pie is so good. I could I'm do that just... right now. Blackberry cobbler. Now, we have uh, blackberry bushes all back in the woods, and I'll just sit and eat them off the bush. Yeah, and they, they'll be ready in June. Yeah. I mean, bunches of them, but they got pricks on them, little pricks, pricklies on them. But I don't care; I'll still eat them. Just yeah. wear long sleeves and long gloves, and yeah, pick, pick, pick. Now, if they're half ripe, they're they're not very good. But now, you get them good and ripe, they're sweet and they taste. Yeah, but good. you better get there before the birds do. I know they they'll wipe them out in a couple of days. Yes, they will. And uh, as soon as you see them, you better pick them. Well, there's so many back there that I usually can go back there and stay for a little while eating them. They're good for you. Oh, yeah. They're high in vitamin C. Yeah. Wild turkeys, too. We got wild turkeys back there, deer, sasquatch, you name it. Wild turkey. I That's remember not a all sasquatch. I was drinking that when I was a teenager. <laughs> <laughs> Jiggies, uh, Jiggies, can you make a Sasquatch well, casserole? Listen, there's something back there because there was a new oh, spider. Yeah, I can Jinkies. make that anything with that big ass pan I got now. Yeah, I'm going to take Jinkies back there. That big ass pan you got. Let's make a Sasquatch casserole. Let's do it. <laughs> Sasquatch, I believe. Casserole. I believe in Sasquatch. On the flat earth. On the, the earth is flat, moon. but Sasquatch the moon is really is a light bulb. <laughs> <laughs> On a string. Hey, Swing Marita. Now, but what, would y'all, what would y'all do if it came out to be a, a real flat earth? I can't hear about no flat earth. That just yeah, <laughs> real. Uh, Marita. I, just, yes. I can't do it. Marita, how many psychiatrists does it uh, take to change a light bulb? Uh, I don't know. None. The light bulb has to want to change. Now, see, I have therapy tomorrow. I'm going to use that on her. <laughs> what are you going to do? It's a good one. 
<laughs> I like Just that. Talk about my theories with the flat. Listen, there is so there is so much proof out there. Oh, there is not. There's yes, there is. So much big proof. Mama. How do you explain it's pendulums, so big mama? How do you explain like, a pendulum? Do you know what a pendulum is? It's a demonic yeah. pimple. How do you a know? Oh, no, a pendulum. A pendulum. <laughs> In a clock, a pendulum. That's a pen. That's a. That's a. No. You're thinking of a pen. pen a, what's that called? A pendulum is the thing on a string that rocks back and forth to all the movement. Because I get a grandmother here called the Franklin Institute. A grandmother Franklin, and there's a pendulum that hangs from the top part all the way down to the first floor, and it just rocks with the earth, rotates back and forth to the earth. Yeah, yeah, it is so cool. Yeah, it's not a earth that moves in an axis of the earth. Yeah. Thinking, devil, you're thinking pen pentagram. Flat earth. Pentagram. That's it. Pentagram. The pendulum and pentagram. Was supposed to be Very different. Because yeah. Everybody said the North America is because America's going through it. Means it's 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 everybody's going through it. The North America eclipse. Everybody was saying that it was the when there's a cross across America. I'm like, people get it, get real here. Goodness gracious, big mama, Please you don't know, know it's not over yet. Amy, uh, it's not over yet, big mama. Amy, it is over, over, big mama. The Lord says. Mean? He will come earth. like a thief in the night. He doesn't say he's just coming no, like Americans I believe, only. I don't, believe, I don't believe the end of time, but that doesn't matter. I mean, I he agree. was American. Right. The North American you, Eclipse. I agree with you, Jesus. I, I get tired of people saying, well, Jesus is coming. Because he's coming next week. week. Jesus is coming this is next the month. Fifth, you this know is what? the fifth Nobody coming knows of me. Jesus that I've been alive for. Now, wait a second. Let me finish my sermon here. Uh, Go ahead. <laughs> yeah, everybody yeah. thinks they know when Jesus is coming, but it, in the Bible, Jesus clearly tells us that He will come like a thief in the night, and not exactly. even the angels in heaven will know of His coming. Right now, do you, you think Jesus told a lie? I doubt it. You think Jesus is going to come because He's had a eclipse in North America? Uh, America is so confused. The other day. Oh, but that doesn't mean that it happened everywhere. Exactly. It what only is happened. Gravity Hill. What is Here. Gravity Hill? It's just Can you imagine this happens people, in America. Don't mean that the Lord's going to take the world. But just imagine the people that lived in like Mesopotamia or somewhere like that. What is and Gravity Hill? They they didn't know what was going on. They saw it as an evil thing. What? I guess I guess because the sky grew dark when uh, Jesus was crucified. Now that did happen too. Yeah, but you also got to remember they knew of eclipse long before Jesus. Eclipse have been happening for thousands of years. Yeah, the eclipse. Yes. And they and they've always known when the next one. They knew up to 1991 from the year. I think I've seen six BC before. Christ. I was counting with Erica today, and I think I've seen six total in my life. I seen the Haley's comment. We hiked to the top of stuff. Oh, no, I see more eclipses. A bunch I of other cuckoos three. in the middle of the night. You don't know, matter what I say. They're not going to leave me. Marsha. Anybody know where Stone the, Mountain is? Large you know Marsha. Mar 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 it's the largest piece Mar of Mar 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 <laughs> They're not believers, That's Marcia. A, Marcia, we're, we're not believers. believers. <laughs> we're, we're, I'm going to burn in hell, I guess. You know what? You know what I would do? All my ground earth friends. Jinkies, huh? if, you, if you get rolled up on your paddle, I'll pay you a hundred bucks. Ronald ain't right. never going to come on nobody's panel. Daisy, Marsh, if you Marsh, get rolled up on your panel, I will give you a hundred bucks. Ronald will. I don't Where think is Ronald? Ronald? Is he here? 
He's at I his mommy's Donald. house. I'm almost ready to vote for him. Donald is at his mommy's. Get him up here. <laughs> you make a hundred bucks. I don't know. I'm, I'm starting to think he's he's at his mommy's Is she oh, raising no. her grandkids? Who? Nellie? I don't know. I don't know. Where she Nellie, talks about that's... kids, she seems to know what she's talking about. Well, my question is this. Does Nellie know her name is Nellie? Ah, who gives a flying? She does. That's what you say in Philadelphia. Uh, no, my now, now, Sailor. Miss Sailor came up with that name. Hill. Is that what that song's named for? Sailor's awfully silly. Especially, you know, when she and I get together and do it, we're doing the same thing. We get I got my thrills on Blueberry Hill, not Gravity Hill. Miss Daisy. I found my thrill on Gravity Hill. Oh, Blueberry Hill. Gravity Hill. It's Blueberry. I'd rather see Crime Crazy Critters on the farm. That's a one hit one. That's a one hit one right there. Yes, Debbie Nelson, you're right. When you put it in neutral, it goes no. downhill. <laughs> Don't go uphill. That's why the, okay, why does the river flow uphill? It does in some places in Germany. <laughs> in Germany. Gravity. Fish. Get um, in, Ger pressure. in Germany, pressure. there is a place where the, the, uh, the, the, the river runs north instead of to the it south. does here in the United States. The Cumberland River does it, but it's the pressure from all that water, it's going to push it up. I'll be back. I'm gonna go take a shower. Who's the beach? Me, I oh. guess. Bish, that's bish. Okay, um, the uh, the thing is. I could have used that word Gravity a long time really ago. Gravity works like it says it does. That 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 river would be flowing south. But yeah. Daisy, it would not it's be flowing. The pressure north. of all the water coming down that's pushing it up. If like, you see the Cumberland ever, River where it starts moving up, that would not be that. Because do you ever push something flows, up the hill? When the Cumberland hey. River comes to a point where it flows downward one way. And upward the other way. Marita? Yes. I'm sticking bikes to pressure. Oh, There's no pressure. I, know. I, I, I got distracted with this little daisy. She distracts me. Y'all won't find I'm out. Really. Today. Oh, well, well we're not going to find out. Flat. You are. You're the one that's going to find out. <laughs> Gravity Hill by my house pulls you up the hill. It, well, 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 is heaven up or down? Or is it just off to the side somewhere? I don't believe there's real such thing as gravity, y'all. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, no, please don't start with that. Oh, God, I don't no. believe there's gravity. Daisy, you're kidding, right? I'm not kidding. Because, let me tell you something. Shit. Daisy, you need to go get There's tested. There's no outer space. The moon and the stars and the sun is in the firmament, which is inside the world, underneath our blue sky. Oh, I got a headache. <laughs> I'm sorry to have my dentures in, but I have to take for this. Go um, ahead, hon. I'm sorry. Oh, oh my, my word. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just... Listen, I don't know for sure. I'm just saying. Yeah, just saying I mean, what? Say it again. Say it again. I want you to say it. No, 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 no. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, All it. gravity pulls you up. <laughs> it defeats the purpose otherwise. <laughs> How does gravity pull you up when it's pulling you down? It's doing both. It's gravity. <laughs> <laughs> I, centrifugal, I, centrifugal forces. <laughs> what you up? Gravity pulls you down. I'm a believer, a believer. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Daisy, if you were on the moon today, and you and you you were the walking or bouncing, wait, wait, wait. If you're on the moon today, you would weigh. You would weigh. 
one sixth. You would have one sixth of the amount of gravity on Earth. So that's when the astronauts, you know, they came out and started hey. bouncing around because the gravity is one sixth of what it is here. I watch it after the live, Miss uh, Diamonds. We'll we'll study it. I'm gonna bring my evidence next time. And we're gonna have a debate. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna and get I'm up and I'm in that bookcase right here. Evidence. I'm gonna get uh, every see all those books. Uh, the science books. I don't have to have any proof. <laughs> well, some of them are. Gone. I don't fly off in the air when I get up in the morning. <laughs> You fly up in the air when you get up no. in the morning, Daisy. Listen, I don't expect anybody else to believe what I believe. And I don't 100% believe well, in it. Well, that's good. That's good. I'm, that just, you know. I'm just looking so into it. So does that mean there's room to change your beliefs? There's room, yeah. I, I mean, it, I'm not 100% on this. Is there such a thing as Daisy oxygen? Daisy doesn't believe in the moon landing either. No. Is there such a thing as oxygen? That was fake. Huh? Yeah, there you go. Oxygen. Is there such a thing as oxygen? Yes, ma'am. How do you know? Because we it. breathe it. You can't see it. The same thing goes with God, but we breathe him in every day, don't we? That's a pretty good God. It's a pretty good response, you have to admit, Marita. Yes, uh, it is, but we see what God gives us around us. Yeah. Right. And he gave us a brain to know the earth is round. <laughs> I agree with that one. I agree. No, I'm not 100% convinced, but I'm looking into it. I mean, it's just in the back of my mind. I think it's in the front of your mind, too. <laughs> you think it is? I think yeah, you don't believe in the back, in the back of your mind. You don't realize how much you believe in There's it. There's no gravity. Which is fine. That's I a, mean, that is a new one on me now. I'm telling you. What. If you find out, and then you find out it is round, then you got to buy a pig. Why is the emoji? <laughs> why is the emoji uh, of the Earth round when you use that? Why is it shaped round and why is it not just a big flat piece of paper? I just don't trust science. I think you're hung up on the Mercator yeah, maps. Works. Huh? You're hung up on the Mercator maps, you know, the ones that show the whole world at one glance. The flat maps, you know, you used to pull down, show the kids parts of the world. Yeah, the ones Mercator, the world. Mercator maps. Okay. That's the way you what I think if you're stuck the world on that is really a dome and it's flat. And we live under the firmament. What is it with and the firmament? The moon and the sun. The, is the firmament the probably just means our atmosphere. She thinks that there's like a crust over everything. No, I think there's a a doom, and I think there's waters above the heavens. Is it made of graham cracker crust? I think there's water above us and water below What's us. In the the center? Center? What's in the center? Why is the water falling on us? The that book, no, because that's the yeah. Why does water fall on us? Do you suppose gravity pulls it this way? What I'm thinking, yeah, is, no, I'm saying I'm not even talking about rain. What's keeping that water up? I really there? believe that we could get how uh, do you think you really think well, no, no, God no, 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 deals work? Okay, it's when like you this. go away, when you go away yourself, how do you level, think right? scales work? Because they try to how the scales work, go how the scales the work. You really think Without that God's going to let him what get is, through the firmament? What is holding the water above our heads then? God. So he's holding he all that water and it's not school. falling on us. He, says the wor he said there's waters above the firmament and below the firmament. And what, the what, earth what, is stable. What, it's stabilized. Can you do me a favor? Because I don't know what book of the Bible this that, that's in. So it's in the Bible. I, it's in the Old Testament. In the book the of Old Testament's a big book. And the book of Genesis, the earth is stable in Genesis. it. Genesis. Miss Daisy. Do I you know, know we've been brainwashed too much. Y'all don't believe y'all don't believe it's in the Bible, but it is in the Bible. 
But if it's saying it's stable, that doesn't mean that it doesn't move. It could be it's stable as in it's I'm set. Just saying keep an open mind that things ain't always what it seems to be. We yeah, and maybe Bible. you got to remember the Bible well, was interpreted. The Bible, Bible, was, Bible written was written by, by many, 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 many different languages. That but Bible see, that's is what it's transcribed. Okay, here we go. Let's get so, this clear. I want to know. Clear it up. Moses wrote the first five books of the Bible. Moses was the only person who ever seen God and lived. Uh, Moses walked with God his whole life. In fact, God hid his body. Moses is not just an ordinary man. They were all written by prophets. Very Every book of the Bible is written by a prophet. prophet. Exactly. So for people to say that they are was written by ordinary men. No, these are men that walked with God. Close yeah, the New Testament, they walk with Jesus, or they know, or they know of Jesus' work, because Saint Paul did not walk with Jesus. He came after, no, he Jesus. Didn't, but he seen Jesus. Jesus, no, he came, yeah, but he before that he came after Jesus is what I'm saying. But mm-hmm. anyway, all right, so we're going to the Book of Genesis. I now, used to get screwed up remember, when I was little about Bible dinosaurs. In how many languages? Because it was written in Aramaic, Hebrew, Greek, Latin. Assyrian. Well, I know that. Sanskrit. Uh, oh. Sanskrit. It was Sanskrit. written in many, many languages. And in Hebrew. Turkey. So uh, the word for being, for the earth not moving, what word did they, what word did you say? It was. <laughs> The earth was stabilized. Stable. Maybe they had maybe stable was a different word back in Hebrew than it was in Latin or in Aramaic or or Persian or Hebrew. So you gotta take all that. I take all that into consideration when I read things from the Old Testament. The New Testament was easier to transcribe because it was written. Only 2,000 years ago. The Old Testament, 5,000 years or more. Some of it. I'm going to try to find that. So it comes down to tran- uh, to transcript. How it would, but how it was transcribed. But. Yeah. The book Aaron, of you know, Joe, King James. King, King really James had his earth. own personal scribes. Did you know that Leviathan <laughs> was a creature in the, in the sea? That the God Leviathan? created. Which describes a dragon. He said, a Leviathan. Fire. Is that what you said? Well, there were dragons. Yeah. Leviathan. Leviathan. Hmm? There were dragons. So I used to get screwed up when I was a kid. I'm like, I'm trying to get on. Did, did Jesus come first? Did God, God create the world first? Or were the dinosaurs him? already here? Where, I don't where get it. He with, is described I, as a dragon in the sea. I find it interesting. That's all. I just want to. Know about the firmament and all that. Leviathan, it just means something that's humongous. Could have been a no. whale. Nope. In the could Bible, blue whale. It, it's a creature in the in the sea that he created that could not be pierced and had fire come from his mouth. He was like it was described as is kind of like a crocodile or a dragon in the water, and it breathes fire. Dragon and it breathes in the fire water. under the water. And yeah. Leviathan was a huge creature that God described in the book of Job. Go look it up. But but these are just little snippets. I want a whole big, like, give me Picture. a chapter to read. A chapter? Read Leviticus. Read the whole five books. No, Leviticus is From all in interpretation. We discussed That's about the whole. Levites. No, it's not. Because it is about the Levites, said, too. When no, it's not. Man, it's Leviticus not is men. about, and I God's said, judgment. is about the Levites. But Leviticus said, is about well, God's that, judgment. When I said, what, what about gouging your eye out if you should look at another man's wife? And you said, Thanks well, that's much. interpretation. It's said, an abomination. Yeah, How much more? I said, if you uh, look at a woman that way, 
that that was lust. And yeah, lust and you a, cut off lust your arm is a, and everything. Lust is a sin, so you don't you don't look at other women when you're married. You know I, mean? I don't know. I think a lot of the I'm Bible is the Bible. interpreted differently, like no. the interpretation of why we go to confession. I'll tell you what, Derek <laughs> Prince. Derek Prince was a scholar in England and a Who? preacher, a pastor, Derek Prince. And oh, he knew, I don't he I know the, a lot of preachers and pastors. No, he's not just a normal preacher. He's dead now. But I know he who he is. Knew how to read the ones. Bible in Latin, Hebrew, and all those languages, and they're all the same. There's no difference. Oh, the King that, James funny, Version, I, Latin is a dead Latin. language. And say otherwise in the Bible, unicorns I, has been it, it, several times it, in the Bible. Well, I, 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 I have priests who say otherwise, and they go to school for 12 years to become a priest. Go to school won't get you into heaven to be a no, priest. No, that's not the, you to she didn't say that. Only a relationship with Jesus Christ and the Lord, they have a relationship. What I'm saying is their education, they're scholars. They go to school for 10 years to become a priest. Okay. They and go to the seminary, St. Charles, in Philly, it's St. Charles Barmeo. And have they ever talked to you once about Leviathan? They talk about all kinds of things. They've never I read about, about it in the Bible. Bible. It, I've been sick for two weeks. And guess one. what I've been doing religiously? What? Reading, reading the Bible. Reading the Bible. There you go. But, but, but. Hmm. What I'm trying Again. to say is a lot of things come down to interpretation. Like we discussed. I read the Bible and I know about, what my interpretation When is. you said that you should not, you don't have to tell a priest your sins. And I said where that comes from is the reading that was just on Saturday. Uh, when the Jesus came to the upper room and the apostles were locked in the room and he blew on them the Holy Spirit and said to them, Whose sins you retain shall be retained. Whose sins you forgiven shall be forgiven. And they were the first priests of the Catholic Church. That's where confession comes from. They forgave your sins or they didn't forgive them. That came from Jesus. That's what we believe. Now you interpret that different than a lot of people do. Not, I don't mean you as Daisy. I mean uh -huh. other people. Yeah. You but as general population. I'm not a big confession person. I've gone once. I went around Christmas. That was the first time in four years. Before that, probably 20 years. I I just don't like it. But I got to admit, when I walk out after I go, I feel better. Well, there you and go. And I know that priest is no better than me. <laughs> you if it's not right that Nothing priest is no better than me he is right. probably could be worse than me some of yeah. them are but he's no better than me and he is a human and yeah. i don't believe the pope is infallible i think he's in, he's as fallible as anybody else the only person that was infallible to me other than jesus christ was the blessed mother because she bore jesus without original sin and I just, that's my belief system. Correct. I believe in the, if you read the Nicene Creed, or we call it now the Apostles' Creed, they are uh, my. Belief. Yeah, we quote that in the Methodist Church too. The Methodist yeah, Church you, is a break you, off of the Catholic you, Church. You leave a little bit out. You don't, you don't say one holy Catholic and Apostolic Church. No, we say the Nicene Creed, Apostles' Creed. Yeah, uh, I, I know you guys say I it. I believe in Father, the, the Son. Uh, the Methodist, the Lutheran, the Episcopalian, they yeah, all say I'm, it. I'm Methodist. But that's what, we, you know, that's all our roads belief. That we have the creed. My we family have can creed. be traced back to Methodists all the way from Case Cove. John, my relatives are in the Methodist I'm cemetery. To think, there. John, what's his name? Was the founder here? John Wesley, or is he Presbyterian? Uh, it's just John Wesley. Huh? My biggest fear John is Jesus Wesley. saying to me, yeah. "Depart He's from me." He's saving you, Daisy. Don't worry, you're going. I hope so. There's no reason you won't, even if your belief of things that He has created are different. And 
you get up there and he says, you know, it was round. Or I, <laughs> I, 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 I get up there and he says, you know, Marita, it was flat. You to listen to Daisy and Sunday. Where Taylor's at? She was up there. You know, it, it, you know, yeah. we may both find out different things. Or, or we definitely will probably. Yeah, and and then we'll see each other up there and laugh our eyes off. You were right. right. I didn't believe we'll go, Where's I'll Sherry? Come, I'll, I'll oh my come God, come. she fucking outlived all of us. She's you know still what? down there. I do believe there's food in heaven. Remember, I'll come to my mansion food? if you come. Well, the food will be the glorious spread of heaven. Yes. That's what it's called. We're already planning on the Eucharist is the glorious bread of heaven. (laughs) Isn't that funny? We've got three different religions here, but we all believe the same thing. Christ died for our sins. But everybody here believes in the Trinity. And we all believe in the Holy Trinity. And Sunday was about the Holy Spirit. And yes. And actually, Father, we son, call it Holy, uh, the Holy Divine Ghost, Mercy Holy Sunday. Spirit. Yeah, it's about Saint Faustina. I and think uh, he would be with us right now if he's Jesus wouldn't. He would be happy with us. I think he would. I mean, you know, I think Jesus would probably whatever like to religion, on the panel. As long as we believe in him and we try to do it our best, doesn't matter what religion you are. If you, you know, we're, we are different religions because we feel comfortable worshiping that way. I've been to many, every, probably every other church there is. And I find that Catholicism, even though Me I was too. raised in it, I still find it my comfort zone. Yeah. I am very comfortable there. I love being Catholic. I love the I mass. I love all the pomp and circumstance. I love the rituals. I love it all. They the sacraments. Very, very respectful rituals. They do. I just don't so like the smell of incense, God. but, you know, they only do that once in a blue moon. You know, oh, my yeah. mom grew up a Catholic, and she preached down on... Uh, See, Catholics have bishops, but right? My grandma was very blessed. God blessed my family. Methodists have bishops, too. That is Catholics. Well, yeah, yeah. we have missionaries, yeah. No, and bishops. Just, oh, bishops, yeah. Yeah, I said the meth- so do the Methodists. We have bishops. Yeah, most most religions do. Most most Christian, like Methodist, Lutheran, Episcopalian, Presbyterian, and Catholic have bishops. I don't yeah. know Pentecostals because they don't have an upper they echelon. Preachers. Preachers. Mormons don't have an upper echelon. Jehovah Witnesses don't. You know, they all have. Actually, Mormons and Jehovah's Witnesses believe in a hierarchy. Cults. They and believe they, in a hierarchy to go to heaven. Yeah, you got to do this step. Yeah, you I mean, this. well, you got to, you got. If you don't rise in the church far enough, then you don't. Yeah, yeah. Go more, to heaven. If you have the closer you are to God. It's, yeah, it's a hierarchy, and I, I, I let them in and just let them talk all they want I'm to. Not too sure about that. Uh, I, mean, I don't want to. And, and as soon as they hear, I did. It's just one woman, and she came in and said, I started talking to me, showing me her literature, and I just waved the literature away, and I said, how about you pray it with me today? Oh, they don't ever want to swing. Oh, no, 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 no. She changed the subject, and she left quickly thereafter, so. Yeah, Yeah. they don't want to, they don't want to do anything other than Everybody's going to hell but them, you know that, don't you? That's what they think. Yeah, yeah, well. There's only 144 spots in heaven for the Jehovah's. I don't know why they're knocking on people's door to ask more people to join. That's taking up their spot. And that's what I told the woman knock, at the knock, door. Knock, I knock said, on heaven's door. there's only, oh, Eric Clapton. Um, I said, there's only 144,000 spots. If I join, I'm going up. So I'm going to take your spot. So why do you keep knocking on people's door and have to sell? Forty-four thousand chosen ones. Yeah, I don't know why people like Mormons. I don't know why they knock on doors. Let's have a let's have a Bible quiz, Daisy. Yeah. How, many times, how many that. times did Jesus say we were to, we were to forgive? Seven times seventy. Seven times seventy. What say it? I'm sorry. Seven times seventy. Yes. 
not seven times seven, but 70 times 70. seven. In other words, endless times. Endless. That's what he meant. And, Mormons you know, do Jesus have an upper echelon. They Jesus have a prophet. Parables. Uh, yeah, Joseph Smith. He did speak in parables. He, he, spoke, he spoke in parables and he spoke in metaphors too. Yes. He did. A lot. And that's why a lot of people don't understand the Bible when they Everything read it. Everything was a metaphor. You know, you've got to yeah, you've got to know what metaphorical speaking is. So anybody who hasn't read the Bible but you'd like to read it all the way through, I would just suggest that you go get the uh, the NIV, which is written in a, a more. Uh, That's what the Catholic Bible is written in. Yeah. More plain English. We don't do the yeah. that I do them. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I want? I want the Geneva Bible. Geneva, the Geneva Bible. Convention, where they took all of the Enoch and all that out. It was the original Bible. Oh, you want the Apocrypha? Yes. That that's the all the all the uh I say chapters because I used to read books, kids. Uh all of the books out. Good night, they took, diamonds. They, yeah. that's the oh Apocrypha. diamonds, you're leaving? I'm not done with you yet. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> hey, the sermon's not over. Good night, diamonds. Good night, diamonds. Marita, Good night, no, they have a living prophet at the top present now do they really serious i thought that uh, well i think it's weird their whole religion to me is weird i think the scientology is weird that's not even a religion it ain't i, I don't even know how they get a tax break what they don't even it? mention jesus christ i don't even know what it's about i don't that's either it's, it's about just like not believing in everything science you want to talk yeah. science Daisy, yeah. you'd have a field oh, day. Lord, I, a uh, I would love to see you head. two they go at it. They'd kick her out in two seconds, would they? No, they'd probably hang me up upside down and kill me. I heard some bad stuff about them. How could they hang you upside down if there's no gravity? Because mm -hmm. <laughs> it's going down. It's downwards. <laughs> yeah, gravity pulls you down. <laughs> The thing is, they, I don't even know what they're, it's, I guess it's about, uh, I don't know. I, I don't know what they even, they, they preach about non, like, don't go I'm to this, to feel high better. Risk, don't go to this, like, nobody should intervene, you shouldn't take medications, and it mm. don't, Oh, it, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the people that won't get their kids vaccinated for anything. Yeah. No, they. I think they vaccinate, but they won't give psychotic any kind of psychotic medications, like oh, if they're depressed yeah. or. Yeah. Oh yeah. People, yeah. People I had a mother. I had a mother that made her son take about twelve different kinds of supplements. They said the They did. And he was. He hated it. He hated it. He said. But why would they? Turn this isn't doing any good for me. That's not like, doing well, any good for me. I know I have well, ADHD. Yeah. It's not doing any good for me. He wanted to go on some medicine. The kid Listen, did. He's 11. Multiple heavens. Jesus. I walked all the way heaven. in the kitchen and forgot God to bring my glass. Who became God and a lot more. I could go on and on. Oh, that's crazy. Reese. I don't some, know. You know, Mormons believe in multiple heavens. Uh, I, they come knocking on my door. As soon as I say I'm Catholic, they like start like frothing at the mouth thinking they're going to change me. And I look at them and go, okay. you're 18, I'm 62. You think you're going to change me <laughs> into believing that some guy found a religion by putting stones in a hat and finding some book up in upstate New York? No. I'm on mama so that wasn't i believe that was a made-up story oh they uh, on mama they didn't find uh, i think that was a made-up story y'all gotta watch some of these creators i'm having they a treat just what is get. it i'm having a treat a diet coke yeah hey, I, I limit my, i limit myself one week because hey, i used to drink six a day that yeah, they brainwash. Well, I think every religion tries to brainwash you um, to a point. 
but that's why there's so many, we call them falling away Catholics, lapsed Catholics. They just didn't want to follow a lot. They don't, they follow some of the rules. They don't want to go to all the rules or I call myself, I'm not a great Catholic. I'm a cafeteria Catholic. I pick and choose what I want to believe, but I'm getting better at picking. the. Are right you a Catholic Catholic. reject? No, not me, but I have seven siblings that are, or six. Oh. My brother and I are both practicing. Well, I can tell you this. But we all went to Catholic, eight of us went to Catholic school. My mom and my mom's brothers and sisters, all eight of them that's left are devoted Catholics. All of them, except my mom was the only one. Yeah, your mom. My mom, you are heard so you right. right. Looking I've heard you say that, Miss Daisy, before. Yeah, yeah I mean, God it, has it, blessed them beyond blessed. It's a, it's a. People said uh, being Catholic, oh, you're, you're this, you're that, and you don't read the Bible. We read the Bible. We read three readings at Mass every Sunday. That's two yeah. more than most Protestant churches. Tell you what, my grandma. They read one book. reading and preach on that, my and we get it. 15 minutes sermon, believe me. Mass didn't get out till six o'clock last week, five o'clock mass. And yeah. but I just don't follow, I don't go to confession enough. And there's some sins I've broken that I don't think are as bad as people like at my age, I'd live in sin before I got married. I would have done it younger. Because uh-huh. don't, say that for the Daisy. don't say you do anything. Well, the Daisy again. Don't say I've you don't do it again. They, they, what? <laughs> don't say I do it again. Hmm. Well, I I I think that's and and I don't think if you're divorced you should be so like shunned or or some marriages just don't work it just happens that way and i have friends that have remarried and the catholic church won't marry them because they didn't get a um annulment screw an annulment that means that the kids are going to get money the catholic church gets money for annulments you got to pay for it yeah that's true and and that's when i get mad because they're making enough money that church is my my parish is a pretty wealthy oh, parish right. for being a city parish. But we live we do have some suburb people in our parish, but it's a beautiful parish. It's a beautiful church. You've seen pictures of it, Daisy. Beautiful, yes. It's, it's a gore, it's a big church. A lot of stained oh, glass. Look, in it. A Catholic yes. funeral. Is All my windows beautiful. are stained glass. We like our stained the glass. Beautiful don't funeral we? Yes. I've ever seen in my life is a Catholic funeral. I mean, my church has a stained glass picture. And you pay Jesus for funerals, you know. You got to pay for a wedding. You got to pay for a funeral. You got to pay like my grandma bucks. was so honored, like the queen that she was. They just they just went her through that not too long ago. In her funeral, it. she was so honored. They blessed her casket. They did rosaries. It was just beautiful. That's all I can say. Linda. Can I ask you what the Catholic Church didn't teach you that you're, uh, I, I don't know, uh, because, yeah, there are some things that the Catholic Church may not, because we don't believe in it. Not that we don't believe in it. Let me rephrase. We don't follow that path. Endorse it. Yeah, right. endorse it. That's a good word for it. Because there's things that, I don't know. I've been to every church there is around here. And, and you know, also, in the Catholic Church, you also do not do immersion, right? You mm-hmm. use uh, christening. No, we don't christen. We baptize. You christen a ship. You baptize a baby. No, we don't immerse. We hold them over the font. Do you hear me, y'all? Barely. You do christen a baby? I mean, no, you don't. You christen a ship. You baptize a baby. Let me tell y'all something. Google it. We don't call it christen. We call it baptism. Well, they call I, me. I got christened. Well, I, 
have been to a snake handling church. Technically, this is my life. Our religion teacher, we say baptism. It's supposed to be baptism. Y'all hear me? Yeah, I hear you now, Daisy. I've been to a snake handling church. And that I was think that's cray cray. Well, it's like this. The whole time, all they talked about was my blonde hair and my husband's goatee and how that we were sinning and just was being rude about it. Like, he didn't want us in his church. That was backwoods you should tell him a snake bites you. That was backwoods. Well, Jesus clearly says Daisy. you're not supposed to tempt the Lord. And I believe. You know what they do with those snakes before they handle them? What? They feed them. They care. They feed them so that they're that not. They the don't mama, feel. A talking in tongues thing. It's called. Um, well, it says you're not supposed to tempt the Lord by God. Because well, remember the Satan, devil. Satan appeared as a serpent. Yeah. So why are we well, handling remember serpents? When he he told, when he asked Jesus to fall down from the temple and have his angel save him, and he said, "You're not supposed to tempt the Lord." Well, that goes, right. in my opinion, that goes with serpents picking up serpents and drinking. I uh, what is that they they drink cyanide in church? Oh, that weird stuff. I don't believe in that. Now, they might believe in it, but I know that some of those churches, when they wear their long hair and their long dresses, and I've been to a lot, and I've been around a lot of them that does that, they will walk yeah, past and you. Got, they get into the pool like that, too. They give you a dirty look. They'll give you a dirty look, and they won't speak like they're They're better. like the churches like the Duggars yeah. are from, that, that, that branch of Christianity. Now, like, I, yeah, I, or something. I like, I like, but them. the best thing of all is where prayer prayer is on there. Yeah, that, that, well, that, we that's, can choose I mean, what we that's want okay. to believe. That's fine if you believe in that. That's fine. Yeah, but yeah, it you, is. Uh, any belief is. I'm not, I'm not, I wouldn't hold it against somebody and because walk they're different from me. Them and give them dirty looks because they don't have long hair like you or wear dresses like you. That's judgmental to me, and I don't agree with that. I stopped wearing a dress to church after eighth grade. When I after I left Catholic school, I was done with wearing a dress to Your church. Your uncle was holiness. We had to cover our head. My dad's brother was holiness, and he wouldn't let his girls come in the house without dresses. They had to wear dresses and long hair. And I was just glad I that death, he might have shown up every once in a while. He wouldn't allow a TV in his house either. Really? Yeah. Like a TV? That says some other religions I know. They're they're yeah. called um, Faith Tabernacle. And they don't believe in doctors that you pray over. No, they don't believe in doctors. And they don't have TV. They don't listen to TV mainstream TV. music. Church of God. That's not a I'm I'm Pentecostal Church of God, but I'm pro Jesus, and that's all that matters. It doesn't matter as long as you follow Jesus. I think you're good. I am what they call a pape, a which what? is it, it's a very it's not a very nice thing to call Catholic, and I despise people who call me that. I'm a follower of the Pope. That's what it's it's an acronym for something mean. About following the Pope, mm -hmm. I don't. I don't even remember what it means anymore. But I used to despise when people would say, "You're a pape, aren't you?" And I'd say, "I don't call you a heeb or a Jew. Why would you call me the pape?" That's a, it's a derogatory statement. Yeah, it's like calling an Irishman a Mick. That's not a nice thing. Right. It's a you know people say to me, "I oh, hear a Mick, aren't you?" Well, I'm McNichol, but. No, I'm not. Danny, I, Danny, I had thought about that, Danny. But I, I did read that they feed them because they mice, are mice and things before they bring them out so that they're not so they likely to. Yeah, there's not any venom. I've never left. seen a church ceremony. No venom because they used it on the mice. I just maybe, you might have to, maybe you could Google that for me and find out what it, I forget what it means, a pape. But it's a der very derogatory statement. And you I know, the man that I went and got 
to do service on my mom's funeral. You know, I told you about my aunt's and uncle's oh, and, and he yeah, was sad. he was a a hellfire spitting preacher. But it wasn't three or four years after my mom's funeral that he got caught messing around with his son's wife and all different sh got put in jail. Oh, your father? No, my preacher that preached oh, pre at my Woo! mom's funeral. See, there's bad as Catholics. <laughs> well, my stepmother my step was married to a Baptist preacher and he left her and all five of his children for a 23 year old he was he was he was he was counseling five children and he went to this lady who was 23 and he was counseling Whoa. and she lived by herself 10 years until my dad came along and she's my mother's first cousin she's my second cousin and my stepmother oh do, I mean, I think weird, isn't it? That sounds like a good story there. Well, you I'm know? not, I'm not, I'm not related to her, except she I know, but it's a good her. story. Oh yeah. Well, I couldn't believe it when I heard it at first, because you know, a culture shock already. Because my mom, <laughs> yeah, Billy, my yeah, mom, you know where eyeballs are too. Michigan. And our they've never are, been to the ends like the heels anyway. The ends of our the ends of some of our joints are round too. If you look around the room, count how many things are round. Daisy, read what he'll go around. Around. Look, look, yeah. start with your coffee oh, cup yeah. or your glass or a pan or a just look around the room. But that don't mean our world our earth is round. I just I didn't say that. I'm not arguing about that anymore. If, if you think the world's flat, yeah. that's fine with me. I just don't think you should take a around the I, world cruise. I just don't go to church. Don't take a cruise because, around the world, okay? Okay. But I I choose not to go to church because I want to let God teach me and he leads me and I watch Derek Prince and I learn a lot from him. And I just read the Bible and interpret it for myself, you know. Yeah, so, I could read the Bible on my tablet. Yeah, I just, but I, I, I love I to type go in the, the uh, but the, you've been raised up in, in church and stuff, Marita. Yeah, and that's true. I have I too, since I, since I could walk, since I could walk before I could walk. Well, don't get me wrong, I would love to be a part of a church. But people are just so mean anymore. And oh, judgmental. well, they're judgmental in Catholic Church. And I'm as guilty as the next because I'll see a young kid walk by me with shorts up her ass yeah. and a tank top on. I think you couldn't find a different pair of shorts to wear to church. In church? They wear that? Hey, but you know what? They're there. I've seen it. And, and I, I look at that they way. Well, at least they're there and they're participating. I know, but. but couldn't you find something That's else to wear? I wear shorts to church. They're usually, you know, like come no. down almost to my knees, or and I wear tank tops, but like nice ones, not like a like yeah. these are like tanky tank tops. Like no, white. They don't need to be if you go to a mosque, you have to remove your shoes. They have a little cubby. Well, there's with your shoes, and they won't let you go in unless your shoulders are covered. Yeah, but. You and so then they have a box of scarves. You just put a scarf around it, uh, and then they'll let you come in and sit on the floor. There's not the that many people in a there mosque. Are no pew, there are no pews compared to a Catholic carpet. church. Catholic Excuse church me? regular mass has 200 people there or more. Yeah. Saturday night mass has over 300 people. Yeah. The vigil mass, and we have yes. five masses per. Is it that at midnight? No, no. Vigil mass is the night. It's Saturday nights at five okay. for the Sunday. Counts for Sunday. Where did I get midnight from? We used to have midnight mass for Christmas. Okay, I bet. But it's our church stopped doing it because people were coming drunk. Now they have it at three, four, My and eight o'clock. 
at night. My grandfather was a devoted Catholic, but by somebody goodness, came to my sister's he wrote his grapes and he made his wine. <laughs> He thought he did. Get by with so it, but he didn't. The Catholic Church. I went to the age of seven, then moved. It happened to the door open. So I went inside. I got tears. Look, just how I remember. Beautiful. It is. Most Catholic churches are very ornate. It, They're very it, ornate. It's very ornate, exactly. And people say, well, you're worshiping those statues. No, we're no, not. not. I hate that. You're glorifying. We, no, of- we are. We are interceding through the Blessed Mother. Talk, you know, I don't want to bother Jesus right now, so I'll talk to Mary and ask her to ask Jesus or God, like like we pray to Jesus for God. Yeah. yeah. And and now my church does have. I this just have a direct line of Saint Cecilia in it because my parish is Saint Cecilia's, and she's a patron saint of music, and she's holding a heart. But we don't pray to her. We might pray through her to like, hey, St. Cecilia, can you get yes. to Jesus quicker for me? Then, I mean, I don't know. I like to find his pa- papers. To pa- you papers. don't have to defend yourself when it comes to that. You know what's right in your heart, Marita. Yeah, I do. That's true. I do know what's right and and what makes me comfortable. There's not one person on this panel that is afraid of... Uh, What's going to happen to her when they die? No, I'm not. I'm not either. All I know is I'm, the only thing I'm afraid of is the way in which I'll die. Well, I don't want to die. I'm going to be honest. But when it does come time, I'm excited to see my parents and my brother. Yeah. I'll be excited. No okay. pain, no no tears, no worries, I no fears, yeah. no I anxiety, my no jobs. For years. No, nothing, no, I no want to see my grandma. Yeah, see, so you want to see your grandma, and uh, I haven't seen my dad since I was 18, yeah. and I didn't get to say goodbye to him, yeah. so I want to say hello to him again. My grandfather died when I was eight, but he was kind of like my father at that time, even though he was mean. Uh, I, you know, he was the only yeah, father. He abused you. But, yeah. Well, he um, was just a now, my but, priest but, says. When you die, you don't go up like this. It's only your spirit goes up to heaven. Your body doesn't ascend to heaven. Just your spirit. And then then when Jesus comes, I think that yeah, we come back as right but when we body. get up there, you'll still see each other as you saw them. Like my dad will see me as the 18-year-old. He'll see my spirit as Everybody the 18-year-old. Knows. He saw when he left the house that night that he died. And my mom will see me as the 47-year-old that was holding her hand the night she died. And I'll see them at that age. My dad will forever be 60 in my head. That's what my question is. What age will we be? Uh, well, from what my, my pastor says will be... The age of whomever sees us from the last time they saw us. I I've I've listened to people that had near death experiences that said they've went to heaven, and a lot of them says that in your twenties and thirties, around Jesus' age, that everybody's young in heaven. Well, Jesus uh, was thirty three when he was crucified. My, my, my short, short, look, look, look they see you as. You were less on this world in 33 years. Because you got to realize a lot of people in heaven didn't make it to the 20s and 30s. Yeah, I buried grow at up least in 30 former students over the years. Not 30, yeah, 25, yeah, maybe 30. From cancer to a lot true. of the drug overdose. Uh, That'd be great. Cousins that did my little cousin Adam didn't. He was eight. He died of cancer, and so he'll never and be. And the babies you miscarried. Adam will always be eight years old. Moo, what Daisy Moo? I hope be, I see Benny in heaven. 
Cool. I don't know if the animals are up there with us or they get a separate. Know, that's what I wonder myself. Yes. I, I would love to see my Ashley again. Yeah. I don't know about stupid because stupid was pretty stupid. He probably went to hell <laughs> thinking he was going to heaven. God. I but... thought I was going to heaven. Maybe dad was right when he named me stupid. Could you imagine <laughs> Beanie in heaven? Who? Oh. Beanie, my bull. Oh, he's, he's like, running around the china shop. Up well, there. he'd be just as calm as he could be out in a nice, beautiful pasture. He won't be mean no more, would he? No. Nah. Nobody will be mean. There's mm -hmm. no meanness up there. That's yeah, a, I, you know, I have to hold on to that belief and believe that. Because well, I believe, I they say there's it. animals in heaven we've never seen before, just like there's colors in heaven we've never seen. Isn't that amazing? We yes. are supposed to be, be, we're supposed to see a whole new spectrum of colors. I'm not kidding. All different things we can never like, imagine in so our minds. There's people that have near-death We can never imagine them because we're limited. Never imagine the colors that's in heaven. We're, we're limited. Yeah. yeah, our brains won't open our minds to that. Well, they said there's animals in heaven that we've never well, seen. Well, I hope there are, because I I have so many. And then I want to see that damn dog that chewed me up and gave me post-traumatic stress disorder. And then I'm kicking his <laughs> ass down to hell. Come here, Missy. You lovely little dog. Rita, me up. don't you think you need some communion or something? I just got it Saturday. <laughs> you know what I mean. Yeah, I, I, I mean that. <laughs> I hated that dog. <laughs> I'm a cat person because of that dog. I did it chewed me so bad. My dad grabbed me and just ran me right to the hospital. What kind he of dog? He didn't even take the time to put a shirt on me or anything. Pull me out of the water, <laughs> grabbed me and ran. What kind of dog was it? It was a mutt. It was she. I don't even know what she was. I only have one picture of her, and I throw darts at it. <laughs> Um, I don't know what she was, but it was my brother, Kevin, and my sister, Janine, who are, Kevin's two years older than me, Janine's a year older than me. The last three, we came very quick. We moved into this house, and then my mom had bing, bang, boom. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, all right, Larry, let's get this over with. No more kids after this. <laughs> um, but they were teasing it. Yeah, colors in it went after me. I was four years old, almost five. And it ripped me apart. And they got in trouble when I got, got home from the emergency room. And I got to go down and get a popsicle. Ah, worked for me. Hey, well, you busted my head open one time with an extension cord. And I had to have stitches. And wow. uh, she never got a whooping for it. I had stitches all over from that damn dog. They had a my stitch radar. in my arm, my mouth, my face. They were stitching everything. Like three stitches here, two here, one. And I just remember my dad being so kind to me. And uh -huh. he wasn't a patient man. You know, when you're supposedly watching a four, five, and six-year-old and my, my mom's at work and the other five kids are God knows where because they were teenagers. and My dad was hyper. No, my dad was a good guy. My dad was a good guy, but he just was not a patient guy. Yeah. He put the grandchildren. Now, I was an aunt by the time I turned nine. Wow. Because my bro eldest brother and sister. My eldest sister is way older than you. You're the same age as my brother, Brian. I got siblings way older than you. And and he just he was the baby. wasn't a super patient, but he wasn't a horrible person. He just didn't have the, he, he lost his patience as more kids came along. And then by the time he got to me, it was like, I don't even care anymore. Yeah. Let her do what she wants to. Give you her know, a I got away with things. The other yeah, one, give her a was, Shut her up. I walked yeah. back all the time. Give her like, one he couldn't bother to get up to hit me anymore. Like it was like, uh, just get out of here. Stop. Cause I was a cry baby and I was a tattletale. <laughs> And, and I will they that's that Jenkins. That's so I, you remember the, do you remember the joke I told you earlier? You said you were gonna tell your therapist. People cry baby yes. in the saddle You do remember it? 
Yes. <laughs> okay. Funny, How many yeah. therapists does it take to turn light bulb to uh, change a uh, light bulb? It's got to yeah. want to be changed. It's got to want to change. Right. I don't want to talk about it. Oh my God. There were two um, trout. There were two trout that were swimming one day, and uh, they were just swimming around. We'll talk back and forth, you know. And then, uh, uh, one of them said, "I think something's in my head." And the next fish said, "Damn!" Uh, I uh, uh, got it. Got it. I was reading coupon mom is uh uh living a double life now my dad <laughs> didn't have time for that he had his first heart attack by the time i was in second grade so he couldn't have a double life he couldn't have he couldn't have a single life we annoyed him too much okay. don't have any kids if you can't handle it that's you know and we had the smaller family in the neighborhood the girl, that was my rock, 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 rock. you know what i'm currently <sighs> watching right now Wow, Koopa Mama, are you serious? Have you ever watched those videos where they they Is cut that the, what you meant by your father's cut double the bottom of your feet? Dislike her. You oh father. my God, Koopa Mama! What she? I'm say? sitting here with my mouth open. Is that what you meant when you said he led a double life? Hey, girl, that she was your half sister, and you didn't have any idea you had one. My rival in high school was actually my half sister. I didn't find out. Whoa. That's didn't get along because wow we're probably a lot alike my my sister that passed away last year i think it was boy that's interesting uh, me and her was a lot alike um she was more of a beach though i see i see a little bit of me in every sibling except the tattletale part that was my own that was my gig that they didn't get into beautiful. that I was, was the way. Mom and dad baby Jinky so much. Yeah, I got baby. It was horrible. How much? Oh uh, no, it's wonderful, Daisy. It's a I wonderful think... position. Don't be <laughs> I think, jealous. I Don't be hating on eldest. us. The us babies of the family. Like I think being the eldest is the best position. You think so? Uh, no, nah, my sister hated being the oldest. No, I like being I liked being the oldest, except when they would blame me for what they were doing. And I'd just look at them, I'd say, I'm not the parent. My sister said Why she you was scared of my mom when she was pregnant with me because she was in high school. And she said, having a mother pregnant while I'm in high school. Uh. My mother was only 35. It's not like she was old. Right. No, she was old. Back then, they, they believe in blessing. Auntie Sherry, how have you been handling losing your sister? I know you and her was close. We were close, but we fought uh, about different things. But our last conversation went really well. She told me she loved me. She mm -hmm. apologized for asking me for something that she should not have asked for. Mm -hmm. uh, that was to get her son out of trouble. He's, he's in prison and she's dead. So uh, anyway. I mean, he uh, he was very abusive to her. We've just found all this stuff out. He hit her in the head with a laptop. Oh, man. Uh, he bloodied one side of her face. Oh, all she wanted gosh. to do was try to, help, try to help him. And uh, really, when I told my other nephew, Cass, I said, Cass, I said, I, this may be a mean thing to say. I said, but I think Jacob contributed to my sister's death. He said... He didn't contribute it. He caused it. Uh, oh, God. Did she die from a heart attack, Auntie Sherry? Or yes. What? Yes. They, they even life flighted her from here to Piedmont, Atlanta. But by the time I got to Piedmont, she was in our heart pass. And everybody in the whole room was just standing there, standing there, standing there, looking at a dead body. I said, you guys, come on. We have got to get out of here. We're not going to stay Is here. Is she there, here. Auntie Sherry, with that? Pardon? Was you there when she passed? Uh, no, I was not. I was uh, getting on the elevator to go up. Mm. But Cass called me crying. And uh, so when I got in the room, I knew she was gone. And uh, so, but I just wouldn't let everybody stand around and boo hoo and stuff. I said, she's not even here. Why are y'all crying over a, uh, a vessel she used to be in? 
Yeah. No. Oh. Mm. God gave her that vessel. That's all. It, that's all it is. Her. her it spark, is. Her vitality, her personality, her spirit, all of it's gone. So there's no reason to stay in here. Plus, I wanted to usher everybody out before the gas has started. Yeah, I, I remember my mom died, and they ushered us all out of the house when when the yeah. If you like those gases, came, the gas he was, was on hospice, hospice. and yeah. they don't want you there while they're placing them in the bag. And I'm stuff. a big hospice, hospice, hospice. You hospice make them fan. step out of the room. I was a hospice volunteer for years and years. Always and years. step out of the room. I had one time where. Uh, I'm not funeral, leaving my house. I'm going to die I was right here. Don't so help me. Funeral home came, and the the wife would not let the funeral home take her husband, and she begged me. And now, and I was like, I looked at the pastor like help, and finally the pastor <laughs> took her to the side and she talked to her, and she finally let him take him. It was rough. It's it's a hor it's a horrible thing. I wasn't there when my dad died. I wish I was, but you don't get I any was, I was there. Yeah. My, I was there when my mom had died. Dad, I was there when my mom. And, and my, my dad, dad, I was out playing softball. He wasn't supposed to die. He was yeah. at a dinner on a stage giving a speech with a microphone in his hand. He, he went out like, like Nickel. We go out with class. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Stuff, that's a good thing. That's the way I think I'd want to go. I don't. Yeah, he was dead before he hit the ground. They said. Yeah. Before he hit the ground, he was gone. Yeah. I feel so, sorry for the guy who he was turning around to introduce because I heard he took it really hard. Uh, my sister and my grandfather was there and had a hard time. Oh yeah. His yeah. father, my mom's father, but yeah. well, I'm going to go because my. Gotta go. <laughs> well, I appreciate you coming up here. And oh, talking. no, no, I had to. I had you to. Be. As soon as you went to that subject, you knew I was coming. I was coming. Was coming. Look forward. It was nice speaking with you, Marita. <laughs> yes, Sherry, it was nice speaking with you. I hope you feel better. Please Thank keep you. taking your medicine. I am. I and am. if you could stop the smoking. Yeah, no, I've cut. I've cut I know that's away. easy for me to say. I never smoke, so I know it's not that easy. So, no, do you more addictive it, than heroin? You're an adult. It's You're more addictive than adult. heroin. That's a fact. And uh, peace, love, and Bobby Sherman. That's right. <laughs> peace, love, and Bobby Sherman, everyone. Thank you for coming Good night. Up Bye, Mike. Sleep well. <laughs> Crazies. Sleep All right. Well. See you on the flat earth. Okay. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Marita's a who, ain't she? <laughs> She's funny. So, how you doing, Nancy Sherry? I'm fine. Are you? Sure. I'm fine. I'm, I'm so, tough. Does, I'll be hanging around here when nobody else is, probably. You will. You're a tough cookie. Pretty Matthew and Jakey skipped out on us, didn't they? She said she was going to take a shower and come back, but I don't know. Where is she, she at? Because I know her big ass went to sleep earlier. She might have. Peace, she love, have. Bobby Sherman. Do you know who Bobby Sherman is? Of course. <laughs> I didn't know who it was. We had to look it up. Really? Yeah, back we didn't know it was. Yeah, well, I was a new. I was born in the '70s, so I didn't. Oh, see, I'm that's so crazy. Huh? That's so crazy. I was born in 1956. That's wild, isn't it? Was he? Yes, Eisenhower was president. Yeah. <coughs> Time is flying by. I fought against the Vietnam War. I fought for civil rights. Huh? I said I fought against the go. Vietnam War, and I fought for civil rights growing up. Oh, yeah. Well, that's good. That's good. Yeah, yeah. Anyway. We was talking about P. Diddler, but that left way long ago. <laughs> I know, but that's kind of... I mean, we don't need to give him any more glory. 
they mm-hmm. were using his name. That's why I don't like to say mm-hmm. the word D E V I L or S A T A N. Well, it's because I don't I don't want I don't want to give him the glory of saying that name. Who? That's how oh I, yeah, I know. Well the thing you is know, uh, I didn't want to not talk that about I don't it. acknowledge him, it's just that I don't want to say it. Everybody's just kind of running that little Sebastian's case into the ground like Summer's case. And I didn't want to go back down that rabbit hole today until we find out something new. I want to keep his name out here, but until we find out something new on the case, you know what I'm saying? Yes. Did Did they find out who it was in Kingsport? It was a man, what I heard. Okay. That it wasn't it wasn't the set set Tonelli girl. Good, I'm glad. Tonella or the other one. But there is a lot of bodies being found in in Green County and in Kingsport. A lot is very suspicious to me that all these people are too. showing up dead. I mean it's kind of like almost a serial killer's loose or something. Especially in Green County. And that's a county right beside of me. There's a lot of people. Well, look how many bodies they found in the last. It was late, but came in to hit like for Daisy and Auntie Sherry. Oh, thank you, what? Buster. It is late. Thank you, Buster. Auntie Sherry don't normally stay up as late at night anymore, do No, you? I don't, but Erica's not going to be here tomorrow. <laughs> is she? Okay. She's not going to be. You know, if, I if, I'm in, if I'm in here asleep at 10 o'clock, she's like, okay, Sherry, time to get up. Who's shadow were y'all? Uh, they found a body in Talladega, Alabama this weekend. Ooh. Mm. That's where they have the rate, big racing stuff. Yeah, it is, ain't it? Yeah. What about the missing moms? Yeah, Not what missing, about them? You know, about I them. Say they're, I talked I about think, them the other day. I think they'll probably find the car in a ravine or... They found the car already on the mall. Oh, they did? They did? Yeah, on the side of the road. They ha- The window was shot out or busted out. They uh, found the car uh, on the route to... The, the girls are... The women are just gone. They... I covered oh. them a little bit the other day, y'all. I probably and, missed it. I might have been asleep. Since you go on uh, later. Yeah, it was later on that I covered it, but those missing moms, uh, I think it has something to do with that woman's ex-husband's family. Really? That's, I mean, I'm telling you right now, it, it it's good to be- Why would you break out a window? If you had a gun, all you'd have to do is just hold it up to the window and point it at them. I don't know what happened. You but, see what I'm saying? Yeah. Well, the thing is, is you, if you've got a friend that has a domestic violence situation, the worst thing you can do is get involved in it because you exactly losing your life for that. Yes. You can be there for them and support them. But as far as getting in the middle of their fights or getting involved, no, you can't do that. You can't going do that. around them, that woman, I mean, I know she wanted to do God's work and stuff, but you, I think that's what ultimately costed her her life is because that woman was in a domestic violence situation and, um, well, surely she, they're bearing down hard on, uh, the ex. When, well, the ex they, was in rehab, but I think maybe. Some of his family might, I don't know. They may still be alive, but I think it has something to do with the the uh, domestic violence situation. The there, there was some reason why that woman didn't have custody of her kids, too. You know, I want to help people out, but that was three, it's about three hours from me. Is it, Buster? What do you think happened, Buster? I'm not getting involved in a domestic situation. No way, Jose. I've been there, done that shit. I'm not doing it no more. My neighbors stayed in fights and 
and you'll end up getting hurt is what will happen you end up getting killed a lot of people get killed getting in the middle of domestic situations you know what i'm saying yes when when that shit happens and you're dealing with somebody like that they they lose all sense of cra craziness and yeah. they will i mean look what that man did he killed his three do three little boys to spite his ex-wife in front of her out in the yard to, to uh, upset up to do the worst he could possibly do to her tortured he her by seeing her son killed he did it to hurt her and i let's see i think like you her ex's family's involved <laughs> yeah because she was in visitation of those kids and yeah i think that's a domestic dispute and i think that yeah most policemen are killed during a domestic the domestic disorder call exactly yes because the man is freaking crazy like he is out to kill and he don't care or the woman the man or woman and usually there's a lot of overkill in a domestic situation and that's how the police can yeah. tell it's like personal. 42 stabbings instead of one or two would have done it mm -hmm. that is just somebody who's just angry and that's again, has, has yeah. lost so, lost control completely exactly <coughs> demolish that person that's all yeah that's, that's just thing. that is exactly personal and it's, it's dangerous very, for it's everybody. very personal too when somebody strangles you because you have to be looking straight in the, in the face when you do it yeah i actually had a friend <clears> not <throat> too long ago ask me should she move in somebody in that kind of situation and i said don't you bring that into your home do not bring that <coughs> i realize you want to help but there's other ways of helping by bringing that but bringing that around auntie sherry you got a lot of congestion i know i actually I'm had a on it. teacher a nursing instructor her mom died because her her sister's husband or boyfriend walked up to the door knocked on it and shot her mom and killed her mom like yeah that happens uh, and so no want to get involved in that people and are too crazy today we got involved in that congestion but it's, it's working its way out <laughs> what color is it auntie is it green it sounds green. Is it green or white frothy? It's bronchitis, ain't it? Is it green? Do you know why I said green? Why? Oh, I know why. <laughs> Auntie Sherry. Where the heck did Jackie no, go? It, it, it started out as yellow, then it's white. Now it's uh, getting clearer up here. So if you really have to know about white, my phlegm. It's you need to know about my phlegm colors. Uh, ask me to repeat it. If it's white and frothy, it could be pneumonia. It's, it's not. Green could be pneumonia too, but it's. I had a chest x ray this day. Yeah, I had a chest x ray. What did they my say? Lungs you are totally clear. Yeah, I have, wrong, I have wrong guys in both lungs. I told them what I had before while I was looking at x ray. I read an x ray. That's not hard to do. But anyway, you could see just the little streaks of where the flame was at, inside my lungs yeah. on the inner side. So, but it's getting better. I've got four more antibiotics going up. And I'm supposed to go to the dentist Wednesday. And I don't know whether I should go to the dentist Wednesday just because I finished my antibiotics, or I, I guess there's no reason not to go. Well, yeah. There's no reason. No, I'm just trying to get out of it. <laughs> I know. But you know... Uh, I, I, I need to get my teeth cleaned. Let me call Jinkies and see where her big ace is. You tell her that her, that her mama here to almost. get her butt up here. She's not going to give that pan up. She's going to keep that pan no matter what. I wonder who brought her that pan. I don't know, but I'll go get the pan myself if I have to. 
she ain't answering me. You kept, she's asleep. Never mind. How you know she's asleep? Why? Because she just said, why? She's asleep. Bye, big mama. She didn't went to sleep on us. She didn't go to no, she didn't go take no shower. She went to sleep. <laughs> well, she had to think of some excuse to leave. I know. She's been sleeping all day. How many people are in chat? No, nobody. 99 people. 99 beers on the wall. 99 beers on the wall. 99 beers Take on the wall. Take one down. Pass it around. 98 beers on the wall. wall, wall. 98 <laughs> beers on the wall, wall, wall. 98 beers on the wall. Take one down. Pass it around. 97 beers on the wall, wall, wall. <laughs> Lord have mercy. But yeah, I'm not going to get... I do not advise anybody to uh i don't advise anybody to get in the middle of a domestic dispute i don't care how good friends you are with them send them in the right direction to safety but do not go with them do not engage and do not argue with the perpetrator because it's a danger zone I would think it would be a pain in the butt to be coughing and having to hold your mouth open to get that cleaning. It would be hard on you, Auntie. Yeah, if but I've got cough syrup, I'll tell you. Did they check you for RSV? All right, I've had a vaccination for that. Oh, did you? I've had all the elderly vaccinations. I had six. We talked my son a four- I had the pneumococcal, I had RSV, I had another COVID shot, I had another, oh, it was time for me to have a tetanus shot, I said, well, okay, and then there was time for me to have something else, something else, something else six of them, but vaccinations never have bothered me, and I'm very happy for them, otherwise we have a lot of people with polio right now, smallpox, so yeah, I'm, 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 I'm very, uh, I'm very happy that God put Hippocrates on this earth. Yeah. Yeah. You know, it was an actual nurse practitioner that brought um, vaccinations to the south, uh, southeastern Kentucky. I'm Mary not surprised. Breckenridge. Mary Breckenridge, not surprised. she came from the UK, from over in England. She was the first nurse practitioner in the United States, and I went to her wow. house, ate spaghetti. She Your lives favorite in meal, Leslie County. <laughs> yeah, and she lived in Leslie County. She built a cabin, and they would ride horsebacks at night and deliver babies. And they brought her children, and her husband died from appendicitis. Her husband died from it, and her son her two-year-old son died from wow. yeah yeah we got to learn about her while we were at her house my, my, my great grandmother was a uh, certified midwife that's what and she, she wife. yeah she was a certified midwife and mm -hmm. she went all across everywhere i have a cd of my grandparents this telling the, the story a very precious cd of my grandparents she told me every her. day First car, first this, first that, you know, everything. I would have loved you, to become a midwife, but there's so much risk there. They if you're a grandparent, sit down and, and do a year. CD for your grandkids. Huh? If you're a grandparent, I said to sit down and do a CD for your uh, grandkids. Just talk like you're talking now, or I'm talking now. And just tell them how things were. You we know that... There's a time capsule in my house in, where I used to grow up in between the cinder blocks of the basement. What was in it? I don't remember exactly, but Mom had all three of us sit down and write out uh, what was going on uh, at that time. In the, I think it was 1968. You think somebody's found it by now? No, because the house is still standing and uh, mm -hmm. it's been so the first thing my brother did was refurbish on a few things and then he sold it. But uh he didn't then, open 
Bob cancel cap caps. Hey, no, the it's in the, it's in the basement in between the cement. Oh. In, in the cinder block. It's a it's a jar that has three things in it. Each one oh. each one of us wrote, you know, I don't even know. Like the president of the United States, who that was, what year it was, what day it was, and uh all this kind of stuff. Where we lived, uh things that you know people like to do, just yeah. you know stuff like that i would love to get it and read it now not them dying but the cabin and horseback my mom's mother two grandmothers were midwives in the hills of kentucky so they probably worked for mary breckenridge uh if they probably did if she was a district used to ride horsebacks in the night to deliver babies my grandmother didn't have to do it. My great grandmother didn't have to do anything. My granddad said because they came after her. Everybody would just they knew where she lived. Came after her to get her. My friend that was a nurse, she was an LPN, but back then LPNs could do a lot, and she would run a whole floor by herself. She told me that there was Excuse a time me. where the children were getting sick, like leukemia and stuff. And people were bringing them in the ER dead, and she would have to turn around and hand the babies back. Well, was it lead? Was it lead poisoning? I don't know if it, I think she said leukemia. I'm not sure. But there were babies right and left passing away. She said, and she'd have to tell them, honey, your baby's gone. Now, that's a hard thing to have to do. Oh, yeah. A lot of babies in the uh, part of the century at the beginning of. My aunt was a midwife. She was an RN, made bank money, but she thought it was torture. What hospital? We've got it all did. wrong. We've got it all wrong about having babies. I'm here to tell you. We should do right. like Native American. We should let gravity help help with the baby instead of lying horizontal and pushing, pushing, pushing. You ought to be squatting. Or, all, or have your knees up or on something and your legs spread apart and let the baby, that gravity, excuse me for using that word, Daisy, let gravity help pull that baby <laughs> downward and out. Gravity. We do it backwards. <laughs> we lay it like this. And just push, 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 push. If you were squatted down, you wouldn't be able to push so much because of that word, you know, the big G word, gravity. Back on a white horse. Yep, he did. It does say that. Yes. But the thing is, is now I would love to become a midwife, but nowadays they can go back 20 years on you and sue you. <coughs> Excuse yeah, me, Daisy. I need to take a pee-pee. Okay, Auntie. I'll be right back, okay? Okay, Auntie Sherry. Um, But I would have loved to have went back and done it. If my back could hold up, I would definitely go back to being a nurse again. I don't think I'd want to do OB again, but maybe geriatrics because I love working with the elderly. That's like my thing. And I bond with elderly people. I don't know why. I had a midwife and I loved her. Yeah, I think midwives are good in, it, if you're not high risk. But if you're high risk or had a previous C-section, um, I don't know how I'd feel about a midwife. Um, I, I think they're good if you want to have a home birth. But I don't know. It'd be kind of scary, too. I know all the risk that goes along with having a baby and I've seen things go wrong. So I don't know how I'd feel about it. If it was like a high risk situation, definitely wouldn't want to be in a hospital setting. I don't know. I don't know. I enjoyed working OB. I did do that. I did enjoy OB be crazy sometimes but i liked it but i know my back could never hold up working in lb 
because you literally have to stand for hours in OB during a C-section, during vaginal birth, and my back would not be able to hold it. Hold up. There's no way my back would be able to hold it. Yeah, mine just came out after days of labor. It was nice being home. Oh, I bet it was. And that would be awesome to do. And some of these women, they get their hopes up to have perfect births. They come up with a birth plan and all that. And then there's that there's something that goes wrong and they're just devastated. So I wouldn't encourage people to put their whole hopes and dreams into a certain nursing plan or a certain birthing plan because they seem to be devastated when things don't happen the way they want them to, you know. A lot of women go in trying to do no medications and they get halfway through and they're like, give me an epidural, give me the damn epidural now. <laughs> they give in to the epidural. And then, I don't know, I just think that we need to be realistic when it comes to birthing. Some women have these big hopes and dreams and they'll even put their baby at risk sometimes trying to do their dream birth and that's not always what happens you know it's like you gotta say enough is enough we gotta get this baby out asap we ain't gonna play the heart rate's dropping auntie you should you sound horrible so yeah My family were made for birth and babies. Sounds like it. Paris, sounds like it. Mm. My throat's going dry, y'all. But, uh, yeah. It's, it's late, y'all. It's late. Um, where'd Auntie Sherry go? Auntie Sherry. Did she leave? Oh, there she is. Yes. There she is. I was wondering where she went to. Erica gave me a very nice gift. What'd and, she give uh, you? It's it's a pillow it's a pillow pad holder, you know, it has a little pocket on the side or whatever. So you just put it here and then you just put the tablet on it. Uh -huh. And just let it sit here. So oh. that's good. Today she bought me a whole bunch of new cords. She went to Sam's and she got some stuff. She knows other certain things that I like and she gets it. So that's good. But she won't be here tomorrow so the cat can play. The cat can play. <laughs> I mean, the mice, the mouse can play. The mice can play. Ow, ow, I'm getting when the cat's away. away. Well, the ow. cats, the mouse can play. I don't have to, I don't have to, uh, have my blood pressure, everything done, checked. I don't have to do any of that. Well, that's good. <laughs> Sometimes people could be just a little too thorough. Oh, yeah. We are very prolific. Women with their first birth don't realize the horrible pain involved. They really don't, or what can go wrong in it. I remember how I felt it was intense. I had two children with half of what they used. used to deaden the tooth. Deaden the tooth? Yeah, like lidocaine or uh, what's oh, the other yeah. thing? All the canes. All the canes, yeah. A lot of cane. We had a lot of, lot of cane. Oh, yeah, yeah. I have to take this breathing treatment before I go to bed. When she gave me some sort of uh, you, you know what it is. Daisy. In the hospital, I'm not going to show it to you because of uh, YouTube, but I will mm -hmm. tell you it's uh, bromide and albuterol sulfate. Well, that's I have good. My, I have my a little mask over here, you know, 
And I told her when I went in there, I said, look, now, the next thing you're going to tell me is you want to give me a breathing treatment. And they said, yes, we we're just getting ready to bring you a nebulizer. I said, no nebulizer. I'm going well, to home. I don't need to do it here. I can sit on my bed and do it at my house and watch TV or do whatever I want. Well, okay, okay, okay. Well, I'll write you the prescription for the little vials. So she did. That's good. And so I don't let the doctors tell me what to do. I, uh, I tell them what to do. Crystal said, I had the happy gas, but I didn't do anything. Well, uh, nowadays they have the epidural, but um, when we get potassium in the hospitals, it burns your arm sometimes. So we we would have to start an IV. Happy gas is not going to take care of that kind of pain. Lidocaine in it. One milliliter of lidocaine in a, bo in a bag of normal saline. To go with potassium drip. Because it burns your arm. I'm literally sitting here watching. Uh, bad stuff. Like people that's got like these big long toenails. And the skin is like overflowed. Ask me why I, want, I like watching this. It's crazy. Who would give somebody happy gas, nitrous oxide, for having a baby? The nurse taught me how to breathe. That is crazy. They used to do that. I think they did used to do that. Good I gosh. They gave my mother ether. My first birth. They Part gave my mother birth. ether, if you know what that is. I was only 18 and scared. Yeah, so I went I'm not brain damaged. I just had herbs. They helped me rest in between co contractions, but those contractions would wake me up. Yowzy. My baby was in my back. My first one. <coughs> in your she back? She was in my back. Mm -hmm. That's up the worst your spine. Thing. Yep. I didn't know it at the time because the hospital I was at was crappy. But they could have got me on my hands and knees and got me to rock back and forth and got that baby out of my back. But the nurses weren't trained at that pathetic place. To Here do I go. Here I go with the squatting thing again. Yeah. I, who I, can, I want to talk to my doctor about that. Just, well, they say that it's actually better that your body's more... That's how Native American women did it. Yeah. They just squat. You know, squat, hold yeah, their the head heads there. Get somebody to hold their heads there to get the baby's head. Yeah. The head's not so bad. It's the shoulders. But now, they got a ball now that they put people on, and they, and I, I, I think that ball is good because it helps that baby work down and stuff. And now they got peanut balls they put in between your legs and the bed, and that helps. But... Ultimately, if that baby's head is big, no matter what you do, if that baby ain't going to come down, it's not going to come down. In my opinion. I don't argue any gynecological facts with you. I know. Auntie Sherry, I know. But the thing is... Uh, I miss being a nurse. I, I miss be I miss being a teacher. I know you do. I mean, I'd go right now if I could. I know you would. I would too. I just pray that I get better sometimes. I'll never yeah. get better, so I might as well I have to get that out of my head. Yeah, I'm permanently disabled, not temporarily disabled, permanently disabled, and it will do nothing but get worse as I age. They already want me to have two more surgeries, and I'm already, I said, that's two I'm not having. No, Auntie, you'll be in worse shape, but I mean, I don't know. I can't tell you not to do anything. Huh? I can't hear you. You muted yourself, Auntie you, Sherry. I, I'm sorry. Really? I said? You can't tell me what to do. No, I mean, I can't tell you not to have surgery. 
That's oh, no, I wouldn't do that. I'm almost 68 years old. I, my, mind, my spine is collapsing. I know that. Any man with any good sense knows that. My MRIs are pathetic. They're about six pages long. Are they? Yes. I don't see how you stand it, because I hurt so bad sometimes. Well, think, it's called oh, the green. Oh. It's called the green. The green? Does the green help? Absolutely, 100%. It helps with pain? Oh, yes. I didn't know that. You didn't know that? Well, I know there's a cream that's got the green. Not cream. Know. Green, the color green, you know. No, like, I mean, there's a green cream. Well, how about, okay, green cream. Okay, great. It's the same stuff that you put in that pipe. <laughs> but it's in a cream form. And I took some of that sometime, and it did help. But I do think it a little of it sunk in and put you a little bit fairy tale-ish. <laughs> I was feeling pretty fairy tale-ish at that time. Cherie <laughs> says it doesn't hurt. No. No. You won't if you know what? If your back's We're hurting, if your back's hurting and you smoke a little bit of this, and you know what? You forget you even have a back. You'd be laughing. Well, I hurt all over. Well, then you'd just be laughing all over. I guess so, Auntie. I could imagine you on this. Eh, Lord, God help us. I, mean, the, I don't even know. That'd be the funniest thing I think I've ever seen in my life. I guess I've got, I got every known spinal disease to man. The only thing Everything. that worries me the most is... I don't know if we're supposed to take it because it could be voodoo. Could be a form of witchcraft. What is? Mary J Mary Jane. A form of witchcraft? Yeah, it's herb. Well, what in the world were they doing with it in Jerusalem when they found it? <laughs> they found I don't it. They I found thought this Big old piece of clump on this person's foot, but it's a toe, and it's gross. You grow it another toe. Now I watch these stupid videos <coughs> where they clean the toenails and stuff, and oh, oh, people's feet gets real bad, don't they? Yeah, I know. I'm gonna have to get a pedicure. That's what they, I Erica. Do. What they, stuff. Erica, does not want to do is trim my toenails. She don't like touching your feet. Not well, she touches me all over, but yeah, she touched me all my face. You eat herbs. I mean, herbs is not bad like that. I'm not talking about that, but smoking it. I wonder. I don't know. It's a whole different story. I'll smoking it. it. Smoking it. That's why I use that. I use a smoker like you would have to, Daisy. It has, it has water cool. I guess if it's for pain and stuff. Yes, not... it is for pain. That's, I don't take any opioids. My doctor knows exactly what I do. Yeah. And, you know, he said, you're the first one on the list. Well, when I go see him again in June, I'm going to say, okay, now, there are a lot of doctors around here, and I can name their names, that have already mailed off for a card for the individual to have a marijuana card. The doctor just has to sign it and say, this person deserves to have a marijuana card. And, but they have to do it. And that has to be approved. And da, 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 da. But how do you get it? But that you have, the hard place is to find dispensaries in, yeah. in places where it's illegal still. Yeah. So, but uh, I think uh, they're coming a lot closer with that. Even if you get caught with it in, in your car or something. God forbid who take it who take it with you anyway, you just ask him for trouble. Um uh, even if you get caught in the car with it now, as long as it's less than an ounce, it's like a hundred and fifty dollar fine in Gwinnett County next to me. She put you eat herbs, Miss Daisy. Well I know, I know. I've had the same herbologist for fifteen to eighteen years and he is wonderful he and his wife are wonderful he does not do this for everybody mm -hmm. he only does it for a guy that has let's see a liver cancer mm -hmm. he does it for one that has a brain tumor 
and I'll Tell pull right that. over. And he does it for me because of my back and legs. Yeah. And uh, he, he, uh, he doesn't do it commercially like he used to when he was younger. He only does it. So you I need just a love, I love to see him come, but he always brings me a Starbucks <laughs> bag. It's always a Starbucks bag. It looks like a DoorDash guy when he comes in here. You can get a certain amount here in Tennessee that's legal. In Gatlinburg, they do have a dispensary. Yeah, because Erica yeah, and good. yeah, Erica and AJ, AJ, KJ went in it and just checked it out to see what was in there. So, and yes, they do. They sell it. I'm just but saying, this, it's, it's, it's the license is under I'm the city of not, Gatlinburg, not under yeah, what right. what county is that? Severe County? Yeah, Severe. Okay. It, it is not licensed in Severe okay. County, but it is licensed That's in the city of Gatlinburg under the city ordinances. That's the way yeah, everything is legal. A certain amounts of it is legal here in Tennessee, dark empathy. It is. It is, but I just don't like that high feeling it gives you. Like, almost well, Miss Daisy, if you just do it one time, if you do it one time, you're not. That's not going to be your first first experience. Is not going to be your best. I know. So but if you try it again, it'll get better and better. I like and finally, to have my finally, it won't bother you at all, and you will be surprised how much pain, how much relief you will get from pain. My doctor asked me, "How much more pain or relief do you get?" With this and the it, uh, burning the nerves, which oh. I'll do that also. But I've gone as long as two years and haven't had to, had to do that. And I, you know, I don't wait every day on it to strike, but you know, such a, they will grow back. Walk in, shop, and walk out. Where are you? Oh, it is. You're in Washington. Okay. Oh, uh, Washington State? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oregon. Yeah. Colorado is like the big pot state of. The whole freaking United that's States. That's where my nephew, that's where my other nephew, the, the, I call him, he's the most wonderful person in the whole world. He is okay. just such a, he's such a nice guy. And you know what? Hey, guys, yeah. he's 30. Let me tell you what. I'm going to tell you this, but you don't know him anyway, so don't say anything. But anyway, he is 36 or 7. Uh -huh. I think. 37. Well, he'll be 37 April 13th. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, he had testicular cancer. Oh, that's a bad cancer. So they took out, yeah, they took out the, uh, everything that was mm -hmm. even connected to it. So he still has one testicle. Uh huh. But uh, they they keep a check on it every month or two, all the time. So it's good they got to it early. He's from Colorado, but he uh he's moved back here. He's moving into his mother's house, redoing it the way he wants well, it yes, to be. He smokes too, don't he? Oh, of course he does. But that's all he does. <laughs> he's not a, My he's not, state in Colorado were the first states to legalize it. I had medical yeah. card before that. Okay. Yeah. See, I could get a medical card, and that's what I want to push for. The problem isn't with the doctor. The problem is with workers' compensation letting okay. me have it. See, it's all complicated. Workman's complication is what I call it. Workman's complication. It's really bad for men. Studies have shown it acts as estrogen in your body. Really? I didn't know that. I, I used to, to date. Well, I used to. Wait a minute. I'm going to jot that down. I'm going to jot that down. That's something I need never to got research. By. Estrogen at levels increase in men. That's what I'm going to write. I'm, I'm, I'm going to research this. I do this all the time. If I'm just sitting here by myself, I see something I want to research. I'm jotting down. We doesn't get you high like the THC weed. Oh, okay. Okay. Too much estrogen. Well, I often wondered why I could never get pregnant when I was with my ex-boyfriend that I used to live with. Why? Because you smoked all the time. Two and a half years. And as soon as I got with my husband, bam. 
Somebody, some, some scientists have said it will affect sterility. Others say that's ridiculous. You know, you can always go to hear what side it of the increases other. testosterone. Hang on. Brown bear jibbery, I need to come oh. see you. <laughs> I couldn't take I it with me now, could I? I was at 12. They said I wouldn't be able to run, ride a bike, play sports, etc. Tried to put on Ectrin. Ectrin, pure aspirin, I refuse. Would have eaten my stomach. Oh, yeah. No doubt it would have. Kids are already supposed to take aspirins now because of rice in them. Mm hmm. Yeah. Mm hmm. I do think it might actually do that to guys because that guy never did have kids. Well, the, know, the good thing, thing is, is, is that Cass, Cass doesn't want any kids at all. Well, yeah, that's good. I said, what are you going to do? A lot I mean, of young people don't want to have kids anymore. He doesn't want to have kids. He wants to be like that was. But listen, well, fancy them, free. But listen, them. fancy free, travel where I want to, have the best times yeah. of my life. And well, not when, have to worry. I only had to worry about somebody coming in, living with the dogs when I was gone. That's all. Yeah. Yeah, because when you become a mom, your whole life is consumed with worry. Right. And it's, you know, the end at 18, it goes on. Forever. Yes. You die. Our store, the weed is in a beautiful glass case. We just, just like Zuri store, plus shelves and shelves of products. Also, I love the, I love the name. Brand, Brand Bear, Jabbery, tell me this. Have you ever heard of the strain called uh, gelato? Like Italian ice, you know, gelato. <laughs> Yo, funny. It's a strain. Oh, indica in the couch. And Sativa. Sativa. <laughs> there you go. Indica. I guess, y'all. I can't believe Jinkies went to sleep again. She's tired. I think she needs to get checked for diabetes. But I, I don't even know what she says. That's all she wants. Has to she do. ever been checked for diabetes? I reckon she has. I don't know. She needs to have her uh, A1C done. You know what they're calling the third Alzheimer's, third diabetes? What? I just gave it away. Alzheimer's. <laughs> they call it the third diabetes because of the amyloid plaques, which are kind of like fatty plaques, you know? Mm. The amyloid plaques form in between the uh, the axon, mm -hmm. the axon to the neuron where the mm -hmm. synapse is right here. Mm -hmm. They kind of meet to fire, 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 every millisecond, nanosecond all the time. Mm -hmm. While I'm speaking, they start getting jumped up with a, a fatty substance called amyloid. And that, it, so they're, they're, it's not firing. You can't fire through that. Mm -hmm. can't, that, one can't, that nerve can't tell that other nerve what to do. Okay. That's why Alzheimer's starts out at such weird stages for certain people. And it, it, uh, that also affects with uh, with Parkinson's, the dopamine in the... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yes, it, Parkinson's it is, is very, very, very oh, similar. Yeah. Have you ever heard of sundown syndrome? Yes. It's, okay, but, you know... And the demons, they get worse. Oh, yeah, they see shadows. <laughs> There's somebody in the room. So there was yeah. somebody looking in the window. It's I've seen a sundowners. lot of sundowners. Yes. I'm, I'm, you know, I worked in a hospice, and so I have seen so many people pass away. And I have, I have hope I've enlivened and helped the people that I was there with. Yeah. So, gelato is very good, but it's very expensive, I have to say. I that. hope I don't ever get dementia. I, I have to have save it. up. The worst thing that can happen to me is either me to have a stroke and not be able to talk. Mm -hmm. Or have dementia and not be able to think. Take care of and yourself. I, I pray to, and I don't want ALS either. When my dad couldn't move, 
Oh no! Don't want that either. But I've seen some Family horrible. And I've seen some horrible things in my life. One of the things when I did hospice that made me cry. Uh, this lady had liver cancer. Mm -hmm. She was dying. She's all curled, curled up in a fetal position. She wasn't even on my list. Mm -hmm. but I said, "What can I help you with, baby?" She said, "I want somebody to paint my fingernails for me." I said, oh, "Do you have wow. any polish?" She said, "I said my pocket book, my room, my room is right over here." Well, I, I go get the nail polish. I polish your nails for her, okay. Mm -hmm. I say, now, is there anything else I can do for you? I put a clear coat on top. I said, is there anything else? She said, it was January. She said, yes, I would love a glass of watermelon. Now, this uh -huh. is back, back in the late 80s. No, it was in the 90s. Anyway, uh, I had to go all over creation to find a glass of watermelon for that lady. Uh, I always took their favorite things. Vanilla pudding was one. Uh, yeah. Rally was one of my guys. He Rally, I loved Rally. I yeah. combed his hair. I cut his hair for him. I cut his toenails for him. You know, I washed his feet for him. I took care of him like a baby. There's a picture of me when he's the king of the nursing home that day. King Valentine. <laughs> and there was, you know what? I was going to enter this in the Goodyear contest. They wanted to know, name the next blimp. Goodyear. So mm -hmm. I wanted to put Rally as the name of the Goodyear blimp. But mm -hmm. I never did. I never did do it. But that was so rewarding. And I did that. Yeah. You know, Miss Ann's always saying, pay it forward, pay it forward, pay it forward. Well, yes. So after hospice, it was so good with my mother. I had to pay back. I wanted to pay back. It's something I yeah. wanted to do. I was flat tired at four o'clock in the afternoon, but I went on. I know. And I did it. Christine was needing help with her grandma, and I told her, I was like, you need to check out hospice because they will come in twice a week. And no, I, more than that. They'll come in every day. They come in, they come in as you request. Yeah. If, if a nurse is not there. Now, you won't see the doctor yeah. that much. The doctor will come, but not mm -hmm. as often. But the nurses will come in and out. Oh, yeah, the yeah. One that, well, the, the hospice that I worked in, it was a different branch of hospice. Mine and, too. Uh, it was. Hey, I worked with, hey. What'd you work hey. with? I worked with United hey. Hospice. I hope you're having a good evening. We are. I hope you are too. I um, worked with I worked extra care, and we went in and stayed twelve-hour shifts. Oh, okay. But it was usually yeah. just a few weeks before the death. Like my aunt Nancy. Yes. Yeah, and we would. I'd work. 12 hour nights and then my friend with Kelly he would work the mornings we'd switch right. out right we yeah we worked great together me and him um yeah hospice people are, anybody that works in hospice I promise you they are some of the best people you will ever meet you bond with the families for sure oh, you bond with the family I wrote a I poem by Miss Hattie I wrote a poem about Miss Hattie's bright blue eyes, and she winked at me all the time. She, she, she'd ask me to bring my hymn books and sing to her, and I would. And I brought the bird feed, filled up the bird feeder outside her window, and, you know, stuff like that. And we sang and whatever. Yeah, sometimes and Miss so. Hattie, Miss Hattie died in front of me right there. Yeah. And the first thing I did when I got home is I wrote a poem about her. And I sent the poem to the family, and they read it at her funeral. Uh, I was shocked. And, you know, you are encouraged to go to the funeral, right, Daisy? But you do not, it's not mandated. I don't but go. They, they do. They, I have been. Uh, but um, it's not mandated that you go. It, it's suggested that you follow up. Yeah. And it is also suggested, which I did that, you are to keep up with the family during that, uh, that first year. Well, I usually did anyway because... I was so close to most of the families. Right. By that uh, time. But see, the ones that didn't have any family, that's the ones that got me, man. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. it, it got me. There's a lot of them that does. That don't have people come and see them. No, I know they don't. And they, well, the nursing staff becomes family. 
that's when they step in and become family to them. Oh, yeah. I um, mean, you used to have a devil get upright in the bed because it always sliding down to the bottom. Yeah. And then they got to go to the bathroom. They don't have a catheter. And they usually need assistance go with it. Assistance wiping, you know, the whole nine yards. It's not for everybody. Trust me. Yeah. It's it's down and dirty work, isn't it? It's dangerous. It's, uh, it's just something I was always used to because I worked as a CNA before I become a nurse. So, Well, other than wiping my mother's honey, I, those people it's were the hard only people I ever wiped. What? Bro, I believe that's what's broke my back down. <laughs> That, you know, they, I, don't, I know it didn't help me either, even before the accident. Me trying to lift people back up in the bed. You know, they slide yeah. down. Yeah. And if they can't breathe and you ain't got nobody else in there, you got to do it yourself. You yeah. absolutely right. What you got to do is get them up in that bed. Yep. Get them on a hard service. And get them straight up when they can't uh, Emergency alert system. Oh shoot! Just got an Amber Alert. Uh oh! You got an Amber Alert. Georgia, yeah, April the night, two three, four. Save our kids, y'all. No, our- it's not. A, it's not an Amber Alert. I take that back. It's the emergency alert system. Really? Yeah, there. It, it was a test. Is it a okay. storm? No, they just came out and said it's just an emergency test system. Oh. So that's what they were doing, testing it out. Oh. Another emergency test, you know, just out of Maybe the blue. Out test. of the blue at 3.04 in the morning. Mother. That's good, Sammy. See, that's what it needs to be. People need to have that help. It's too much, especially with Christine. Where she's hospice got- is yeah. wonderful. I'm telling you guys, yeah. I donate to hospice. I told Christine, I said she could get hospice. And so Christine went and got her hospice. People wait too late. I tell, I try to tell them all the time. If you're within that six month or eight month range, you know, of the end of your life, mm-hmm. that's when you ask for hospice right then. Mm-hmm. You don't wait till the last month when you're no. dying. Completely struggling. Don't, you don't want to struggle. They, they, these people provide palliative care. Me too, Zigzag. I've done that a they lot. They won't let you struggle. No, you they really do struggle a lot. And that, and that's a blessing. You just don't know how people get to the end of their rope and to their last point because they don't have help and they want to keep their family home and comfortable. You know, they want to give them their wishes to stay in home. Did yes. you know that Justin was also a hospice worker? I heard something about that. Yeah. He is. He is. That's been is verified. Now, if I'm a hospice worker, you're a hospice worker, Justin is a hospice worker or has been. Yeah. We couldn't all be bad, could we? No. That's true, Auntie Sherry. You know, I respect him for just that one reason. It's a hard yeah. thing to do. It's hard when they die. You get really attached to these people. You see them every day after school. You see them every day. You do? I was always stopping by ankles and getting vanilla pudding for this one and popsicle for this one. You know, whatever they wanted. A lot of good people on the earth still. Um, that helps yeah, that sheet, in. that sheet way is the easiest way. To pull yeah, the sheet way. Yeah, yeah. That's what I always yeah. did. Sheets. I'd yeah, have to pull the sheet the up. all the way down, or the head of the bed down. Yeah, all the way, and then get at the very top. Yes, pull that iron sheet. And I think that's a lot to do with why my back is so bad. Well, you know, it will hurt your shoulders doing that. Hurt my shoulders doing it. Yeah. You know, there's all there's all kinds of ways to get you on the operating table with the sheet and everything else. Man, sheets are mm-hmm. sheets are priceless at those kind of places. Oh yeah, it's it's a anyway, rewarding. Time. I wouldn't take it back. I would not take Me any neither. of it back. Me I would not. I would not. It enriched my life. 
Mm-hmm. And, and they may believe it or good. not, delivering babies did with me too, even though I don't particularly like the. I mean, I do, but. I know what you're saying, Davey. Yeah. I know. I loved it when them daddies. Just imagine, just imagine Miss Daisy having a couple of Nellies in your class. Uh -huh. At least three or four Ronalds. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, oh, Lord. come on. <laughs> I know, but I bet everybody loved you, Auntie Cherry. Hospice was thrilled with my sheets. Was they? Uh, hospice, oh, yes. look, they teach you all this stuff. You don't just go in and say, oh, I'm going to volunteer. Well, first you have to take a battery of vaccinations. A battery. When I say a battery, like you're going into the damn army. Then you have to go to classes. You go to classes. You learn how to do all this sheet stuff and all this other stuff. You learn how to do everything. Aww. Uh, Crystal, do what, Auntie Sherry? Oh, you got her home. Thank God, Almighty. That's what she said. Yeah. Now, I'm gonna die right here. I, I'm my daddy did but not you know, my, go to the you hospital. You haul my butt right here where I'm gonna die, and hospice is gonna be with me, and a group of angels are gonna be with me, and a lot of my good good friends are gonna be right here. She makes holding me, mad, but she's my mother, and I love her nevertheless. Ah, Sammy. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, oh, I didn't get to read that, Miss Daisy. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, you need a potty chair. She won't get up, is what she says. She will. She has a potty chair there. It'll give her a reason to get up. Do you know how many people spat on me? I can't even count the people that has passed out on me. Passed out. I'm, you mean fainted? Your, your children, yeah. Fainted. Oh yeah, you will get that a lot when you're working in labor and delivery. My dad passed out three times when my mother was at a personal yeah. care home. Three times he went down yeah. to the floor. And my uh, cousin's husband was a neurosurgeon, yeah. so he took him off in a room, he gave him some Valium, whatever, out of his doctor's bag, which he got the drug. Mom, and, awesome. Oh. Yeah. So oh, he took care of Dad, and then come back when they closed the coffin. There he goes again to the floor. It was terrible. Yeah. I was so strong in the lanes. I didn't cry. I didn't cry until the other day. I just walked in the kitchen and Eric was standing there. I just put my arms around her and started sobbing. Thinking and about she, your sister? And she was rubbing my back and said, she ain't had one in the world. I said, I finally let it go. Eric, I can barely speak. I said, I finally let it go. Elaine. Yeah. She said some terrible things to me, Miss Daisy. Some terrible things like, well, if you don't like the caregivers, you like that. I have now. I'm going to put you in a nursing home where you can smell urine all day. Oh, that's bad. Yeah. That is not Is bad. that hurtful? Is that hurtful or not? While oh, yeah. People, that's very hurtful. While those people were ripping me off and I tried to tell her about it. Mm -hmm. she, she said, well, if you get rid of them, I put you in a nursing home. It only takes two of us. Wow. And I know that that is the truth. And that's so I had, to, I had to put up with those people's abuse. Or go sit in the nursing home and spell urine all day. Now, I have never forgotten her saying that to me. That is mean. But, uh, you know, I have forgiven her of everything in my lifetime. She was the yeah. middle child. She was left out. You know, yeah. she was the cheerleader. I was the studious one. She was the cheerleader. Mm -hmm. And my brother was the druggie. Still is, I guess. Uh, and we all came from the same family. I, that, think, I, I, I can't get that out of my mind. It's not, I, I have forgiven her. I just can't get that out of my mind. And seeing is, her and seeing her dead with me, and that, it's made too hanging out of her mouth and tongue. Blood. Uh, yeah. It's, did, it's they put a tube in her, did they tube her? Yeah, they tubed her. Yeah. They tubed her because her lungs weren't working with her heart. Yeah, they, 
inflated or that's why. Anyway, she died of what I would consider a broken heart. Probably, Auntie Sherry. I think a now, lot of people do Now that. he's in prison, but he gets out in June, and I'm scared to death. Well, Auntie, you know what to do. Put him back in jail if you have to. We are. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. This is all covered. He's not even going to have any access to he his didn't, money. He didn't get out and go to the funeral, did he? Oh, well, he showed up at the funeral drunk. Oh, Lord. He had vodka in a water bottle and thought everybody thought it was water. Uh, you could walk with it a foot or two of him and you could smell alcohol. Yeah. Then, on top of that, they had other visitation rooms, you know. Mm. And so I went around the quarter because I, I was looking for Kaylee, my, my niece. And Kaylee, and there he was standing there guzzling that water bottle and making that face like, oh, God. Mm. He was struggling at Cody Brown as mother's funeral. That's how it. That's how my stepdaughter was when her son died. She was so her boyfriend had to pack her out. He didn't well, act out. I expected him to act out, but he didn't act out. Well, that's good. His money tickets. They, they all sat on the front pew together. You know, the cousins and stuff sat on the front pew. I, I was in my wheelchair on the side aisle, so I wasn't in the main aisle, you know, where yeah. people were going and going. The visitation was in the same room that the service was in. Was your other brother there? No. That's, that's, a, that's my only brother, and he's only biologically related to me. He, he didn't come? Oh. But you know what I did after all these years? I hadn't even talked to him since 2017. Okay. I called him and I felt a burden on my heart to call my brother. Yeah. I thought, well, my parents would definitely want me to let my brother know his sister died. Yeah. So I called him and I said, Steve, I have some bad news. And he said, what is it? I said, and I died. You know what he said? What? I don't care. <gasps> hung up and hung up the phone. What? I don't care. And I have to call. Wow, what kind of person is he? Well, you tell me about it. A pedo, for one. Oh. A pedo, a pedo. Drug That's dealer. Cool. Yeah. Well, he'll get the same treatment when he goes. But Papa, his daddy's not here anymore to get him out of trouble, so... Yeah. Now, here he goes to jail, goes to rehab, and as soon as he goes out of rehab, there they are to pick him up to go to jail. I cannot believe and he said that. We to are him. going to keep him incarcerated the rest of his life. Oh, yeah. I have to go testify. I, I shall do it. It won't bother me a bit. And tell the truth. Right. And he's attacked me before, too. Not oh, physically. Okay. He got close. He got really close, lunging at me. He was on, he was, listen, he was on meth. He was on heroin. He was mm. on Adderall. What was the other thing? And alcohol. Oh, and Clonopin. He was on five thing. drugs when he came to see me, and he came in a rage. Oh, my Lord. Trying to beat the doors down, everything else. Oh, Lord. It's a good thing he didn't show up for the funeral. No, he, he was at the funeral. He was drunk. Oh, at your father's funeral, right? No, at my sister. His mother's funeral. Your nephew? Yes, the bad seed. The bad seed, okay. Okay, I can I have see. two nephews that I help raise. One is a bad seed, and the other one is a very good, 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 good seed. Oh, okay. So, uh, the so bad I seed. Can see that. Bad C, we hope to keep incarcerated the rest of his life. He has like seven well, DUIs, charges. He's got a charge. Miss Daisy's got a charge of being on uh, computer, computer soliciting, you know what, with an 11 year old. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, that's not a good thing. 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 Well, that's not a good Lord, that's crazy. But isn't that wild? That is wild. 
That is wild, Auntie Sherry. But Auntie Sherry, I've been on here almost six hours. Oh Lord, have mercy! Get off here. It's three o'clock in the morning, three fifteen. I love you. Bye bye. Well, love you, Auntie. Come back up and hang out with me. Somewhere. I will sometime. Thank you. Goodbye, Thank Auntie. You. Love you. Thank you for your hospitality, Auntie. Bye bye. You're welcome, honey. You have a good night. I love you. I love you too, Auntie Sherry. <laughs> good night, honey. Good night. Good night. I love you all. I'm going to get off here. I've been on here too long. <laughs> it's time to go to bed for me. But I love you all. Y'all stay prayed up. Y'all stay safe out here on these YouTube streets. Uh, uh, God bless you guys. Uh, I'll see y'all tomorrow. Thank you for hanging out with me. If you haven't subscribed, please hit that subscribe button, that like button. I love each and every one of y'all. Um, Y'all have a good night. God bless. And bye, everybody. Bye. Thing.